Oh, Maggie. So that's all I want. I want you to keep on crewing. With the 20 right. gifted subs starting off strong, pumping that timer up. Pumping that timer up. Look at this, dude. Uh oh. What's that noise? Maggie, thank you for gifting a tier one sub as well. Wow. That bike just screams money. I know. I pump that timer. We're scruff. We're scruffy. Our, our other dads are my other dads are over there. You want to talk, you want to approach them, man? Wait, what do you think about your this? Other dads are there. How many dads have you got? Scruffy, it I'm only good, takes dude. Two I'm dads good. To make a baby. All right, are we biking there? Because that sounds like that sucks. I mean, I kind of want to. Oh my God, Maggie, thank you for the bike, thirty so gifted subs. Peg, so yeah, that's that, fine, that dude. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Why is your why is your dad over there? Your dad's not your dad, dude. Yeah, we're going to Oilfield. That's not your dad, right? Pez, Pez and Chip keep saying they're my dad. Dude, they're just saying that you're, they're your dad. Have they ever said that before today? Yeah. Oh. Like very few weeks ago. And you were like, that's not true. Yeah, I'm your dad. I'm your dad. Remember that bit a few weeks ago? And I was like, oh, okay. You're right. Dude, I'm your dad. Gemini, thank you for the five gifted. I'm just, I'm really, I'm, don't shoot the messenger, dude. Because that's what you're doing. You know what, dude? The car to the floor. <laughs> Where's Richard? Or probably under the fucking car. You know what? I'm gonna do a big. I'm gonna do a, a, a big move. I'm gonna be a big boy move. Ready? Oh my God! Barb's texted me. Like on Twitter like that. Sewer Goblin, you get back in the server right fucking now. There you go, bro. There you go. Scruffy has two dads, and I'm okay with it. You want to retweet that shit? Wait, so are you my dad still? Or what's going on with that? Yes, I'm your dad. I'm your dad. Scruffy Sorry, has multiple dads? dads, and I'm okay with it. I'm moving cities and changing my name. We went over that. Dude, I want someone to make... Uh, first of all, I'm going to have Bryce stop the bit. <laughs> Second of all, before I stop the bit, I really want someone to make a song and have the bass drop be... Shut the fuck yes. up, Bryce. Or... I married my dad. Or... Yeah, or, me and my husband. Something like that. Something like that. Yo, where you at? You have a car? Go to the ooh. Why do you have so many? Yeah, that's where I'm at. Yeah, go to the ooh. Go to ooh. Gotta go to ooh, Bryce. Okay. Going to a date. Hey, I need you to tweet that Bryce is the better dad. Don't say Bryce says to tweet that I'm the better dad. <laughs> We have a date at Uwu? Yeah. We have so. a date with. It's a girl named Barbara. Dude, I don't want a third wheel. You can sounds... do your oil. You can do your oil. You're ditching me I'm to go pulling be a with Barbara? I'm pulling a price for once. I'm pulling Dude, a price for once, yeah. You know what? Good for you. You be selfish, King, okay? 
All I'm saying is you're bailing on me to go hang out with some girl that sounds like she's fucking in her 70s. Like Barbara Thrunk. She just sounds like she's a porn hot. star or like she's in her 70s. And there's no in between. Barbara Thrunk. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> Rice is potentially a bit dead. <laughs> Hi, hey Barbara. Yo. Alright. So, hey, what do you what do you think we should do about the spice game? Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. You look like you lost a cherry pie eating contest. Yeah, I had a wingsuit Dude, malfunction. Can I like test those with you sometime? Um, yeah, I, they take a lot of money to make, so testing them is very, very pricey. That's fine. I'm about to go to the oil fields. I was gonna go to the oil fields with fucking Scruffy and finish this last oil, like a couple gallons of oil that I needed for it. Yeah. Because and then I was just gonna use the money that I made from that to just buy one. Uh, because I really want to try them. You guys, uh. They're really fun. You guys having like a beach day or something? Um, scuba diving, and then I thought this was good scuba gear, and they all decided that they were going with as little clothes as possible. I was putting on a wetsuit because I thought for scuba diving that would be, you know, yeah, the best. ideal. But, mm hmm. No, they went skimpy, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did I hear wingsuits? No, you can buy one. Why not? How much? $30,000. How much? The I can use in whatever I want forever? No, it's a one-time use. One? Mm hmm 30000 Yep. Anyways, you have fun, Nancy, I've already, okay? I've already had repeat customers. One sec. Um, Bryce. Uh, he's gonna be... So I did tell well, him kind of that he wanted to talk, and he's like, about mm -hmm. what? And I was like, I think you can... Probably oh. he's like, yeah, I can put two and two together. Um, so wait, and he really does want to talk. You, I just want you guys to. Well, I already know. You're. Uh, you, you, I know. You, the no, funny. I. There's. I get it. I get it. And I, and I don't. I don't. I mean, look, like I'm not like jealous of the dude or anything. I'm fully aware of how Cleo is, and she puts her energy and effort and attention into people or specific um, things put the uh, the, you know, I don't think she's into pets like that I think she's just right. putting yeah, her focus in and be right now because it's the most convenient thing for her to not face you know what's really going on but so weird yesterday we had a very heated conversation where we all said yeah where we both said like sorry there's come here we had a very heated conversation where uh, we both said things that we should have said a long time ago. Oh, fuck. But uh, I think it's good that it's all out there now. And uh, I don't want to keep you, and I don't want to make it weird. And I don't think it's weird. No, I don't think it is either. How you doing? What, what's going on here? Hmm. Well, now it is weird, so. Now it's a bit strange. Um, yeah. Uh, I, it, you, are you all right? I've we'll said talk. this to people before, but you know, you, you have been a day one for me what and happened? I, I've known you a, a lot longer yeah, and I just got taken it's to the moon. tough yeah. being in the middle of no, the I, two friends. I know. And I'm not trying to, you know, I no, no, no. I, nothing. I'm with you, Bryce. I'm with you. Don't worry. The one thing I will say about right. Pez though. Is that yeah. I'm worried he's gonna be a bad influence on her and just kind of enable her kind of craziness face? that she's doing right now. Oh. Not craziness, but chaos. I know what you mean. Stuff. Chaos. Right here. Yeah. Kind of like being okay with when she says like I want to go shoot cops and he's like, Oh hell yeah, mate, let's do it. I'll get in the car right now. Yeah, this is, this is my you don't think right Colin here. is that bad influence? Um, not as bad as him, but maybe that's what? just because I'm biased towards Colin because I know him better. Yeah. I also. I don't know. That's also I, just my own personal moral compass, and you know, and Cleo's obviously has Nancy, has changed. Cleo used to get mad at me for jaywalking, <laughs> but uh, people change, you know. 
and that's okay. I don't want to. No, no. I don't want to. We will. We're getting we'll, too deep into this. Go have fun. Go scuba. We'll, we'll talk later whenever. Um, whenever Colin is awake, and we will don't. make mm -hmm. that happen. Oh, okay. yeah. Don't go scuba diving at Humane oh, Labs. Um, there's an alien ship that's buried um, off the coast of uh, Polito Bay. Bay. You took me there once. Yeah, that'd be a fun one. Yeah. Besides that, there's a. Uh, if you go around the coast of um, Polito Cove, there's lots of uh, there's lots of sea life, and uh, I can mark a place on your uh, on your car's GPS that has it's an it's a fallen shipment container, but there's sharks there, so you have to be kind of careful. Okay. Wow. Well, I'm shaking in my boots, Scruffy. I wouldn't mess with what. I wouldn't mess with it. What is it? Just say what's going on. Okay. You're right there in between those two islands. There's a shipment container. I think that's it. Maybe we can get a boat and then. You want my? I'll tell you what. I'll uh, I'll bike out there, and uh, and leave my boat out there. Oh, thanks. For Ray. you guys at the boat yard. Um, yeah. if it's not those three islands. It's the one above it. It's just I don't remember. It's in between three islands, but uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I used to do a scuba diving uh, uh submarine business, so I know all this oh, shit. hidden stuff. And um, where's the boatyard? At the yeah, don't flirt with civilian the docks. Substantia. Like, civilian um, docks. Oh, in Vespucci. Fish, the old the old fishing spot. Yeah, I'll leave my boat there for you guys. Okay. In Vespucci. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, have fun. Appreciate you. Uh, Scruff, are you going on a date or are you coming, Scruff? I think we might have actually something that actually. Are we going to oil? Uh, There's a lot happening. Right? Oh my! Give me a sec. You want to come or are you going on a date? I'm probably gonna hang out with Barbara. Okay. Call I'm me supposed later. to hang out with her earlier, but I kind of. Anonymous, thank you for the five gifted subs. You're still in happy half hour. Is this gonna hold on? I love Kratos's tweets after he does that. I did that. El Compa Fur, thank you for the f uh, the six gifted subs. Hey Bryce, I, I was just about to call you. Hey, sorry, I had to uh, 
third wheel scruffy and then get ditched so he could go on a date and then uh now i'm on my way to the uh oil fields brother Ooh, he's on a date yeah something like that Ooh. with this girl old. named barbara let me ask barbara. you something when you think of the name barbara what do you who do you what do you think of think of an old ass woman that's exactly what i fucking said yeah like geriatric yeah barbara Hey, Barbara. Well, what'd she look like? Did you see her? Uh, she wasn't old. She just seemed old. Wait, she was old? Fuck. Surprise? Sorry, I was, was looking at my, my phone's maps. Um, no, she wasn't oh. old. She was like our age. Oh. She, she, was a, she was a young, hip thing. Ooh. She didn't have reindeer ears, did she? No, she didn't have reindeer ears. Oh, okay. I mean, looking out for my boy. Appreciate it, dude. Yeah. Well, hey, I mean, can you retweet that tweet about me being the better dad to, uh, to Scruffy? Wait, who's the other dad? Uh, just retweet it. Uh, his tweet or your tweet? Mm, Scruffy's tweet. Oh my god, this was like 10 minutes ago. Yeah. I'm gonna look weird, but I'll do it. Fuck yeah. Alright, I'll uh I'll see you soon, dude, okay? Alright. I'm like, I'm like a soon. mile out, but I'm biking. Okay, see you soon. Jesus. Just... chat it's pumping time isn't barbary's Bar oh my god barbie's name barbara i don't know but she goes by barbie she definitely doesn't go by barbara Barbie world. I do be feeling like a Barbie girl. Damn, I wish that wasn't DMCA because we'd definitely be blasting it right now. It's DMCA, yeah? Barbie girl's DMCA? Probably. Dude, they're making a Barbie movie. Right? They're not even putting Barbie girl in there. Isn't Barbara the girl nobody cared about in Stranger Things? Yes, 100%. 100%. I cared? Dude, poor Barbara. Imagine that phone call, too. Like, hello? Hey. We want you on Netflix's hottest new upcoming series. You're in one episode. And uh, everyone's going to think you're kind of lame. And uh, you're going to disagree with what the main character is doing. And also, you're going to die. And uh, never be found. And uh, honestly, people are probably going to stop talking about your death after the first episode and completely forget about you as a character. It was like everyone, <laughs> they're like, Barbara's gone. They're like, oh shit, Will's missing. <laughs> Still got paid? No, I knew true, 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 true. Still got paid. Got her screen time. Got to be on one of Netflix's biggest things. Stop, dude. Uh, it's 
pumping time. We're running shit out of 100. Hell yeah. All right, I think I have 100 gallons to uh, to test this shit. New formula, you know. A formula. Crabs. Crabs. Yeah, you do it better. Right, give me one sec real quick. Yeah, yeah. The Krabby Patty formula. Every night, every night. I'm trying to find this one thing. for a sec nah hit me I'm trying to find I want to make sure that the location that I gave Nancy was correct I'm like 90% sure that it's correct That's correct. That is correct. Cool. All right. How much do I have? Out of there, son. How you doing? I'm doing all right, brother. How are you? I'm hanging in there. Hanging in there. Heck yeah. Do it up. Oh yeah, brother. Richard, I'll be right back. All right. Uh, I hope the new formula isn't so far. I, I really hope it's not. I'm going to do the same formula and see what it does, but we're only going to do 100 gallons. And then let's see, 300, 600, 900. I mean, honestly, just kind of sitting here and shooting the shit with Richard would be nice. Chat, we have like six more minutes of happy half hour. If you would like to add time to the timer, we're already 27 and a half hours. My God. If you're into that. If you're into that kind of stuff, it's, uh, shells, bells. Or not, Shelly. I'm going to walk away now. It's okay. <laughs> I forgive me. It's been a long yeah, day. Yeah, I forgive you. It's been a long day. Just bros being bros. Just guys being gay. 
Machines have been recalibrated. Oh my god. I have to find out the temperature too? <sighs> uh, I think I meant to say guys. Just guys being guys, but I shorted my words. Where's Cross? Dude, I swear to God. Hey, Bryce, what's going on, buddy? What's up, Cross? How's life, dude? How's you doing? Oh, I'm just hanging out with uh, my good rich friends right now. What's going on? <laughs> good rich friends? Living that, living that oil yeah, life? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he is a oiler, but he's not from uh, around this area. Oh, okay, okay. Um... Speaking of oil, have you been to the fields today? And I see that there's like a new formula change and the machines yep. have been Every, recalibrated. They, they talked about recalibrating every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Okay. So do the temperatures uh, nope. change? Okay. So the temperatures are stay the same. It's just, uh, just, the, it's just a blend. The blending is, a. Uh, you know how uh, much it they changes? They leave everything it, randomly. Every person is different. Nope. Cool. All right, I appreciate the info, Cross, and I hope you enjoy being rich. Not a problem. See you later, Bryce. Deuces. Bye. Okay, so the temperatures are fine. The temperatures stay the same. Every Wednesday. I like that. I like that change. That's a good idea. Light is 20. I'm going to pump. Kid. What's up? What's up, dude? I just see you biking around. I'm just waiting for my stiff to get, you know, pumped up. So, nice. apparently, according to Cross, every Wednesday, these formulas change. But oh. the temps stay the same. Neat. But you have to, like, figure out the hundo percento formuloso. Uh -huh. You know, bro. You know what I mean? You picking up what I'm dropping down? Kinda. You scooping what it, I'm pooping? I'm catching your cold. All right. Is that a, is that a, is that another one? Catching my cold? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to catch my cold, bro. You'll get sick. That's okay. I'm vaccinated. Hell yeah, vaxxed and jacked. All right, I'm going to the other one. Pretty wicked. Almost. I'm not as good as Pedro or T. Or me. Are you good at biking? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Am I good at biking? Shit, I didn't know. I've never seen you bike before. Yeah, it's pretty wicked. All right. I hope that this is like... We need, we need to hope that this is like... Uh, not far off. Because I don't want to fuck around with this temp thing today. Mm. Heavy is 15. Light is 25. Prage. All right. Prage. Now we wait. Two biker boys. That's right.
What's up, dude? Hell yeah. Oh, hello. How's it going? It's going I'm good. All right. I'm trying to see what this new formula thing is so I can pump out this last so thousand gallons. Yeah, mm -hmm. it just changed again. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm hoping that mine's still in the 90 percentiles because I don't really care. Because I just need like a thousand more gallons and I can finally sell a barrel. Like 2010 I think I may PewDiePie have just thing, gotten you know? to 100 again. Ooh. It's been six hours. I'm tired. I want to go home. 100,000? 100 barrels? 100,000 barrels? No, 100, no, barrels? Um, I got my blend to 100. Oh, okay. I just I honestly, I get it to 20. 90s and then I just don't care anymore. I get it to 100 and then I just mass blend, so I use as much as I can instead of waiting for some, you know what I mean? Big bet. Big bet. I want maximum efficiency. Can you get one of those cameras? The little uh, Polaroids? Polaroid one? Yeah. I took one Polaroid picture and I think I'm cursed with it. Because the photo came out like this. Oh, oh did you left the lens on, dumbass. Uh, I guess I guess I did. I guess I did leave the lens on. I take the cool lens off next time, dumbass. They're, they're really cool. I like them. Bryce. What? I expect more out of you. Dude, I went to film school, okay? I know all about that. Those cameras were fucking... I should get my money back, honestly. Okay. Uh-huh. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. What's new with you, Richard? Talk to me. Um, not much. Academy was fun. That's right. You're a cop now. Eh, like, cop light. Everyone I know is becoming a cop. Don't call. It's okay. What up, Just learn and a bunch of stuff. Civs only last long enough until they become a criminal or a cop. I have down yet, yeah. but I'm phonetically so trying to learn them. Sleepy. I wish you the best of yeah. luck, dude. Yeah. There's not I many, like, genuine Tennessee civs versus left. Gardner. I Tennessee somebody running away, and they're a <laughs> violent felon, or they're, the Gardner you know, kind of sounds like to kill me. Yeah. I Tennessee a Gun, a gunner running away from me. I mean, I don't blame people, you know. Remember like, shit can get, I can go back. shit can get boring, <laughs> I Civ. Um, I mean, shit can get real boring, I Civ, but it's just like, it's Carol only boring if you don't try. Or, you know? Searching a car and stuff. There you go. That's a good way of thinking about it. Mm. Good, glad that you're uh, enjoying it, dude. Yeah. I went, you know Carter? Yeah, I know Carter. Hello. Yeah, he was he was my first oh, FBO, and he was he was very disappointed. <laughs> How he was disappointed in you? I mean, for the like the first like hour, yeah. Why was he disappointed in you? Because like it was my first session, I was very nervous. No, you're fine, dude. You don't have any Man. cop experience before this, right? Nope. Yeah, you're fine, dude. Yeah. Have fun, bye. Booba became a, a solo cadet in a week. That dude is crazy. That's uh, that's pretty wild. Yeah. I did it. A hundred. Noise. Nice. Now I'm going to bed. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Gemini, yeah, thank you for giving that tier right. one sub. I'm quitting now. Oh, okay. I'm quitting forever. I'm tired. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I mean, you could put it in, but it's not going to help you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everyone's is different. I just want to be powerful. <laughs> she said. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Richard. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God, Richard. What? You know what I say to that? Uh, nice. Are you just, like, recording people at all times? Is that what this is? <laughs> no. Oh shit! Wait, <laughs> oh hold on. Did I get a hundred? Did you? I was at I was at three eight four eight, and I'm at three eight 
three nine three eight. That's close enough for me. <laughs> yeah. Like ninety, right? F. Uh, something like that. Something like that. Mm. Yeah, my first FTO session went well. Uh, besides the first hour thing, because uh, we raided the Liquid Library because CG was holding down there. Yeah, how'd you do? Oh, I was good. I got two assists. My KDA is looking got, pretty good. You got two assists? Yeah, that's ninety. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That's ninety. All right, let's go back to the pump and and, and do more stuff. Sure. Um, do you want to just hop on mine? Sure. Whoop. You got two assists, huh? Yeah. My man. Yeah, Carter went down on the breach, and then I followed in after him and shot two of them, but didn't get the kill. What was that? Fucking hell, I swear to God. <laughs> I love how he wants to take hey, me Rocky. base jumping. Hey, Bryce, how you doing? I'm doing all right, bro. How are you? I'm pretty good. Just working a, working a shift at Uwu. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah? How's that going? Uh, it's uh, going goo goo wood. Goo wood? I hate it. I hate you. What can I do for you, bro? <laughs> trying well, to fly? I love you too, Wu. No, no, I'm just checking in. I see how you doing, man. Yeah, uh, I'd like to talk with you at some point, actually, as like a, okay. like a, like a friend slash therapist thing, because I don't think there's a difference. Um, <laughs> there is, there's definitely a difference. But would you like to talk to me as oh, a friend? Dude, friend I, I, mean, form I of talk to, I, my, I talk to my friends about serious shit, and my friends say serious shit to me back, dude, and they're like, Th that's some good true, ass but advice. There's, no, I mean, friends fine, can give good, fine, fine, good fine. advice. Fine, fine, fine. I want to talk to you as a therapist. But you can also talk to me as a friend who just has formal training. Yeah, for some that's, good -ass therapist is fine. Therapist is fine. <laughs> okay. All right. So I just want to know what to bill you. Yeah. I want to talk to you as a friend. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anytime, bro. Anytime. I'll, okay. just, I'll put my talking stuff aside. To you, talking to you as a friend, is it, it doesn't count as, as I don't have to pay, right? No, it's just emotionally taxing oh, on me. If I'm a therapist, it's back on. financially billing to other people. Okay. All right. Yeah. So no big deal, exactly. Yeah, I just want to talk to you as a therapist, friend slash dad for the day. Are you around, son? I'm, I'm literally oh. right here. What do you mean? I guess I'm around. Are you like, are you free? Oh, am I free? Uh, I'm be, I'm pumping. Uh, I'm, I'm pumping. I'll, I'll drop everything, sport, and I'll come hang with you while you pump. Yeah, okay. Come to the oil fields. Dick and I are here. All right. Not your dick, my dick. Wait, which dick? Dick tips. Dick tips. Do I know dick tips? Richard tips. Eric's phenomena. Tips. Eric's phenomena. It's okay. I'm not known by everybody yet, but I have uh, been recognized a okay. few times. All right, I'll make my way there. Soon. Good friends with uh with Aurora, the one that doesn't want to marry her dad. I these are people that I I just I don't know. Oof, glad she's not here to hear that. Okay. Goblin check. All right, check. that's good. That's Goblin good stuff. Goblin check. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Shut the fuck up, Bryce. Okay, okay, I'll see you. Oh soon. my god. All right. Got it. You know what? I. I said I would stop with the jokes, but it's too funny. I gotta stop. It is. It is really funny. I'm stop. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done in front of her. I'm done. God, I'm toxic. So does she actually? Is she actually married to her dad, or did you no. like force her at gunpoint? Or no, like there what? was a billboard that said that above. Bur it's the one across the street from Burger Shot, and I was like, uh. "Hey, what does that billboard say? I can't really see it." And she said it, and then. Hmm. I married my dad. You're just wearing a wire, aren't you? What was that? <laughs> are you are you free to talk with me now? No, I'm not I'm not recording you. Don't worry. I knew you were just then. Oh, bro. Can't fool me, Bryce. All right, dude. I can't fool you. Fool me once. 
Shame on me. Fool me twice. Shame on you. Fool me three times. Don't, 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 don't shame you. Don't fool me again. I pity the fool. So let's see. Um, I had. I need like a thousand one hundred more gallons. It takes like twenty thirty minutes to get three hundred. Okay. So. Ugh. Ooh. Hmm. Ugh. I don't want to do this for two hours. That sounds awful. Yeah. What if I just mass produce? Yeah, I'll just mass. I'll just mass produce. Up on champ. What does that mean? It means I'm just gonna. I'm just, means I'm just gonna not run back and forth. And I'm just gonna do the math of everything that I need to do. And just do one big like dump a dump dump at the same time. You're gonna take one big dump. I'm just gonna take one big dump. One gigantic dump. I like shitting. Yeah. I had a ghost poop today. What? You never heard, you ever heard of those? Is that when you, you just don't feel it? No, it's... <laughs> no. <laughs> it kind of, kind of sounds... No, it's when you... It's when you... It's when you poop and, and you go to wipe and there's nothing there. It's like you don't have to wipe. Oh. It's as if nothing was there, but you definitely pooped. You know? Yeah, that's some bullshit. No, it's not. It's no shit. Because it's a ghost poop. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I thought you meant bullshit. Or Nobody knows what that means. Like you, you, so you many know. people know. Chat, poop, do you know what you a ghost really poop is know. before I said something today? So many people know what that means. But congrats on your poop. Thanks, bro. No, yes, no, yes, yes. Ooh. I see more yeses than no's. Is that a West Coast thing? I don't know. It's a thing that I know. Right. Um, do you need me to ping you when my rig is? Oh yeah, sure. That'll be much easier. I am um, 501, like the popular jean style. All right, boom. He's in. You get that? Gotcha. See you soon, buddy. See you soon, champ. All right, love you too, sport. Bye. Richard, give me a minute, okay? Give me one minute, Richard. Let me feed my cats.
must be Mr. Tops. I'm doing all right, Mr. Tips. I think that's just how he's feeling right now. Oh, no. Bryce? Hey, hey, Bryce? Hey, dude, what's up? I was just feeding these homeless cats inside of this dumpster. Hey, 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 Bryce, hey, buddy. I got confused on the phone because you, you called me champ, and I didn't know if you, if you need to be a little bit of dad, too. Aethan, thank you for the five months. No, no, I'm you okay. Need, you need dad vibe, or you Did need I to change be a, be a dad? The, uh... Timer back? Because we could both be dad, kind of like the time traveler's wife, but both characters oh are dads. Oh, God. What kind of ERP is this? And there's no... The good kind that's no not grooming. around anymore? There's no grooming. Huh? <laughs> Man, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Give me one Watch second. the trailer to the time traveler's wife, and then delete your browser no, I, I know the movie. I know the movie. Watch it on a, uh, a hidden tab. Safe search. Watch it on a friend's computer. Who you want to set up for something? What are you? What are you talking about? Critics hailed the time traveler's wife as the grooming movie of the decade. Jesus Christ! Yeah, it's a terrible, terrible, horrible thing. What's going on, buddy? What's up, sport champ, fella? All right, well, I was just, uh, I mean, I'm just oiling, you know. I'm out here oiling, trying to trying to make yeah. some shmoney, you know. Uh, but I Have did you ever wanna... get crushed in that shit? I don't know, you want to try? Kind of, but no. Go for it. I got it. Oh, th thank you. I, I really, he's really good. Oh, no. Nope. What are you good? He's fine. Oh my god. I think so. Wait, he's, he's fine. He's fine. Okay, okay. I'm just kidding. Oh, good I'm guy. No, that's a really good guy you got there. You say, I wonder if someone could get crushed, and he's like, I will test that. Bryce, you have some really good friends or employees, whichever, whatever sort of relationship this is. Yeah, Bryce, what are we? We're, we're good friends. Richard, you're oh, my employee okay. as well. You work under Are me. Are you guys from the same You're... timeline, or did you time travel? No, to we're not to talking about the time traveler's wife. No one's talking about that movie. Did you travel to the past to teach me how to fly? No. Oh. If I did, you would have to pay again. Still. Oh. Speaking of flying, Rocky. Yeah, that sounds very gonna, fair. When are you that ever gonna pay for pay flight again. lessons? I will stab you in the eye. Rocky, I called and you then... as a therapist, not a serial killer. No, you call me as a friend because it's cheaper. True. It doesn't cost me anything. I get the same just, advice. It, it just oh my god, me. therapy's a scam. Just kidding. <laughs> it's just positive manipulation, you know? It's about knowing how the human mind works and then trying to work it into, like, a more healthier place for itself. Unlike what was happening in The Time Traveler's Wife. That, that was the theme for today's therapy Are session. Gonna, that I was really, just manipulation. I hope this isn't the theme because there's a lot of I, stuff going on. It's fine. I um, um I can leave it there because I've never seen it. I've only seen the trailer. Oh, you haven't even seen the fucking movie. No, but I know it's not right. Something about it's wrong. I can tell. Sometimes you, you have got a feeling a, about you got a feeling? someone or, or a movie. Yeah. You got a have feeling. you guys seen The Walrus Man? <laughs> oh, God. No. Uh, uh, with Justin Long? Yeah. It's no, it's weird. A, is, I heard it's weird. It's a weird one. Back in the day when I was in um, the entertainment industry, I worked on something with Justin Long, and he was a really good guy. Very easy to work with. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Oh, yeah. You, uh, wasn't it interesting of like, oh, yeah, I used to work with so-and-so, and now they're like a big boy and crazy. Wait. Uh, is he a big boy and crazy? Oh, no. Just, yeah, crazy just big too long. Boy. I mean, I like to think that he's, you know. Is he a big boy and he's crazy? Big boy crazy. Big boy crazy. Big boy crazy. He's all grown up. 
Big boy crazy. Big boy you guys boy. ever watch a movie and it's like, it's just a movie that makes you feel so physically uncomfortable that after watching it, you're just like, what the fuck was that movie? Yeah, Shrek um, 3. Yeah, Time Traveler's Wife trailer. You ever see the gift? The Jason Bateman movie? No, oh wait, which one was that? The one with the, the they've got the, like the old friend or it's like he's a neighbor or something. And, and he's like, it's like stalking him and his wife. He keeps like leaving gifts and shit and like fucking with no, him. No, is Jason Bateman the stalker or the stalky? Just Jason Bateman's the husband. And the whole movie, it's just pretty creepy. But the ending is so fucked. Like so unbelievably fucked. That it's just like, I just sat there for a while. Just kind of like, I, I, the TV was off, you know, my phone was off. I was just kind of sitting there for a little bit being like, what the fuck just happened? Even talking about it right now, you know, I'm getting like, Ooh. So, uh, worth watching or not worth watching? That movie, hey, got, I don't know, man. That wasn't like a, like that, after that movie, it wasn't like, oh, that was a good movie. It was like a, that was a fucked up movie. <laughs> Did you ever see Mother? No. But I heard it was also um, just a fucked up movie. Some movies are like yeah, that, dude. Look at the lighthouse, you know? It's just a I read about Mother and I'm like, I could never see that and I'd be fine. You know. Like I'd I'd pay ten thousand dollars to not to see that movie after I, like I read the about Joker it. movie. Also, um I'm here can I I'm here to ask camera ten thousand dollars? You're the why is everyone calling me this week to borrow money from me? Cause I cause someone said if I don't give them ten thousand dollars I have to watch Mother. What? Just watch the movie. That's why I brought no, there's, there's a, it's a gross ending I heard. It's fuck, really it's fucked up ending I heard. Is he actually the father? Oh no, it's um. I married my it's... dad. Well, who just said that? Nothing. Must have been in your mind. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. Like a, like a, like an echo in a wind. Um. Like an echo in a wind. Okay, like an echo in a wind. Yeah, you can quote me. Can echo in a wind. In a wind. Wow, it's echoey in here. Wow, it's echoey in here. Wow, see? I can, wow. So. Hey. How you so, doing, buddy? Rubber's a movie about a killer tire. When are you gonna give me flight lessons so I don't have to kill you? Dude, I, that's on you, okay? I feel like maybe, maybe it's on me, I don't know. Rubber's amazing. Yeah, we're, we're, we're both like, um, we're both two type C people. Yeah. What? So, we're both type C people. What's type C? We see stuff and we get distracted by it. Yeah. Oh, that's, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I get that. Oh, cool, that thing's spinning a lot. Wow. Oh my God, phone call. Oh, I should probably take this. A lot of things going on. Rocky Tops, professional. Serious what? Professional what? You didn't even say anything. What do you mean? No, I was just letting people know that I'm professional in case they were listening to me. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Mummy Barb. How are you? Wait. Apparently, I've been bad. Oh god. You just basically did that. You lectured me. Is it that Barb? I don't Yeah, I don't so now I'm gonna now Um I'm gonna make my, I'm gonna make my friends up next to you uncomfortable. What am I doing? Apparently I'm being a really bad boy. Ooh. Oh okay. I was okay. We'll talk later then. I guess I'm being a bad bad boy. I'm not good at this, I guess. I, I don't okay. wanna hear I don't wanna hear this stuff. I wasn't a boy band once. Did you know that? Yeah, it was a bad boy band, and I was the bad bad boy. You were a, you were a bad. Yeah, posh. I was so good. I wasn't good at being. Yeah, I wasn't good at being a bad boy. You were bad posh. I was still the worst. Oh, really? If you were a bad top, does that mean you were a bottom? Hold on. I'm getting I'm getting stuff on this side. Okay. Um, you really want me to say it like that? I have to. Uh, no, I have not to say really. It like that. Red Nova. <clears throat> Can I whisper it? I can't whisper it. Please don't make me yell it. Please, please, please don't make me yell it. Okay. 
I'm sorry. I'm such a bad, bad boy. Rocky, what the fuck is this phone call? Yeah, okay. We'll talk later. All right. Love you, too. Hello? Is that Barbara right there? That's Barbara literally right behind you. That's literally... <laughs> Where? What's up, pal? Where? Uh, there's a bunch see. of hooligans drifting around the AirX facility. Just wanted to let you know. They're the hooligans? They're drifting around the AirX facility? Yes, they're, they're drifting around the AirX facility. Are they wearing gang colors or anything? Uh, that you're no, being... they're, they're pink drift cars. Okay. Toss out some spike strips. Fuck around, you know? Put... You think I just carry spike strips on me? I don't know. You carry a Molotov on you, Hal. Why you gotta keep bringing up old shit? Oh my god, it happened two days ago. Can't you just move on with your life? Wow. Too you guys gotta keep bringing up old things. This is Stop. Like, I don't need a guilt trip. Listen, um. Guilt trip? What are you talking about? I don't need a guilt trip. I seem to have scared them off. Okay. Yeah. Um. Just, I mean, if were they drifting on Eric's property or around it? Yes. No, they were in in the on the airfield. Okay. Well, I mean, they're gone. Uh, it, it, well, they're outside the fence now. Just put up some signs on the fences saying Eric's property or something. I told them to get out of here. That seemed, they seemed oh man. In response to my assertive, can't believe you're uh, here. Masculine order. Yeah. Masculine order, huh? Yeah. All right. Okay, they, Hal. They, they responded to my alpha personality. Hell yeah, bro. I fell in line. All right, dude. Well, thank you for letting me know. Is that yokai fucking spray paint there Matthias, still? Stop, stop, stop laughing. Um, where? Is the yokai spray paint still? Yeah, where? Where Where was it? I mean, Jesus Christ. You know what, Hal? There's a lot going where, on. Where, where was it? The main hangar. Like on the side? Like right inside? out front of it. Like right out front of the main hangar on the side, on the wall. I don't see anything on the wall. All right, then it's gone. Hell yeah. Easy. All right. Thanks for letting me know, Hal. Okay? Yeah, All right. Sure. Yeah, not a problem. Okay. All right, dude. Deuces. Okay. Rocky, at some how long does it, mm. it take for a pump from 100% to get full? Like 20-ish minutes. 20, 30. So if it was at 25%, it would take like, I don't know, 80. Something like that. Okay. Oh my god, everyone's all ADD. Hey. Hey there. Are you good to talk or do you need to be a little horn no. dog with Barbara? No, I was literally, she was saying nothing on the other line. She goes, I'm just going to be quiet. You say the weirdest stuff you got to say. And I said, okay, great. All right. That was that. You want to go somewhere? Uh, no. I'm watching my pump. I'm trying to get my first barrel. I'm gonna run wanna, over there every 20-ish minutes. Do you want to go on top of that that thing right there? That like, just stand on that. What are y'all doing here? Uh, Five I'm in? pumping, and then Richard He's was pumping. pumping with me, and then Rocky came down because I needed to talk to Rocky. And hi, Barbara. I'm Bryce. Hi, Bryce. I'm Barbara. Good to meet you. Good to this meet you. This is my other. This is my third dad. You both third dad. Just kind of yeah. hoping there'd be a dad off, but we're very we're wait, very who's proud your, of wait, who's your we're very dad? proud of Scruffy. Bryce, oh. it's Papa, it's Papa Chip, Papa Pez, Dad, Daddy Bryce. You need you another forget... daughter. Are you and your brother Bryce forgetting about uh, this? I need a dad. You need a dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of commitment yet. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? Because he was just this dad. Yeah. How's but he's still my, me? he's still my dad. I mean, I don't even I know you, Barbara. The other day, uh... I don't even, I don't even understand this. Unbelievable. I don't even know you, Barbara. I don't, I don't even know gonna... you, bro. Don't even believe what this. What are you trying to say? You know what? Fine. I, you I can. You, I. I can be your dad. I can be your dad. Really? Why what? don't you? Why don't you tweet out saying Bryce Miller is my dad or something? Mm. I don't know. Okay. Bryce, you're I'm not sure, my dad. I'm sure anymore. this wouldn't backfire in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> yeah. Kind of would have been weird. Just definitely don't say daddy. I can't say daddy. <laughs> no. Why? Because you're saying something totally different. If you want to, if your father asked you to say dad. You say whatever. Well, you actually had big problem with me saying Bryce was my daddy. Who said that? Okay. Wait, you, said you're a, you said you're a bottom. Did you ever watch uh, Married with Children? Wait, aren't you guys on a date? We were, then Reese took our Robin. Yeah. So you guys are on a date and now you're siblings? <laughs> yep. <Good girls. laughs> 
All right, let's go talk. Let's go talk, buddy. <laughs> Whatever. Pe fine. Pez and Chip are my dad, then. You can be my date's dad. Dick. Wait, what did you say? Wait, who, whose daddy am I? Father. Rocky. Where the fuck did you go? Maybe right here, but probably not. Mm. Definitely Hello? the other side. Coming up. What's up, dude? Hey, hey, Bryce. How's it going? Oh, it's going all right. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how, how do I, how can I complete my pilot's license? I haven't seen Booba doing Airx shit for a little while. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll have someone finish it for you. Um, I've done my, I've done my helicopter, uh, portion of it. I just need to do my, uh -huh. finish my fixed wing. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just need to know anyone I've anyone I've spoke to has just said to talk to you. You were gone, and I haven't really caught you. Were gone. Really? They've just been saying to fucking talk to me. That's stupid. Well, because they said like you know, Booba started it, so. Oh no, it's fine. Uh, listen, you sh you should get in contact with Richard Tips. I'm actually with him right now, so I can tell him to call you. He would be happy okay. to finish your lessons, and okay. uh, we'll get you all set it and sorted. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I'll send you his number right now. Okay, dude. Okay. And then if he doesn't do it for whatever reason, I'll just fucking do it myself because everyone else is, you know. Right. That's why I'm Sounds co-owner, to make other people do my work. Yep. All right, one All love, right. dude. Shit it. See ya. Never stops. Never stops. All right, I'm going to read you a series of texts. I'm, on, I'm off the phone now. Okay, great. All right. Remember, remember our last session where uh, I uh, told you everything about uh, how I felt like I was more of a um, uh, a therapist than a boyfriend. Yes. And you're aware of all the kind of chaos and craziness that has happened, and my kind of idea and thought process when it comes to helping people and being there for people. Is over being there for people? Uh, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, uh, Cleo and, I, Cleo and I, you know, we're not together, but all the, the past couple months, you know, as I, as we said in the last session, she keeps trying to, wanting to be a thing. And I obviously had my mind not made up and, uh, yeah. she goes up to me the other day and she goes, Bryce, I'm tired of waiting. I need an answer right now. And I go, I, I, I same thing, um, you know, wait, can you wait one second? I feel like, um, you know, <clears> I, need have, black bars? I have a single... No, I have a single earbud in, and it's playing the um, start music from the I'm the Wii shop. Stand. And I feel like maybe that's the wrong tone for the moment. Y'all hear me? Yeah. Bye, Scruff. Okay. Bye. Have fun with your stepsister. Oh, I will. Gross. <laughs> oh, God, that sounded terrible. It did. Oh, right. I will. Go you on. good? Yeah. This guy's okay, chat. so... Um... Hey, Richard, give us a moment. Yeah, we're just having a serious talk. Have fun with your serious talk, Bryce. You're Ooh, gonna get a phone call soon. About what? Eric shit. Okay. All right, so... So she calls me the other day. And she goes, Bryce, I'm tired of waiting. I want an answer. And it's, you know, it's fair. But I genuinely, like, I'm trying to explain my thought process. And the thing yeah. about the thing about Cleo is when you try and explain your thoughts or reasoning or stuff, she'll cut you off and not let you finish your thoughts and uh, mm. kind of switch around the narrative back onto you and somehow make it your fault. I mean, what I what you know, me not knowing and not having an answer was a dick move for sure. And me kind of, I mean, I to, I've been telling her that, but she felt understandably that she was being strung along. And so you know, dick move. And. Uh, she kind of just like uh, there was a, there was like a big screaming match, and then she's like, you know what, fuck it, I'm done, and this is like our first real breakup, breakup, you know, with actual distance, actually not talking with each other, actual like you know like like done done, real, you know. Yeah, real and true. So the other day, 
yesterday, I'm on the phone with her, and she goes, Bryce, you need to, uh, you need, you need to work on yourself, you know? And she says that, like, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I need to work on for myself. And, um, basically I need to become a better person. And that's something that I need to work on. And, uh, she was basically putting, pitting the entire thing on me, saying that I fucked everything up, that I was an awful person. And I won't go into detail because there's a lot of text messages, but basically we had a screaming match on the phone where she kept interrupting me. And that was, you know, that was that. And then it hung up and then there was a bunch of texts and the texts were good because we both got to say exactly what we wanted to say. And, uh, there's a lot of things that, you know, were said that were, uh, months and months of in the process of, you know, wanting to be said, uh, I was extremely honest and uh yeah that's good and uh she was like why are you saying this shit now and i was like well i i tried to tell you in the past but you didn't listen and you didn't want to listen and or you would interrupt me and or you'd get mad at me and try to explain my thoughts and uh it didn't really go anywhere and so it ended in kind of like a uh a petty off where we both just said everything that was on our minds the past couple months and some of it was pretty harsh. And uh I'm sorry. No, she's sucks. out rolling about with some dude who's a bad influence for her in my opinion, but you know, that's on her that's her life. And uh I feel like this dude Which one? has speedwagon. Yeah, I saw him today. I feel like he would like encourage her chaotic side. And I feel like yeah, Cleo I mean, would that's like that. Kind of BBMC. I, well, I feel like Cleo likes hanging out with BBMC because they don't judge her when she says shit like, I want to buy a grenade and fucking blow up all the cops. You know? Whereas They're she like, says that to me. Grenade. She says that to me, and I'm like, all right, well, like, maybe we don't blow up the cops. And, uh, you know, we could do something else. She feels judged by I me, I think. I literally had, um, someone gave me a grenade that I had no purpose for. And so before it was done, I gave it to a friend in BBMC. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, this is between you and me stuff, right? Mm -hmm. It has to be. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm your therapist. Yes, thank you. I mentioned this to Cleo. I said, oh, yeah, I just gave a, a, a grenade. I was like, yeah, I had this grenade that was about to go bad, and I didn't need it for anything. It's not where I'm at right now. So I, I uh, gave it to a friend in BBMC, and she goes, why didn't you give it to me? And I was like, yo, I am not giving you a grenade. <laughs> There's no world in which I'd give, even if I was doing something destructive with her, I wouldn't give her the grenade. <laughs> like, yeah. She There's, really... a, there's a lot more details, but yeah. I mean, and I feel like, you know, I don't think like the Pez thing is anything really. I think Cleo likes to focus her energy and efforts onto things to distract herself from being alone in her like thoughts and feelings and emotions and stuff like with the KFC chicken thing or with me or with Colin right. and Nancy and now that's Pez you know that's fine um I don't know I don't know I mean the whole thing I just kind of wanted to update you on that but um how do you feel about the text do you feel like resolved I feel like, do you feel like like it's definitely not the last conversation that we'll have but I mean it felt damn good to say everything yeah and I think you know it's like sometimes you tell people shit that they it might be hard for them to hear but they're still hearing it you know especially if you got it out in a text clearly like said yeah, back got, and yeah, forth it's there it's there you know because didn't get interrupted. they can they can and will reread it yeah you know what I mean it's not the interruption filled moment that like they were struggling to get out what they wanted to say in you too and then did anyone hear anything i'm just worried about her man like uh i feel like she's on this really chaotic path that these bbmc dudes are encouraging and i mean if that's the way she wants to do it with her life then you know okay I mean, i'm not gonna well who am i to who am i to say what she can and can't do but i was uh i like at the same time so when i first met cleo right she wouldn't even she would she she would get mad at me for like fucking jaywalking 
right? Our moral compass right. was the complete opposite way that it, that it is now. So I've seen it, like, you know, do the whole Pirates of the Caribbean thing when it's like, you know? When it's like what? Oh, yes, I remember. I just, I don't know, sometimes I feel like Cleo doesn't really get a chance to think and uh, think about her, what she's thinking or feeling or what she should do in, unless she's alone, and she's never alone because she always has constant distractions. Or she's always constantly putting her energy into other stuff. You know, the, um, the day that you tried to kill me with the glider, remember the day that I, you assaulted me? The um, day that you walked into my fucking motor? The day that you tried to murder me as uh, I reported it to the hospital. Um, hope I spelled your name right. Um, I'll have to go back and check. Uh, that day when I stepped away, it was her that called. And she and I had this call that um, if I didn't know better, I would be worried for something happening to her. I don't worry about self-harm with her. But if I didn't know better, the tone sounded really, really grim. Yeah. And she said she was going away for a while. And she made it clear that she was going to be, like, kind of going, um, you know, um, off off the map, if you will, or you know, off the grid. And I was just like, it was really fucking heavy, and it hurt to hear. Because I could hear the pain in her, I could feel it, and I said, will you please contact me to let me know you're okay? Just maybe send a text. She goes, I'm not going to have a phone. I said, then maybe every once in a while you stop by one and just shoot me a text that is a, a smiley face. Or something just so I know just a period just send me one single letter um, and she goes I'm not gonna make any promises I said well, you promise that you'll try and she said fine a um, couple hours later you know that sat with me a couple mm -hmm. hours later and Nancy called me and asked if I'd seen her and I said no she's you know she's off the grid and you know it's kind of a weird call with Nancy too and um, and I said, I don't know where she is. And then shortly thereafter, I started, uh, I talked to Bunny and Bunny said, oh yeah, I just ran into Cleo. She's been on like doing her like stupid bullshit all day. She's uh, hanging out with Nancy and Colin and, and, and I was just like, uh, um, and then I've seen twats from her online that are like, this city's so horny and just like, just innocuous things. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you literally called me with the most doom and gloom tone I've ever heard and said some heavy shit to me. And I said, please just let me know you're okay when you can. And then, um, and that was it. I called her once to be like, dude, what's up? And she's like, I have to call you back. And she didn't call me back. Then I ran into her once outside of, uh, Ripley was pulling me over outside of Roosters. And she ran up and she's like, for a start, pretend to be cop. And she's like, I'll distract him. You run away. And I'm just like, no, I don't need this. I don't need this. And then Ripley ran away. Um, it hasn't, like, I feel pretty frustrated. Honestly, bro. Between you and me. Sometimes I feel like. Sometimes. Sometimes I feel like Cleo only hit me up when it was convenient. Yeah. Um, when you talked about bouncing from one, one person to another, never being alone. It makes me feel like sometimes, uh the same way like she would hit me up when she needed either treatment in between those people mm -hmm. very often it was I would get a call because she was abandoned by other people or felt that way mm -hmm. um, I'm listening I'm just responding to this message of course for a while she was very um I can give you time to respond if you need it no okay for a while I was very uh, happy with her and uh, happy with her her progression and her journey and her treatment and and then all of a sudden it just kind of was like a hard cutoff and became about like all this other shit that I'm sure you've heard of at length and now I'm just sitting here having no idea where she and I stand whether she even thinks anything's off and weird 
but constantly wondering whether I have to drop her as a patient, drop her as a friend, or cut her off altogether. Mm. And that makes me feel like a failure all the way across the board. Not your fault, bro. She's a complicated person. I know. And I mean, I mean, since we are friends, you know, and we're talking this, this is more of like a, I had a really good talk with Tessa yesterday about this. This is more about okay. just me kind of updating you on stuff and like where my head out and just to kind of, I don't know, just to talk about it again. Oh with yeah. Sorry. Person. I shouldn't have shared. I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm it's my fault. No, no, it is your fault. It is my fault for sharing. That's true. Permission to come back out? Yeah. Here, give me a second. Permission granted. I think I heard permission granted. Yeah, permission granted. Give me a sec. Hey, Richard. First of all, sorry. This is a. I've been waiting to talk to Rocky for a long time. Second of all, That's if you good. just wanted to give uh, Homeboy his last lesson, like today, I'd be fine with you passing him. Like, if you guys wanted to do it just tonight. Okay. Um. And I'll make sure that we uh, throw some money your way too. You know, for doing this. And if you don't want to, that's fine. I'll just, I'll just have someone else do it. Or I'll fucking do it, you know? Good distraction. Hmm. Yeah, um... I gotta probably go to sleep uh, maybe in, like, half an hour. Maybe I can do it in, like, within half an hour. I'll call him real quick. Uh, if you... If you can't do it, don't worry about it, bro, okay? Just let me know. Okay. I've been in the corner... Nancy, dude. Hello. Hello. You okay? Yeah. No, I'm good. Are you Are you free to talk a little bit before, uh, before Colin wakes up? Yeah. You want to come to the... Uh, I'm talking with Rocky right now. You want to come to the oil fields? Sure. I'll be there in a sec. Okay. Do you want to ping What's number six? Well, look at you. Well, you know. Canadian goddess herself. Or I'll see you soon. <laughs> All right. Bye. Nancy's joining us. Okay. Boom. Um, this has just been more me wanting to kind of like just update you about it, you know? I appreciate that. And, and I mean, honestly, I've been bummed, but the talk yesterday, although it was, you know, hot and heavy, it was really relieving to get some of that stuff off and just kind of finally fucking saying something. And then that talk with Tessa was so good. And she just kind of like confirmed everything that I thought. And kind of like reassured me that I made like a good decision. And, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess, I guess, I mean, I'm just still worried about her, but I mean, what am I not, you know, because she's who she is and the people that are around her aren't the best influence. But I mean, that's, uh, you know, I can't, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't control that. I don't want to control that, you know? Like, that's a, that's a, that's a path that she wants to walk down. That's a path she wants to walk down, you know? Because you can barely control it when she's when you're around her, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And then there's all the other times. Mm -hmm. And it's not your job. It's not my job. It's a lot. Yeah. Like How you yeah. feeling? I mean, I'm I'm okay, dude. I'm okay. Mofo, thanks for 26 months. You know, there's some awkwardness still, but I mean, it's a. Uh, you mean for you or between you guys or just in yeah, general? Yeah, between or? us. It's, there's some oh, awkwardness, of but I mean, it's uh, it's it's expected and. Uh, 
I don't think it'll be like this forever, and uh, I just want what's best for her, you know? I still obviously care about her. But yeah, I course. just wanted to uh, to update you about that stuff, so. Yeah. Um, thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. I think this is kind of a, um, probably, an, 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 you know, an open dialogue between us. Mm -hmm. So feel free if this, you know, development and I, I will do the same. Yeah, of course. I feel a little lost with her right now. Yeah, me too. I don't think we're alone either. No. All right, let's uh, let's go back to your weird girl, and uh, <laughs> my weird girl. <laughs> So bad just making Richard uh, but thank you Rocky I appreciate you listening I appreciate you me. also when I get fights I'll only accept them from you deal just to be clear about that deal corn? yes you, you can eat corn, corn, corn. I'm trying to just provide, go find mad. corn to eat it mm-hmm is that what you guys do with the corn did Richard have? get black what do you do? shove it up your butt not Richard don't worry about it okay Did uh did Liam get blacklisted? From... Hey, Bri. I saw it, dude. How much corn How's, it, how's my kiddos doing, huh? Hi, Dad. <laughs> I gotta get used to. Do you prefer that. dad or daddy? That, that daughter of Surprise yours is hot me. as fuck. Surprise you. <laughs> are you guys? So are you guys like? Did you guys? You guys went on a date. What'd you guys do? Um. We did it all. What? Stuck in mattresses, <laughs> washers. Everything pops. I thought we just went to Burger Shot. Wow, you took her to Burger Shot, the place you work. Well, I, we're, I had to get the Reliant Robin. Driving around in a three-wheeled car. All right, I was looking something up. Um, Richard, did was you talk cool to? Dad? No, you were very cool. You were very cool. Richard, did you ever I'm talk? I'm gonna call you. I don't know if I want to call you daddy. I think I'm going to call you double D. Ah. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. Whatever, whatever, you know, live your truth. Speak your heart out. Mm -hmm. Whatever boats your float. <clears throat> Richard, did you get a hold of Liam? No, he was, uh, the phone you know, was busy. I can All call right. him again, though. I'm going to give him lessons. Don't worry about it, dude. All right. It's not about the size of the boat. It's about the motion in the ocean. So true, daughter. So true. Mm -hmm. Do not worry, Richard. I will do it. I'm gonna leave the family, Dad. What? <laughs> Why? Is it because she joined the family? Because I'll just kick think, her out. I don't think Chip and Pez would have adopted the person I'm dating. Okay, to be you're unadopted. Well, oh, can I, I still be your daughter? Um, Gruffy. I don't know. No. No? I said I don't know. Oh. Um, it's not my choice. Well, it is, because you're, now you're fucking gaslighting me with this. You're giving me an ultimatum, you know? You adopted my date, bro. It's hot. You, you literally asked me to. Hot. Jesus Christ. Find your emotions and find out what you want. Give me a, uh, give me a second. Hold on. I want to talk to McLovin real quick about something.
I've been in the corner. Hello. Hello. Sorry, I was uh was on the phone. That's okay. <clears throat> How is uh you so you found it? You found the uh the tanks or the the uh the underwater uh, shipment container? So they took me somewhere else. Oh, okay, yeah. They they went to go find dead bodies. Nice. Yeah, and then I went looking for the UFO because we found one of the bodies, and then I couldn't find the UFO. So you got okay. Just went for a swim. That's, that's okay. Yeah. I would have preferred the shipment container over dead bodies, but. I, oh, well. Yeah, I mean it was it yeah it was whatever. Whose idea was it to go see dead bodies? Ez's. Okay. It was right. the trail of the infinity <sighs> killer or something. Nice. All right. Yeah. Yeah, he keeps trying to talk to me. And I, I don't. I don't think he understands that I genuinely like don't care about him. What do you mean he tries to talk to you? Like he tries to call you? I like got the wedding. He like kept coming up to me. A wedding. Or he, he came up at a at at mixed, oh, mixed wedding. wedding. He like came yeah. up to me, or it was like someone needed help moving Mick, and someone was like. Bryce, can you do it? And then Pez stepped in and was like, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, well, why not? It, Bryce and I could do that together. How is that, by the way? Is that a good accent? Or is I, that... I mean, it was fine. We'll work on it. I'm going to wait for two Yeah, we can workshop days. that. Um, it's okay. It's all, you're all good. So, and he was like, yeah, we could do it together. Right, Bryce? Wouldn't be any issues. I'm just like, uh, sure. Um... And, uh, I don't know. I mean, he just, he just, he just keeps appearing stuff and, or, uh, I don't know. Weird. Are you worried about her? I'm worried about her. Yes, I'm very worried about her, actually. I think. Okay, so Cleo, right? Looks like we were talking. Um, any kid squire. Hurtful. Um, Cleo is the type of person that is an all or nothing person. I think that's extremely clear by now with everything that we've talked about, especially things considering Colin and stuff. And she's also the type of person that always needs something to be focused on and or distracted on. You, me, Colin, KFC, uh, she used to be a cop. Um, and now that, you know, some of that stuff has gone away, she's latched on to something new, which is Pez. I don't think it's a romantic thing. More so as someone that doesn't judge her for her chaotic tendencies. Um, and someone that probably encourages her. Probably someone that she can show every single side of herself to. And BBMC alike. That uh, they wouldn't judge her for her being like, yo, I want to go throw a grenade in, in MRPD. Whereas you or I might be like, ooh, let's not. You know, you could. There's other ways to get back at people. Um. And and. Look, I've been with I've been with Cleo since like fucking day one. You know, I used to I, back when she was mm -hmm. fucking. She would get mad at me for for jaywalking and stuff like that. You know, I've seen her drastically change, and I've seen what happens after she's violent and kind of. Does, crazy things, and every single time that after she like after she stabbed the dude or after she shot the cop immediate regret one time she did something and she was blinded in the heat of the moment and she did it and she realized in the heat of the moment that what she was doing was wrong but did it anyways and then afterwards talked about how she regretted it and how she doesn't want to be that person and so i feel like there is good in I'm not saying she's like bad or evil or a criminal or or whatever. I just think she's easily influenced by people who are quote unquote there for her, or people that she can feel that she can be herself around. But I don't I don't think that that chaotic version of her is herself. I think that she. I don't know. I feel like she. Think slower, less of herself, or something. And so I'm, I'm, I'm worried about her. 
uh, especially when it comes to that stuff. And obviously, I know this is kind of another one of those, you know, <laughs> uh, I don't want to say impossible situations, you know, it's not like, I feel like all I can do is really just kind of like complain and, and prepare and hope not for the worst. Uh, it's not like I'm going to be like, don't hang out with BBMC, you know, it's, uh, she can do whatever she wants to, you know, she's her own person. I just don't think she's the type of person that she thinks she is, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but Cleo also got diagnosed with this disorder. You know about I this? I know, she told me. Yeah. yeah, so that obviously also plays a factor into stuff and I mean, like, I know her, you know, I probably know her better than anyone else. And, uh, I am worried. We had a, a talk yesterday after she told me that I needed to work on myself. And that I needed to stop trying to be a babysitter and help everyone. And I kind of just, like, unleashed a bunch of stuff that has been, like, months waiting and uh, really let out a lot on my chest, and she did too. I think we got like all those emotions and, and thoughts and stuff out there that like, you know, probably shouldn't say to someone, but it's like pretty pretty harsh, but also extremely true and like real. But uh, so the things are a bit weird and it ended as you would expect it. Um. It started on a phone call, but then it went to text messages, which I was stoked about because there was no interrupting and there was no twisting of words. It was just reading it as it was, word for word. Yeah. You know? It was a long, there was a lot of messages, a lot of messages, but I, uh, I'm glad it's all out there now, you know, and, uh, she, I don't think she hates me. I think it's obvious that we still care about each other. It's just, uh, you know, obviously it's there's some tension and awkwardness. She's in a bad place. Yeah, she she said, "quote I'm suffering." Like unquote. To you. Yep. And she said that, and then she said, "I can't talk anymore." I have a birthday party to go to. And I said, have fun at your birthday party. I hope there's carrot cake and Pez gets a new bike. Which was a little petty, but, you know, she said some really petty shit. She told me to go fuck myself in the messages for me talking about how I truly felt and thoughts and stuff. That was surprising. Really? That hurt. And I mean, I, I by no means was like a perfect person in that relationship. Like, I definitely did some, some fuck shit too. She did some fuck shit. But because I did the last fuck shit thing, that's the last, like, reminder of everything. So she was saying shit like, it's my fault, and I ruined everything, and to go fuck myself, and yada, yada, yada. I know she doesn't mean that, but heat of the moment stuff, you know? I'm sorry, Bryce. I've been... I've been dealing with this for a long time, right? Like I said, I know I know Cleo Shaw better than anybody else does. Um, I know. I believe that wholeheartedly. And but I also know that it's very hard to help Cleo because she doesn't want to help herself. And she doesn't want to help herself because she distracts herself with distractions and people and things and I don't think she's ever truly alone or has time to think and reflect. No, because she doesn't allow herself to be alone. Mm -mm. And I, 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 I fucking have done that too before, so I get it, and uh, I'm aware about it. What about you? What do you? What have you? Uh, what have you seen from all this? 
I feel so bad for Richard that Richard's just like. It's really tough because, like, obviously I care a lot about both of you, but it's. Why not? And this isn't uh, like you know hashtag Team Bryce no, hashtag Team. No, team no, no. Thing, it's. You know? Although I did make merch. Oh, it's the well, same font as the Twilight shirts. I want shirts. a hoodie. Yeah, I want a hoodie. Which one? Uh, all of them. One of each. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. And sweats, but only yours. Ooh, yeah. Mhm. Mm says Team Bryce on the ass. Mhm. Mm yep. It's because you're my day one. Um. It's it's a. It's a very. <laughs> Excuse me, chat. Stark contrast between. <laughs> what? Yeah, I knew you were gonna fucking bring that up, you asshole. Sorry. I, um, thought, I thought of a funny joke in my head. Right. Uh huh. A <clears throat> uh, very stark contrast between kind of the things you're saying and the things she's saying. And it's it's not even like she's going around saying like "fuck Bryce." She's not. But it's um. <clears throat> When you speak about your relationship, I hear it coming from a place of care. And the things that you did and the actions that you took were from a, a place of caring about her. And I feel like the things that she's expressing feel like she was being not controlled, but like contained. Cleo also, I'm sure you know this by now, um, paint certain things, ways to fit her narrative. Like, uh, yep. like Bryce, I stabbed this dude, but it was justified and it was in self defense. And then you asked the dude, and the dude was like, All I said was, I didn't like your hat. And then I got stabbed. That's a, that never happened. And this is, that's kind of an exaggeration, will, but, but you know what still. I mean. She'll, 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 do that to fit her narrative and so people can uh, feel for her. Not all the time, but I sometimes. Mean, and I hope I, I hope you don't think that I'm like, no, Cleo's a bad person and Cleo no. needs to do this better. Because I'm not. I'm just saying shit as I feel it. Uh, and I appreciate you talking about I know that Colin <laughs> wants to be involved in this conversation. And I think we're going to have this wanna, conversation you wanna, again. You want to put a timeout in it so we don't repeat no. ourselves? Oh, okay. No, because I think me understanding kind of what you're saying, because we, we know so much that mm -hmm. Colin is her dad and doesn't have, like, the relationship with you that I do. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of nice for me to hear this from your side so mm -hmm. I can... Um, can advocate for you a bit because I think it's it's gonna have a bit of a different conversation when he's here, and I don't think that he's going to get upset or disagree or anything like that. He mm. knows Cleo just as well as just as well as I do, but um, you know, I think it's just nice for us to kind of get some stuff on the table. Mm -hmm. Um, last night we were talking, and Cleo was doing the thing that she does where she deflects a lot. Mm -hmm. And I kind of asked her how she was or how she, her day was. And she was like, you know, but how was your day? I only care about you. I don't want to, you know, I, I don't care about me. I want to, I want to hear about you. And she, I, we kind of like pushed her a bit to be like, Cleo, we just want you to be open and honest with us about certain things because how can we support you if you're hiding stuff from us? Yep. And it was very <laughs> much, she's putting up walls. Yeah. It gets, it gets worse. She was putting up walls so I couldn't, you, we, we couldn't do anything and so she basically said that sometimes she just doesn't need to tell everybody everything and she doesn't need to tell everybody her feelings and it's totally mm -hmm. fine for her to have secrets and have her feelings alone and then when I was just leaving Chip swam home so on the way back it was just Pez and, and Cleo and me mm -hmm. and they went and spoke at the end of the dock and he didn't even say goodbye he jumped off and he bailed on on Cleo or on you? No, Cleo came up to me and said, "Oh, he's gonna go get a car and then come pick me up, and him and I are gonna hang out. So I guess I'll see you later." Yeah. I, and she I, said, "How are you?" And I said, "Yeah, I'm fine." And she said, "Why do I feel like you're lying?" And I said, "Because I am." 
and I walked away from her and Ooh. she said, Nancy, why are you acting this way? Why are you doing this? What, why, what is this behavior? And I said, Cleo, it goes both ways. Sometimes I can have my own secrets too. Yeah. I don't have to tell you everything. Ooh. And I drove off. The spice. Yeah. The spice. But it's true. Like, if she's not going to be open with me, why would I need to be open with her? Yeah, that's true. And, uh. I felt very uncomfortable being there. I felt like I was a third wheel. It's almost like Chip was brought along to entertain me. I don't think there's a romantic thing for that. If there is, she has moved on very fast. But I don't think there is. I, I think he's just a distraction for her. Plus, the dude looks like Sean White and Bane had a, you know, three-way with Ronald McDonald. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I don't really care for the dude. Tez has been one of my friends since the day I moved into the city. Oh, and I'm really I'm sorry. No, that's, I, st that's I still fine, stand by fine. what I say. <laughs> no, you're 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 all good, and I don't expect everybody that I'm friends with to be friends. But mm -hmm. it's um, hold on. Are you eating your pepperoni things? No. Oh, okay. Continue. No. Um, but it was just it was a very very weird energy. Mm. And the, we drove back from Polito in complete <sighs> silence. Three of us. Total silence on that boat. I. I want to talk to Colin about something, but I'm unsure of how he's going to respond to it. What do you want to talk to Colin about? I'm unsure of how you're going to respond to it, too, because I'm unsure if you know about this or not. Uh, why don't you just tell me? And if it's not something I should know, I'll put it in a lockbox and... Highway, man. Violet way. Question mark. I'm judging your silence as you know about it, but you don't want to talk about it, or you don't know about it, but you're interested. The former know about it you don't want to talk about it she told you about that i know all about that well not all about it but i know what she did tell me and she wouldn't tell me at first she fucking kept it a secret and i had to find her at the spot trying to fucking summon him with his voodoo magic throwing around nacho cheese doritos and sprinkling mountain dew trying to be like I Shit like that, because the highway boy needed to be summoned or you had to snap three times and say a certain word in Latin. I don't know. But what I do know, what I do know, and it stays between you, me, and Colin until, you know, mm -hmm. unless they want to approach that. And I feel like it's more so for me to know. I hope it doesn't turn into someone tells Cleo and she goes, Oh, why would you tell them, Bryce? I trusted you. only asking for her safety and stuff so um yes you don't want me to say this i won't say shit if you don't want me to say it i'm fine if you bring it up later with all right in there i'll bring it up later but then. i would like you to um phrase it in a certain way go easy on it uh maybe not mention that we spoke about it already oh i wasn't yeah oh, well. i mean do you know does he know that you know about it is this like a call yeah. and i only talk or no 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 it um why are you, just what's what's the, up what's with the, the discomfort i only know one side of the highway man and he is the person who saved mick Okay. When so, we were searching mm -hmm. for Mick, we found a note from the highwayman. Mm. That is the first I've ever heard of the highwayman. <sighs> so, 
I know a lot more, and I think I know stuff that's interesting, and I think... I don't know if this is a good idea to call, tell Colin or not. I... I feel like this might be one of those Bryce knows too much things. It might be. I mean, I've, I I've known about it for a while. Tell anybody exactly. I've known about it for a while. I'm just it's gonna tell you. I'm just gonna tell you. Okay. Okay. And I want your opinion on if I should tell Colin or not. Unless you don't want this guilt and not guilt, this on your shoulders. Let me think about it for a second. Okay. Uh, think about it. I'm gonna empty my rake real quick. Hey, I'm so sorry. Just like it's like an important conversation after important conversation. I'm still here. I'm just talking. I'm 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 really sorry though, dude. I felt bad that I was like, come hang out with me, and then I was like, oh, I need to talk to this person, and this person's here now, so I need to talk to them. Oh, uh, and it's okay. It's only the second time you've done it. Want it to be a third? <laughs> Drop this ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Bryce. I'm almost done. Okay, up. If it, are you still thinking? No, you can tell me. Okay, if it means you feel any better, I feel like Colin knows everything there is to know about the dude. But it was Probably. my concern is more so like him being weirded out that I know. Yeah, that's that's my concern. But mm. I um, I'm mm. trying to figure out if if they would hurt you. Because, I mean, what are they gonna do? I mean, they're gonna they're gonna kill me. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I just mean like if they would hurt you for knowing too much, like one of those scenarios. Um, because I know that Cleo still cares about you, and I know that I care about you. And um, I just want to make sure that you knowing things isn't gonna put you in a bad position. I will tell so you, you and you will tell me if it's a yay or nay for Colin. Okay, let's move over here. <laughs> so, when Cleo was shot at the humane labs, right? Remember that? You heard of this story? I very, very, very briefly heard. All right. It come up. Well, without going into tons of details, uh, Cleo got shot at Humane Labs. It was a BBMC thing. When she was at the ICU, she uh, she said she had this this dream of this person coming and saying, you know, you're, it's not your time yet. You're, you can't die yet. Uh, don't be afraid of the highway and shit like that. Um, 
she wakes up, she thinks this is a dream. Then she learns that it's not a dream, and it's an actual person. And, uh, the dude's, you know, real and some fucking mystical creature. I don't know who the fuck he is. Colin knows more about it than I do. But here's what I do know. He appears to her out of thin air at this one spot that they go to. And, uh, they talk. They talk. Uh, and talk about a lot of things. And some of it is not good. Some of it is weird. And, uh, I'm being very vague. And, uh, mm -hmm. but what was interesting is that she told me that the highwayman said that he was falling in love with her and that he hinted towards, I don't remember if it was hinted or stated, that he was in the room uh, during the Humane Lab scenario with Cleo. And I'm aware that he's affiliated with the BBMC. And so, all things considered, uh, I can I can only imagine who the highwayman might be, and that worries me. Now, maybe I'm just overthinking it, and all of BBMC wants to, you know get with Cleo or uh, maybe I'm not wrong and I'm fully aware that this is something that I like shouldn't look into nor like poke around nor do I plan on it it was more of a letting Colin know that the highway man was falling in love with Cleo type of deal. Because if I couldn't talk any sense into that uh, whole situation where my warnings weren't heard because I just don't understand, then maybe Colin, you know, a pretty high up member in BBMC who's fully aware of it and understands it completely uh, could. I don't know much about him other than, you know, like I said, you snap three times and you say a word in Latin and he shows up. That's not what you actually do. You just have to be a sad little British woman uh, and say nar three times. Uh, I do know that he's extremely dangerous and uh, not the best influence and was totally trying to use Cleo for his own fucking selfish ways in a way that literally benefited Cleo in no way and somehow she was still considering it I, 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 I don't know there's there's so much more to this that I'm just incredibly vague about for like reasons that you're obviously uncomfortable with me talking about this already and I probably shouldn't be fucking talking about it in the first place but I mean <laughs> here I am Yeah, you do seem very mm -hmm. nervous. You do seem very mm -hmm. nervous. Um, what is the boogeyman behind me? I'm a highway lad. I joke when I'm when I'm yeah, sad know. or nervous. Yep. Or whatever, you know. Yeah. I tried to talk to him once, you know. Tried to summon him. You. Went down there, sat in the spot, did the whole British girl thing. Got my finger and everything. Uh, it's off Great Ocean Highway. Okay. I was passing by once and I saw a car there. And, uh, you know, it was a little creepy of me, but I took out my phone and zoomed in and saw her just standing there. Saw her there a couple more times after. Asked her what it was about. Oh, nothing. You know, nothing. Finally got an answer. You know? 
I'm aware that this probably shouldn't be my problem anymore. And uh, that it's not. And that I honestly should just drop it. But it's been bugging at me. Especially seeing her hang out with uh, BBMC as much. I'm glad that she's enjoying it. I think that some of the members are bad influences on her and in encouraging her violent side. And if that's the path she wants to go down, then okay. But uh, that Highwayman thing's still sticking with me. And I don't know if I should tell Colin or not. So... I would think about it. I would not tell him. <sighs> okay. All right. I mean, then I don't know what the conversation with Colin's going to be like. You know, it's just. Hey, this is what happened. This is my side. Oh, look. An unknown number calling me. Oh, great. Highwayman, highwayman, highwayman. Hello? Yeah, I know it's hard I to remember. Why you're calling me. The people that we used to be. Just it's even hard to picture you that you're not here see. next to me. You I'm say it's too late right to here. make it. But is it too I'm late to right. try? And it's our time and wasted. All of our bridges burnt down. I've wasted my nights. You turned out the lights. Now I'm paralyzed still. Wrong number. Did you, you hang up on them? Yeah. Yeah, fuck that. Someone's gonna call me with a voice changer. I'm gonna hit him with a voice changer right back. You ain't big. Did they say anything? Yeah, I was scruffy singing some, some late 2000, or early 2000, late 90s pop. Oh, really? No. Okay. Pretty good. Um, anyways. Scarfy, I'm in a very important yeah. meeting. You have a beautiful voice. I'll call you back, okay? What do you mean? I was trying to hang. You didn't even use a voice changer. Shut up. I'll call you back. I'm sorry. I'm putting my phone on silent. I just feel like the talk with Colin now, I mean, well, good, and me expressing my concerns and thoughts and stuff and hearing his invoice and stuff, I feel like it's just going to be like, an, okay, I'll hear you. And you're like, yeah, I agree with you. I agree. But, like, genuinely, I mean, even talking with you about this, like, I don't think anything's going to be done about this. I don't think anything, like, I don't know, like, I don't think anything needs to be done about this. I feel like this is just me, like, talking. Kind of. And I mean, if this is what she wants to do, then this is what she wants to do. She's an all or nothing kind of girl. You said it yourself. Yeah, I'm aware. He is a complex person. I just, I don't know. Maybe I thought, you know, saying something to Colin and you would be like, oh, yeah, don't worry about it, dude. She's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, I spoke with her about kind of what, what she was doing these last couple of days. Because she's, um, she's in her pushing people away arc. Um, yep. You've been pushing me and Colin away a bit. And. Sorry to hear that. What she does, yeah. it's nothing new. You nothing know. new, I know. Nothing you or Colin have done. It's just something that she does. Even after, like, months and months and all that trauma that we've gone through, she still felt the need to hide stuff or, you know, put stuff, put walls up and stuff. Yeah. I kind of asked her why she's hanging out with the people or person that she is. She just said she feels like she can be herself around them. Mm. And, um, 
obviously I want that for her. I don't want to keep keep her from that. If that's what makes her happy and Yeah, if that's what makes her she's happy. She's not hurting anyone. I just I don't know. I just There's a lot of people in the city that have like talked to Cleo and been like, "Yeah, like we're best friends and I understand what you're saying and I've been there for her and then just end up using her for awful shit for their own stuff and I just don't want that to happen again especially when she's you know maybe she is finding herself or 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 you know finding out the person she wants to be with this with these interactions then like hell yeah you know like I uh, she could do whatever she wants to do I'm not trying to control that I'm more so just worried that she's still being used for for shit or being wrongfully influenced and then she's going to wake up one day and be like, what the fuck am I doing? I don't want to be this person, you know? It's, um, it's ironic. She hurts people every day. Yep. Physically and emotionally. She definitely does, and I've seen the change from it all. Like I said, she used to yell at me for jaywalking. She, she remember when she was mad at me about the scientist thing? The scientist thing. The piss pyre. No. The scientist wanted to infect everyone with this disease, where you would have to drink uh, a gallon of someone else's piss a day to survive. And then you'd have to, you'd also be in, injected with every single type of uh, sexual disease. And uh, I shot that guy, because fuck that shit. I'm not trying to do that. And I got... You shot a man. Nancy, I've... I mean, I don't... I've, oh, yeah. I've, I've killed people before. I remember that. But anyways, I haven't even killed people. Yeah, it's, it's fucking awful. Don't do it. Um, no. I uh, I got yelled at. I got creamed for that. I got told to go turn myself in, otherwise it was the end kind of thing, you know. And now it's like, I feel like if someone were to do that, she'd be like, hell yeah. And then I've just seen her moral compass, like I've said, slowly been like, like the compass in Pirates of the Caribbean, where it's just like... <laughs> And then she had the whole memory loss thing, and she forgot about moral compass stuff, and she gained it all back, and now it just seems like she's spiraling and spiraling. And then, like I said, you know, if this is the type of person that she wants to be, okay. You know, more power to you. I just hope she's not being wrongfully used. Seems more violent by the day. Which worries yep. me. Yeah, she uh, let a phone call earlier with... She stabbed a guy today. Yeah, don't miss those. But then when I called after a few days and she was acting off, I said, who did you kill? And she was almost like appalled that that would, would be you the think first I'm thing a monster. I would do. Why would you think I did something? Because you slit Toretti's throat and you shot a cop and then you stabbed a guy and then you stabbed another guy and then you stabbed another guy and you tell me that if anything ever happens to me you will turn the city upside down and kill anybody that hurt me. I don't think she's like He's a monster a or like a psycho. Response. Oh. I think she's like a serial killer or a monster or something but you know. Just definitely worried of the violence tendencies. And uh, as fantastic as they can be, I, uh... Not the best role models, you know? EBMC and the Highway Lad. Sorry, I'll stop no. mentioning him. I know it makes you uncomfortable. 
the BBMC. This is such a good talk, but I feel so bad for Richard. The BBMC. Yeah, all you have to say. It's a cult. Uh, and he's a psycho. And he makes them do psychotic things, and they all say, yes, sir. And some of them are psychopaths, too. And some of them are genuinely good people, like Colin. I'm glad you think that. I think Colin's a great guy. I think Colin I is, is, is someone that knows his priorities and someone who knows where he wants to put his attention in and someone that will make sacrifices to make sure that all those priorities are seen to and, 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 and treated with the respect that they're earned. And I think that he knows his worth despite being uh, under Dundee's thumb. Which you know is a thing in yeah. itself. I do. But everything you just said about Colin is something that I've experienced firsthand. And back that up. Well, I'm good to, to hear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bryce knew about the Highwayman 2.0, but now we just know. 3.0, it got retcon, so. Now we just know it. Is really known Colin is awake right now. Oh, he'll be. He will be, you know. And then we can have this whole conversation again. <laughs> yeah, I would. Um. Not focus on the, the. I wouldn't bring up the. The highway boy. I bring that. I wouldn't bring that up. Okay. And if you do, just... <laughs> wait for me to... tell you to. Okay. It's for your safety, I think. I mean... I don't want anything to happen to you. Honest... Honestly, if, uh... If what I suspect to be correct is correct, then he already knows. So I guess it doesn't really fucking fucking matter. And if not, then who knows? Are you good though? Yeah. I was. You're such a bad fucking liar. I don't know if it's because you're Canadian no, or what. I'm being I'm being honest. I think obviously this is a heavy topic. This is a lot. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's not. Doesn't change the fact that like. There's a lot of good stuff, going for me right now, and a lot of stuff for me to be excited about, and things I'm really proud of, and. I think overall, yeah, I am happy. I think I'm good. I'm glad to hear that. How are you? I feel... So, uh, the past couple of days, I've been super fucking down. Not gonna lie. Also, because just like... I did a lot of sacrifices to uh, for Cleo, right? You know, I worked less. I stopped hanging out with friends less. I was there whenever she needed to. Those are my choices, you know. But she definitely, you know, would be sad when that wasn't a thing. As I'm sure you've seen with her and Colin time. Yep. Uh, but I mean, at that being said, you know, majority of my time was, was spent hanging out with her. So it's like, uh, it's, it's been the last couple of days, you know, it's like, okay, well now, what? you know, I got work, I got all these other friends, you know, but like still, still bummed. But, uh, been fine you know genuinely have some good talks with some good people this being one of them got a lot off my chest in that conversation with her yesterday although it was heated and and uh kind of petty 
I, uh, I think we both got. Sometimes you need to say stuff to people that you know is going to hurt and fucking suck. But they need to see it and hear it. Uh, and even though they might not, you know, hit them then, you might hit them later. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm still bummed about it, but, uh, I'm glad that we had the, we were able to, I was able to say everything. It feels good to say everything. And although it's awkward and weird right now, I think, uh, obviously I still care about her, you know, I just want what's best for her. And, uh, giving her that distance and leaving her alone. Do you feel like, um, through your conversation, you were actually heard? I don't know. I feel like through a lot of that, even like the past couple months, I haven't been heard on stuff and it's only after the math of, I should have, you know, like, damn, that was, that was true or Sometimes it took Colin to say the exact same thing that I was saying for her to click and be like, yeah, you're right. This isn't like a I'm right, you're wrong thing. More so like a hearing my thoughts and feeling stuff without turning it around on me and getting mad at me about it. So I'm happy it happened over text, like I said, so she could just read it. And uh, even if it doesn't stick right now, I'm sure she's going to reread it. And, uh, it's all there and not going anywhere. Can't be changed. Can't be, uh, words mixed up. It's just there. Yeah. Sometimes it's for the best, even if it hurts the most. Mm hmm It's like that Eminem song, Puke, where he made a song about it. And he said that he was going to put it in a little letter, but she didn't. he didn't want to... So she couldn't shred her. Except Cleo doesn't make me want to puke. And that song is like way meaner than the text and stuff. You know? Yeah. No, I picked up on mm -hmm. that. You I can, don't I can help know how or just support sick you. You make me. Anything. Mm -hmm. Like I know that. Mm -hmm. I know that you stopped seeing your friends as much while you were with her, and I'm not sure if you lost friends because of it, but if you, if you just need support, you know, I'm always, I'm always here. For yeah, you I know, and that's why I call you. I mean, I did honestly lose some friends about it, but if they don't want to be friends with me because of someone I'm just fucking seeing, then fuck them, you know? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, a lot of my friends are, are busy, successful people, or they just don't come around anymore, and that's okay, you know? I've been meeting new people, been, been hanging out with Scruff and Richard, who's being a fucking champ and sitting on the trash and biking around and falling off buildings while we're having this talk. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> for a while, I was like, I'm going to sell the house, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to sell the house. I don't want to. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. to keep it and I say for a while but it was like a moment's thought of like I should sell the house I need the money but uh I'm gonna keep it to decorate it and yep. uh just continue doing my thing you know I'm trying to finish this oil thing so I can finally sell a barrel of oil and feel accomplished as an oil baron That's uh good. and then I'm probably gonna sell it because this shit is way too grindy for such little money really dude it's like <laughs> it's like let's see okay if I'm running it at 100% which it is right now every 20 minutes or so it gets full to 300 gallons right and it takes uh, 5,000 gallons to fill a whole barrel so that's about you know 16 trips each being like 20 to 30 minutes and then each Damn. gallon each gallon of gas is only selling between like seven to eight dollars right now. So 
So that's like so much work for like 40k. And plus I have to buy parts because the ship breaks fast. And I don't know. I bought it because it was like a risk. And I was like, I wonder if it's going to be a good money sink. Or a, a, a money thing. And mm -hmm. uh, it's just, it's not good. But I used Airx money to buy it. So it's not like I'm... Oh, you know, so whatever. <laughs> it's not like I lost out on it. I just, I just don't want to do it anymore because it sucks. And the, sh the formulas change every week. And it's like perfect. I finally figured out how to do 100% efficiency. And it's like, just kidding. It's changed. It's like, fuck. Ah. Jesus. Yeah. Sounds like farming, too. It's like meth for sieves. Give me a sec. Kind of relaxing to watch. Yeah, that's why, I kind of, that's why I kind of came up here. It's relaxing, and even though I complain about it, you know, it's just me pushing some buttons every now and then and pumping some oil. Is that your pump too? No, that's Scruffy's. Stop pumping. Yeah, it probably broke down. <laughs> he probably forgot that he put it on a hundred percent before he left. Oh jeez. Yeah. I normally leave mine at like five. And every couple hours I come up here and empty it. But at a hundred it's easy, you know, every twenty minutes so I can have serious dramatic talks. And then, <laughs> you know Boom. Two thousand gallons of oil pumped. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, I know, right? I should have more meetings here. Yeah. What's even more amazing is that the entire, it's like literally like me and four other people are still the only people are interested in this. And at some point, the city's going to run out of gasoline. Yep. And they're just going to be fucked. I know some people who are still trying to get their pumps going. Yeah. Seymour. I'm probably going to sell mine to Seymour. Maybe. Yeah, he's waiting to get his expungement. He sent me a picture of him riding a deer. Yeah, he sent that same to me, too. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should buy an electric car. Maybe. Dude, they're sick. Yeah. Tessa has one, and it still takes gas. Wait, what? Yeah. Fuck. Kind of but they back up going, like, 100 miles per hour. Oh, hell yeah. I want to reiterate this, not that you said it, but I mean, I definitely don't think this is like a hashtag team Bryce, hashtag team Cleo thing, and not that it would matter, but like, hell yeah, that you guys hang out, and I'm glad that we still hang out, and I'm sure we could all hang out together, but I'm, I need space, she needs space, I need time by myself, she needs time by herself. And, uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't care. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be like, Natch is hanging out with her instead of me. Ooh. You know? Yeah. Just want to put that out there. Not that you were thinking of it. Maybe you were. I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't. You've, I've said it before. I've said it just earlier. You're one of my day ones, Bryce. I'm not going anywhere. Even though I drink G Fuel? Even though you drink G Fuel in a Red Bull house. You know, tomorrow it's 30% off with code LGX. Oh, shut the fuck up.
I'm gonna I'm gonna take off for a little bit. Yeah, you do what you want. Go that was a long conversation, bucks. and uh, mm -hmm. we get to have it all again once you know Colin's done punishing. So, well, uh, should be sooner rather than later. It is what it is. I'm not going where, considering that I feel like I'll probably be around for another 26 hours. Mm -hmm. Oh, anyway, you did that to yourself, so. It's okay. I'm wiping my tears with money. Okay. Thanks for, uh, thank you. I love you. I love you too. All right, Nancy, dude. You stay Nancy true, okay? All right, Bryce. That's right. Richard. Hey, hold on. Let me take this phone call. I'm just kidding. I'm so <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. Okay, that was. There's so much shit going on right now. I'm sorry. Good news. I might have discovered something really funny. Oh, what did you discover? I got. I got to I got to get more speed. I think. For some reason, I was shaking my ass like a lot. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, come here. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Check this out. You see me doing it? I don't think what? you can do it. Wait. See what's happening? No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see it. Yeah, I see it. Nice. I think I had a homeless person do that to me once. Gross. Uh, hop on, Scout. Okay, S sir. I have to call you Sport. I don't know why Scout came out. But I would, also I, would have, I would have also accepted Sprout. That was a really good talk with Nancy and Bryce. Mm. Um, I've been pumping oil like a madman. Sorry, I, I, I'm really sorry again that that took so long. I know what it it's feels okay. like to like just wait and do nothing while people have like a fucking 40 minute conversation um it's okay i'm just a side character you're not a side character it's don't okay you, don't you ever fucking say that <laughs> i don't ever want to hear those words come out of your mouth again richard okay jesus christ side character you make me sick i cross what's up baby well you know just pump in about to finish this last uh this last uh pump and then I'm gonna get just enough for my first barrel. It's gonna be good. Congratulations. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Proud of you guys. Keep it up. You guys are killing it. Richard, I don't ever want to hear that shit ever again. Okay. Side character. Did you have a good hour and a half long talk? <laughs> yes, I needed it. And there was a lot of information that needed to be included. And just because you're not included in this fucking storyline doesn't mean that you can not be like that, okay? Oh, I don't care about the storyline. Wow. Thanks. Listen, I'm not a, I'm Thanks, not a lore Richard. master. Jeez. Thanks, Richard. What? Listen, here's something you can be included in, okay? I think Hal's a terrorist. <laughs> okay? You know, the, the first thought I had when I saw him, I was like, you're weird. Hal makes jokes about being a terrorist all the time. And when I ask him if he's a terrorist, he goes, well, I've never been convicted of terrorism. And I go, why would you say that? Hmm. Why wouldn't you just say no? And then the last time I tried to confront him about it, he fucking pulled out a Molotov. Okay. And I said, you know what, Hal? You do me this favor. If you are a terrorist, just don't use any of Eric's planes or helicopters or property for your axe. And he goes, I could do that. But I need you to go deep undercover, Richard. I need you to go deep okay. undercover and find out if Hal's actually a terrorist <laughs> or not. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe like, the, maybe like first time a, I met him. Mm -hmm. what, what were you saying? I was going to say, maybe like call him with a voice changer and like a get up and be like, yo, you want to commit some, some terror? You want to like go, you know, uh, <laughs> crash uh, a helicopter somewhere or something yo yo dude i heard you were a terrorist what's up <laughs> something casual i don't know what terrorists say casual terrorism talk yeah i get it 
I don't know. Honestly, in this city, fucking like uh, hop back on. This noise bothers me. In this city, you know, you walk up and you meet someone in the parking lot of the apartments, and you're like, "Hey, bro, I need a fourth for a bank. You in?" And they're like, "Yeah, sure." Yeah, but then fuck I have to commit it. to the bank cops. thing. This is my first day in the city, and I fucking hate cops. Also, I bleed green, even though I've never met you guys before. Also, I get one parking ticket. And now I'm a, I'm, I'm a criminal. You know what? Hell week for that speeding ticket. Yep. Hell week. The Side. first time I met Hal, he uh, he wanted to take me base jumping, and he could have definitely just filled my uh, filled my parachute bag with forks and knives. Hmm. He'd do it. I believe it. I believe it. Did Liam ever get back to you? No. He never got back to me either. He might have just went to bed. doing there bubba bubba oh actually i told scruffy i'd call him back he called me during that from an unknown number and he just yeah. sang 90s early 2000s pop music to uh, me so i call him from unknown numbers sometimes i pretend to be him that? from the future scruffy you do that scruffy it's me from the Doodle. future yeah, that's basically yeah. it. I so just wanted to let you know to leave you a sister right now. She's not worth it. And she's going to make you do some crazy shit. So Scruffy what? Doodle. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's our catchphrase in the future. I'm not going to do that. All right, she's bro. super hot and I, interesting. You know what, dude? I fucking warned you. I fucking warned you. Uh, sorry, Why do you, I was, okay. well, I was having a an hour and a half warn? long conversation and abandoning Richard for that long, so I was busy. Mm. You seriously think I shouldn't go on another date with this girl? Dude, I don't care what you do with your free time and who you date and who you don't date. Fuck it. I, I, well, I, I listened to your advice, but I don't. I don't know if I'd go. I would listen to it. I don't know if I'd do anything. Leave, leave your, it. leave your wife, and then you can do whatever the fuck you want. I can't leave my wife. She already left me. Okay, well she left you, so that's fine. You dodged yeah. a bullet, bro. Now you can do whatever you want to do. You know. Uh, whether that be Shelly yeah. and getting in those buns or uh, I tried with Shelly. I mean, I took her today. I told her she looked so extra greasy today. I like, don't know. I don't think any woman, despite her owning a burger joint, would ever want to be told you look extra greasy today. What do you think, Richard? Well, she like or that, him? That that Scruffy said to Shelly. You look extra. I, I don't know. That's kind of a compliment in burger lang lingo. Okay, maybe it was a compliment. I'm an outsider, okay? Because I don't work at Burger Shop. Yeah, it's a different culture here. All right. I mean, yeah, dude, do whatever the fuck you want. Also, plus, doesn't Shelly have like four husbands? Yeah, so that's why three. It's... Three, sorry. My bad. And so it's fine, dude. You know, that's a. Uh... Yeah, just, Shelly. Just be the Sabbath Coheen in, in your relationship with Jeffy Coldiron, you know? With who? Uh. If you're going to be in an open relationship, be in an open relationship. Don't make it monogamous, you know? Just keep that shit polyamorous. Okay. Otherwise, it oh, gets oh, complex. So what are you doing now? Are you still I'm oiling, still out the bro? fields, dude. I'm just pumping. Are you going to be there for a while? Should I join you? If you yeah, I was going to be there, but you're having, like, side conversations. And yeah, I, was, like, I had a bunch progress, of serious so conversations. I'm still here that's with Richard. Fine. You should, I was you should, just uh, explaining why I didn't stay. Yeah, that's, that's uh, all good, dude. All good. I don't expect people to stay around for that shit. Um, yeah, yeah, fuck, no, why don't you why don't you come uh, back up to the pump? I don't know why Richard stayed. What the fuck? Yeah, he's insane. Richard but, uh, stayed and was orange justicing on things and falling off. Oh, yeah, you saw that? Fun. He's having fun. <laughs> Go for him. I've just been doing uh, right, I'm gonna, soon. Yeah, I'm gonna leave in like five minutes. Was there? Bet. Bet. All right, Scruffy's on his way. So Scruffy has a thing for Shelly now. Oh, uh, you didn't hear it from me. I definitely did though. Richard, I swear to God, if you're spreading shit, you didn't hear from me. 
Okay. I mean, fuck. I don't care. It's their business, not mine. Exactly, bro. I also found out he cheated on Valentina, but like, you know. Dude, Valentina would like... She's crazy. She physically and mentally abused Scruffy, and she would take apart... What the fuck just happened? Uh, Did Valentina... Is there a sniper? Did Valentina... Did Valentina, Did Valentina do... do this? I need to eat. I'm hungry. Hey, Richard's an idiot and forgot to eat, so he needs EMS at the oil field. I'm at a pay phone trying to call. Oh. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Valentina sucks, and I'm glad they're not together anymore. Like, I heard what she said at, like, a big meeting one time, and she was like, you know, you managers don't do enough, but I've, I've never seen her in my life. She, like, burned down Burger Shot once. Did she? She, like, set fire to Burger Shot in, like, a Joker cosplay. I mean, um, she's definitely Scruffy's type. Yeah, and then she would, like, take apart Scruffy's Legos in front of him. Okay, that's kind of fucked. That's super fucked. You know how long that takes? You know how, you know how much yeah. like effort goes into taking some of those pieces apart? Are you making like a fucking crop circle around me? What are you doing? Just so the EMS know where to find you. Oh, okay. What's up? He's, he's, he's okay. He's okay. What's up, dude? Yeah, we're just waiting for uh, EMS for Richard. Making it look like I landed here. I married my dad. I, st I can still hear her voice even Shut though she's gone from us. Shut the fuck up, Bryce. All right. What's up, Tanner? How's it going, dude? Sorry, I said hello. Uh, hello, Bryce. Uh, quick question. Quick answer. Twenty-seven. To uh, is there a place to change clothes at Airat? So no. Yes. Uh, right. Uh, you know where our parachute guy is? Yum. Yep, right there. All right. Cool. That makes yep. it actually a lot easier. Heck yeah. You're doing great, Tanner. Happy you're liking Airx. Yep. See you. Got another customer. See you, dude. I should ask Tanner if he's interested in flying the blimp. Did we get a new contract yet? Yes. Vinny Pistone took like a week or two to respond, so I said fuck it, and I went to the next person in the line, which is Fast Loan. So they literally just paid and signed the contract today, so that shit's going to start in the next day or two. Nice. We have such a big interest list, by the way. Yeah. So Vinny's saying no. I feel like he's gonna regret it, and he's gonna be mal he's gonna be mad that he missed out because he's gonna Charge be like, him more. he's gonna be like, well, I want to do it now. And we're gonna be like, all right, bet. Wait like five months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you missed your spot. Or you just be like, you know, if you want to go on the next one, three hundred k. Yeah. All right, EMS didn't respond, so I'm fucking taking you. All right. Ooh, can you though? Ugh. Ooh. Um. Yeah. 
Scruffy's on his way, right? He has a car. Oh. Okay. Slash me picks you up. Slash me helps you do the bags. Minus one. How? Minus one, dude. How? I'm saving your life. Fucking RP, dude. Stop. Oh, God. Go. <laughs> Ruining my immersion. <laughs> Why does this city feel so dead? Honestly, bro, the city's been dead if I'm being real. Is that the fucking EMS now? Have you noticed that it's been like hella quiet lately? Yeah, or just like, this... or just like people haven't really been doing nothing. Like everyone's like either in their groups hanging or they're they're like making money. Well, there was a big emphasis on groups recently. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it's uh, I heard you can't even boost without being in a group nowadays. No, you can't. Me and this, me and my friend were talking. You ever see the movie uh, Accepted? E no. Okay, so in the movie, a bunch of this dude doesn't get into his dream school, right? And he gets into none of the colleges that he, he applies to, but he doesn't want to tell his parents. So he uh -huh. makes a fake institution um, and sends a fake letter. And while well, some of his friends find out about this and they go, they want letters too. And soon a bunch of people start actually applying to this because they understand what it is. And so it's a fake <clears throat> college. Uh, that their parents think they're actually going to, but in reality, they're all just partying with each other. Nice. So I was saying that we should make an accepted version for gangs. So people can do mm -hmm. crime and shit that they want to do. Just make like a, a new group, but just yep. have it just be a bunch of randos. Just a bunch of randoms that either didn't make the cut for shit or that just don't fit in nowhere. So you want a group of B-listers? I want a group. I will call. We even call ourselves the B-listers, dude. Who, who even fucking knows? <laughs> I mean, I was just brainstorming, you know. I mean, I don't really, I don't do that shit. But I mean, I don't know. I think, I think it'd be nice for some people. You could have them pay like a weekly fee. Yeah, exactly, dude. In exchange, they get to do the shit that they want. And uh, ooh, these new lights are sick. Yeah. Yeah, you know. It's like uh, it's like every single comedy movie. Oh, I should text Scruffy saying I'm going to the uh, oil fields. It's like every single comedy movie of like misfit teams, like bad news bear shit. You know, the underdog team that everyone makes fun of and they've lost eight years in a row. But now due to their brand new alcoholic coach who's coming over their addiction and problems with themselves. And then he's now he's able to finally, you know, understand his self-worth and finally cares about something that's not himself. And he takes oh, the team like to Monsters a championship. University. What? No, like Bad News what? Bears. Oh, okay. Or like Monsters University. Or like fucking Kicking and Screaming. Or when Sully, when Sully kicked that coke habit, it was a strong part in that movie. Cool Runnings. You know, Mighty Ducks. I'm more of a cool ranch kind of guy. You haven't seen many movies, have you? Nah, I'm, I'm more into memes. I receive all my news from memes. memes. Jesus. Yeah. Surprisingly more well-informed than most. You are something else, Richard. Yeah. <sighs> what the fuck just happened? You know, I think the power's gone out like five times since we've just hung out together. I'm pretty sure someone was trying to hit the casino earlier. Oh. So. Who knows? Maybe down bad at the roulette table. Hmm.
Who knows? I'd hate to be a cadet right now because they probably have to gear up for SWAT. Uh, who knows? Power always goes out and shit, and then big shit gets hit. So. Yeah. Who knows? It's like uh, it's like we're out here in Texas. You know. Texas. Is this Kiki? Wait, Kiki, one more. One more. No, I... I'm just kidding. You okay? Hi, Kiki. Actually, can you do me a favor, Bryce? Yeah. Do you have a car nearby I can borrow? Uh... And, you know, you can, not, you can take my bike. Area? You can take my bike. Hold on, I'm just grabbing, uh... Richard off of it. Are you sure? Yep, don't need go. it. Don't want it. Go, Kiki, okay. go. You okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get home. It's been a long day and I got stabbed again. It's all, you know... It's oh, morning. stabbed you. Some random psychopath. Please be careful. He looks like a hillbilly. But there is a doctor there. Okay, I want to hear. I want to hear about this later. You go. You go okay. home. You be okay. wicked, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Bryce. I'll, I'll make sure your bike gets. Home. Don't worry about it, dude. You do whatever. I can swing by your house later and grab it. Well, I like her. She's fun. Dude, Kiki's amazing. I wonder if we're going to be allowed in the hospital. We'll be fine. I'm a cop. I keep forgetting that you're a cop. I know, right? Crazy. I, I, I applied like six months ago and then forgot. Can you like forget that whole accepted thing that I talked to you about, about the gangs? Uh, yeah, I don't care. Okay, cool. It's pretty funny. I think it'd be a good idea. It is, honestly. Hey, while you're doing this, I'm gonna run to the. Uh, the hey, sorry, I, uh, what did you do? I'm gonna run to the. Uh, Stop. I'm gonna run okay, to the rental okay, spot so real quick, okay? Running in circles yeah. Okay, bye. Can mm -hmm. you like take mm -hmm. it down just a second? Believe it. Sorry, Chad. I'm messaging Eric stuff right now. I'm trying to add Tanner to the um to the blimp stuff. my computer I don't think I can add people like that on my phone hello how's it going <laughs> oh no alright you've been this is all caps you have been added to hashtag blimpin in the discordia. Make sure to read all the pin messages there.
Why is it so foggy and spooky? I want Pringles, he says. Up. What's up, dude? How you feeling? You feeling okay? I need food. Okay. I've got a. If you drive us to Burger Shot, I can just make some of all the vegetables I foraged. Yeah, that's fine. Is it tomato or fruit or vegetable? I believe it's uh. I don't know. It grows in the ground, though. Yeah, but it's a vegetable. So I just Google it. Bike? Tomatoes are fruits that are considered vegetables by nutritionists. That is the most confusing sentence I've ever read. I think culinary mm. vegetables or the botanical people, they're fruits. But the culinary people, they're, uh, they're veggies. They're, they're vegetables. Yeah. I'll keep it running. Mm. Also, okay. tomatoes definitely don't grow also, in the ground. Do you see this? <laughs> tomatoes yeah, don't I'm grow in the badass. ground. You see this badass thing on my back? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I'm kind of cool now. What the fuck? Can I have one of those? You selling that? Yeah, tomatoes don't grow in the ground. What? Wait, shit. Evil M, thank you for the 13 months. Also, McLovin, I think I have the spooky game for you if you don't want to do the other one. It's called Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. And uh, it's all cute, like cute jump scares. Like for little ghosts. And just spooky rooms. But you keep going into them. And there's just a bunch of cute little jump scares. <laughs> you can tr we can try that one, and then we can try the other, yeah, the actual scary one. I got Good. a salad. Dude, Burger Shot looks insane. What the fuck? Yeah, it's because of the power outage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we just turned on the bug zapper. Yeesh. You know, it's probably been like 20 years since I've seen Bugs Life. What you, I mean, I know what you're doing tonight now, right? Yeah, going to sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you going to sleep right now? Oh, not right now, but you know, if you want me to, I think that's fine. <laughs> no, dude, I don't want you to go sleep. What the fuck? I can't stop this. I can't stop this. Can't, go for the jump, go for the jump, go for the jump. Stop. Hey, it's Croft. Hey, are you still at the hospital? I was talking to Shelly about it stuff no i'm on my way back to the uh the, the fields now okay oh you're, you're gonna be there a while right uh yeah i'm gonna be here for a while i'm just i'm probably gonna run it until it fucking dies which is honestly probably like another uh, like hour okay. um so you do you dude i'm doing this i have to have a meeting in a little bit um 
Well, hang out with Dick, I guess. Is he still with him, or is he fucked no, up? No, a little bit's like, like an hour or two. So I'm, oh, I'm chilling. Oh, well, then we're done doing oil stuff anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna be okay. chilling at the oil fields, just kind of dicking around with Dick while. Uh, is it an RX meter? About the. Thing? No, it's not. No. But oh my god, I mean, so snow and I. Hold on, I need to turn off the music. It's hard to do both. Yeah, sorry, that's just not exciting as possible. I to be honest, I don't, I don't know if they'll budge, but it'd snow be cool. and I, I had an idea about it. Snow and I are 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 in talks with them about getting wingsuits for RX. Or, you want to know how I was thinking we could approach it? How's that? Fuck them. Just grind it. That was really cool. Did you say fuck them? Um, no, no, I said I fucking <laughs> hell. I just grinded. That was really Richard cool. Richard likes that suits. idea. Richard likes that. Um, what, what was so the idea? what if we paid for just the rights to manufacture our own, but they get a percentage of each of it. So that way, you know what I'm saying? I think that would like be good. Time. But the only thing is, uh, Richard, I don't want to go back to the hospital. The only thing is, is that it's super expensive to make them. True. But I mean, that's okay, so, something so, that we can we, talk yeah, about. Would we get them at a discount? I just don't under. I don't know. I don't know. That's Ooh. y'all, I guess. I mean, I'm probably, I'm not trying to stick my nose where it doesn't belong. I'm no, I mean, I want to hear your thoughts and feelings on this. I think it's definitely because I've dealt with servers before, and they just have like certain. They're really weird about business, and they always try to fuck you. So I was trying to think of the, like the best deal for everyone. Like, Trevor's always tries to get, like, everything and, and your mother, usually. Uh, I don't know. They're, I have a bad... Like, I think they'll do it, maybe, but, like, it's got to Let's talk over be... here so I don't have their scr screeches. Yeah, let's talk like... Um... Yeah, I think, uh... Yeah, that was fucking rude. We... So, Snow's Sorry, already talked with, with them. I think if I talk okay. to... So, Jackie. If I talk with, with, with Lang, nothing's gonna happen. If I talk with, um... With Leslie or Dean, to get a hold of, but they they both really like me, and I feel like they both respect me. Dean likes me a lot as well. Leslie thinks I'm funny. I don't think Lang likes you that much, Scruffy. That's why I didn't mention him. Yeah. He doesn't like he he likes me more than he used to. We used to we used to beef hard. At one time when we got held up by that group of burger shot and he was there, yeah, I, he called you a loser to your face. That was kind of rude. Yeah, I said, who are you standing with, Lane? Mm. I don't know, a fucking loser. I said, I said you can't, I said, yeah, and then I was like, I was pretty I good. Said, like, I said, like attracts like, you came right up next to me and talked to me, motherfucker. It sounds like you're a little worried about a sheep. I think we could, I think we could figure it out. My thing is, like, I don't know. It's very random for Cerberus to just be tossing them out. Maybe Air does agree. like training, and in exchange I mean, I we're given up, like I don't want to go up to him and be like, "This, what y'all doing is stupid." This we is airplane thing. Stuff. We're airplane things, you know. Yeah, this is air. We're airplane thing. What the fuck? Like, I don't want to. You know, we can't go up. We on control kind of the time. skies. <laughs> what are the sky gods? What's this? I mean, also snow could just be like, "Hey, you're using something that was what was it authorized by the PD?" Like. You can those... buy them. Yeah, I think so. Maybe no, I mean, like, what was it put into like law that they could do it? You know what I mean? Well, like, do they have to pull out it. flight data? Yeah, you know, because they're about it. Well, I don't know. They could use it to like smuggle shit. You know, when you're when you're flying around, you have to fill out flight data, and you have to three one one it to ATC, and if you're just flying around willy nilly, and then you know it could be a legal thing. There's no laws on base jumping. No, Santos, mm -hmm. I don't believe. I could be it's, arrogant on the top. There's not even, like, flight laws of how high or low or fast you can go. I tell um, people there is. I tell people you shouldn't fly super low, like, touching the ground damn near, because cops will get annoyed and, like, call on you. Because that happened to me once. But it's not a law. Maybe just, we could do, like, training. I mean, that'd be interesting, at least. Or, like, some kind of race course. I don't, I don't fucking know. Or even, I mean, like, how are they going to use them, like, right? Like... So these people are My buying idea, them, right? Is they're just they're they're just going to be used for getaways. That's it. Like bank shit. Yeah. yeah, that's why they're thirty k. I mean, that's, that's the thing, uh, though. But I mean, like, what are they going to be jumping off of for that? Like, I feel like they need us in our helicopters and planes to kind of get them from point A to point B, point B B in the skies. You know, just, doing just, a business with us would actually be beneficial in the sense that, like, in my opinion, they're obviously going to sell these for bank getaways. And once if and when that starts happening, it's I don't know. Like, if they had a legitimate. 
obviously, you know, their company and they're probably not selling it with those intentions, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say? Like we're Airx, a legitimate company, like legal, no, no fucks about it. You know, I just look good. I think it would just look good. It'd be, you know, it's more money too. I just don't see why they wouldn't want to, but then again, they might want to corner it. I don't know. Like, what are we providing even? Like, are we are we trying to get these to sell ourselves? Are we trying to get these to sell an experience, like the parachuting? Like, what are we? Honestly, dude, I just want to use them, and I want to help people use them. Yeah. Okay. So you're thinking like a parachute package, a base jumping package. So we fly to like Chile and jump off the fucking thing, something. Yeah. Or I mean. I don't know if, if those things work like, like parachutes do for base jumping. Like, if you need to jump off of a specific thing and, like, glide for a little bit. But, I mean, we can take people there. But would it only be, like, a one-time thing for the lesson? It's a one-time... The, 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 the wingsuits are a one-time thing. Right. I think he's so wholesome. It's just so unfeasible. 30k, so like, I get it. The economy's fucked, and it would come as a thousand something dollars, but like, 30k is a lot to ask for from a, like, consumer. I don't know. Like, you, I don't know. For a one time use? Agreed. But it, they cost. I, so, I just. It's because they cost so much to make. That's why I want. That's why I was pitching to you that we need to purchase the rights to use the blueprints so that we can do lessons for them. For, yeah, probably expensive, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not too expensive. I don't know. You know, because civilians are going to be able to afford these. No, um, I know what maybe, you're thinking, but I don't are. think. I mean, who knows? If, I think it's going to go. They're the targeted audience, you know. Yeah, but they could be if the deal went through. I mean, I just don't see why. Just because they cost so many materials to make. I think it's, it's a material thing, huh? Mm hmm. What if we hire a bunch of grinders and then just supply them with a bunch of materials? Then we get a bunch of them. Yeah, but like, how much are we going to pay these grinders? Because if you get a bunch of people running mats, people are going to offer them better deals and they're just going to go to these other companies. That was kind of a joke. I just want to use a wingsuit, dude. <laughs> I thought you were serious. I thought you were serious about hiring that. I don't know. We could. We definitely have the money for it. I mean, fuck, we have the money to, uh, to buy them. Just for us? Just to use? Just buy a couple, you know. Dude, we should like a fit, like a no, like not. an Air X, like family event thing. Oh yeah, speaking of, did we want to switch paintball go karts to arcade for the thing? Arcade's two K a person or what? Arcade's two K per person. And it's like one fifteen minute game. So yeah, but the, but the go karting's five K a person and way longer. Yeah. I'd say. Your call, dude. Arcade's fun, I, but so is paintball if you and go-karting. I've never gone arcading because I don't give a fuck. I don't know. It's fun, dude. They have like a I'm, team deathmatch thing is it and good? search and destroy. It's so good. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, they have and, a, a driving one where it's like capture the flag kind of. They have CSGO? Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah. You, you get your own loadout You pick your shit. weapon. Yeah. And you, uh, pretty sick. I've never actually gone go-karting either. I'm down for whatever. Kiki's text basically for said either, thank you for being a real opinion. one and she owes us. Based on no experience. I don't know. be hyped, hyped to do either. Let's do both. Yeah, I mean, we have the money for it. I think we might be able to get a deal with Nancy Drew, too. Yeah, you're cool with Nancy, aren't you? Yeah, I've never met like, Nancy Drew, too, but uh, Nancy Drew is pretty cool. If I was like, yo, if we gave you, like, 50k, could me and, like, you know, a bunch of other employees come for, like, X amount of time or something? I don't know. I might empty the mile rig. Oh, excuse me. Classy sh class shorty. Thank you for the raid. Where'd Scruffy go? I'm eh, probably checking on his.
Just oil stuff, dude. I've just been standing here, like, putting it on 100 for, like, the past two hours, just letting it go every now and then. Yeah. About to mass produce so much. So they told me Jeff was in the hospital. Because <laughs> his queef, queef, queef amounts are too low. Something. What? I, I couldn't follow. I couldn't follow. I was confused. Is what amounts? So, the amount of queefs he can produce is like too low. It was constipated? I guess. I, 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 had, I had questions. I haven't queefed in years. Probably, probably about to go to the hospital. Fuck. You did. Because you forgot oh, yeah. to eat. Richard, did, who hired you at Breaker Shot? Did I do that? No, that was, uh, that was Shelly. I had an interview with Shelly. Sparkle and Gladys. That was around when Pork Shop got hired, I want to say. You were before the burger shop collapsed, weren't this you? This is like perfect time yeah, to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, well it. was well before it. Yeah, and, I, I was around. Yeah, me and Professor got hired around the same time in like uh, beginning of December, end of November kind of time ish. Yeah, I it's like been chill. Shot. It's a lifestyle. It's a confusing one, though. It's a weird family. I'm surprised you haven't been made CEO yet, to be honest. She'll never do it. Mm. She she told me maybe one day we talk about it. I I tried I stopped bringing it up because I don't want to act like I want it. Obviously I want it. It's just she said she would, and then she didn't. So that's the you only reason I brought it up. Well, you know I was just like, yo, you said you're gonna be CEO when you reopened. What's going on with that? She'd be like, yeah, soon. And then she was like, yeah, maybe not. Okay, yeah, maybe. So I stopped bringing it up because I felt like I was being sounding like a greedy fuck, like. Because it, uh, it was more of me just confused on what was going on. And mm. if I was getting a promotion. So at the end of the day, like, I was trying really hard for Burger Shot, you know, and uh, trying to push profits, all this and that. Putting a lot of efforts into it. And then she honestly told me, she was like, yeah, we don't need to do that anymore. It's like, okay. Mm. So I, uh, mm. not that it killed my vibe or anything. So I kind of redirected my focuses at that place. I just try to hire and handle problems now. That's why I like don't go in there and fire people anymore. Mm. Not as much. And even now and then, like, like I don't fire people anymore because I don't. It's not what we want to do. It's not what I have to do. Suspend at most. But even that, it's just a slap on the wrist. I don't know. I like that place a lot. I'm glad I got other stuff to do nowadays. Oh yeah, it's nice having a, a variety of things to do. Yeah, that's like what, you probably that's like Airx too. Yeah, I like Airx, and you know, the cop Thank stuff you. is fun. I just don't want to be. Oh, yeah, you're a cop now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're a cop. Shelly wants me to be a cop. They won't let me be a cop though. Don't I be won't. a cop. Why not? Dude. They don't want me to cop. take my makeup off. Scruffy, if anything, just just. I'm, I don't game. know. No, I'm saying, you know, I don't think you're the person to, to be a cop, but maybe someone in your family wants to be a cop, you know? <clears throat> My whole family's full of clowns. What are you saying? All right. Well, it was just a, <laughs> it was just a suggestion. Unlikely. Whole family wears makeup, man. Yeah. Except for my mom, Debbie. Debbie Doodle. She lives around Debbie here. Debbie Doodle? Yeah, she actually, she rarely comes in. Well, I would say she lives around here. She visits. Debbie Doodle? Hmm. People have met her. I hate that I have to, like, double down and say that. Some mm. people are just like, yeah, we get it, yo, mom. Never seen her, though. I feel like I met her once. Yeah, she used to wake up and try to get me to marry Shelly, actually. Nice. Then would tell me I need to give her burger shot because she thought I owned burger shot. I just told my mom that I don't. Did anything happen from the burger election? The king? Oh yeah, says and I are at war. I'll be on. Uh, I'll be right back. Because he's not the burger king. I if he's the
1774. One thousand seven seventy four. All right, um, it's time to do some math. If I want to make two thousand gallons of oil, gasoline, sorry, what do I need? I'm here. Get off your ass and do some math. Math is a really cool thing. Saw dude. A saw dude. You make a hundred yet, or are you just not going for it? I'm going for it. I'm trying to do the math of how if I like where I need certain gallons of oil in to pump out 2,000 gallons right now. Oh. Um, Man. you see Adonis, shoot him. Okay. Why would he do? Yeah, because his 100% is 0, 0, 100. That's I want him dead. That's <laughs> that's wild. <Yeah. laughs> zero heavy, zero light, hey, 100% hey, what's up, dude? other. That's fucking wild. Just trying to find out, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, mine, the one that my old one is still in the ninety percentile, so I like I just don't care. And I've just been pumping for the yeah, past my, like, uh, two hours. My first thing where I did the hundred zero zero got me ninety two percent, so you know it was an easy start. And I'm just uh, I've got up to ninety seven point three four, so I'm getting there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, let's see. I need. I'm gonna write this down. I feel like I need a thousand two hundred other gas. Hey Bryce, if you hear anything about who might have stabbed an ocean dump me the other day, can you let me know? You got wait, what the fuck? You got stabbed an ocean dump the other day? Yep. Uh, Woke up with a stab wound in the hospital and I was all wet. You don't know anything about it? No, but it was like a pause in my memory, like it just went blank, and it's like I think I've lost us an hour of memory. It's never happened to me before, so it's very alarming, and I want to get to the bottom of it. Fuck! I mean, have you have you made any enemies? Nope. And if I did, I would definitely be going down that path. But honestly, lately, uh, I've made a lot of memory memory enemies over the years. <laughs> You know, especially in the last year, but nobody lately. You know, in the last month or so, I've been pretty good in that regard. Damn. Well, I'm sorry to hear yeah, that, dude. This man fall. He's gone. I'm glad that uh, you're okay. Yeah. Me too, but, you know, I still want to get to the bottom of it because I want to know why it happened. I'm not even mad about it. I'm just kind of sad, you know? Where, like, where, like, was it, like, up north? Like, where did, where did the EMS find you, or, or? Um, I don't, I don't, I didn't get a chance to ask, actually. Huh. Um, yeah, I just know the last thing, my last memory I had was I was in the center of the city. I was actually at Mission Row PD. You were at MRPD? Yeah, I was giving a statement about that Game Master Cedo Care guy. Yeah. Interesting. All right. That's, that's the last thing I remember. Then, no, and I was going to leave, but it's just blank after that. I woke up in Pell Books. All right. Or I'll keep I'll, uh, I'll keep an ear out, dude. I'll let you know. I'm sorry that happened. I hope yeah. you feel better. I appreciate that. Yeah, I've asked a few people. We'll we'll see what comes of it. I've got a whole PI firm, you know. So I've asked mm -hmm. all of them to keep an ear out. All right, dude. Well, stay safe, okay? Thank you. Yeah, and you too. I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh, I just talked to a lawyer, Thomas. I'm I'm suing this man for I'm taking him to small claims court. I'm... <laughs> all right. Um, what am I what am I doing? find it out once we once we go to small claims court though that's for sure all right well you know car thieves man you know it's kind of yeah, honestly i'm just more pissed about the fucking inconvenience of it all to be honest oh 100 percent get your car phone calls more completely screwed my entire day over you know? <laughs> i only got one vehicle okay can someone do math and tell me how much okay okay <laughs> so What 
What's your mix? Alright. So. We're doing this 97 percentile one. Right? Right here. All right. So for the other gas, which we use 60 gallons for. For heavy, we use 15. And for light, we use 75. 1,200. Yeah, that's what I was thinking for other gas. 300 heavy. 500 light. Hundred heavy. Five hundred light. We'll have two thousand. Meaning that we need to put. I guess we could just do five hundred, five hundred. Five hundred heavy. Five hundred light. A thousand other gases. It's fine. Thank you guys. And they will have a police tracker. Math is really. You don't need more heavy? No, I know. Just for future stuff. <sighs> Since I'm under, we're going to have 2,000 gallons. Yo, bees, it's fine out who did it to your car, right. which means, uh... Just wanna take a picture of this? The lawyer told me that if I do proceed with taking the small plane... Honestly, I might just do, like... 200 into light and then the rest into and the rest into uh into other I think that's a good idea because we're always 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 going to need more other gas you're so so for the blimp um is it just we just have harmony right now that's it no we okay so our harmony contract ended okay and in the next day or two we're going to start fast loans which is going right. to be announced when it is and basically how the blimp works is you're never selling packages anytime any company wants to come to you and talk about the blimp you send yes. them my way or don ways you know you that's fine. Um, yeah, I saw that part. So let's say let's say Harmony for example. Harmony paid 200k for two weeks of blimp usage, and uh, each week it needed to be uh, taken out five times. Um, <laughs> you're not doing anything. You want to take the blimp out? It's only been taken out twice. You put in the channel, yo, I'm taking the blimp out. Uh, fly it around for a half hour. You know, you fly it real low, like 300, 400 feet in the air. Avoid buildings. Just kind of, you know, show it off. And then, uh, yeah, again, some uh, frequent places like Uwu and stuff like that. Exactly, exactly. And then uh, you go back and uh, you'll be paid for each time you take it out. So it's it's real good money. And it's easy money. Wait, and, people uh, get fit in there. Four. But I mean... Uh, just just really let them know the dangers of it and liability waivers because and always 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 bring a parachute should everyone have a parachute or just the pilot? everyone everyone should be wearing okay. a parachute just in case because obviously we, we've already had the blimp attacked once right during the political campaign yeah i yeah I'm, yeah i'm aware of that it's a very serious thing we actually ended up suing them for a lot of money uh yeah i saw um, yeah i saw that on the dog it's just like there's a lot of 
competition out there, right? Like Fast Loans, Blimp's going to be up there. Maybe Diamond Hands Loans, you know, they're not going to like it. And so they're going to try and shoot it down. Um, <clears throat> just, uh, you know, we just want to make sure we're being safe. No, yeah, 100%. But, uh, but yeah, um, it's super fun. It's super chill. The hardest part is getting it out of the um, say. hangar and getting it in. But you just got to be real, like, baby steps. Real slow. With real it, slow. I assume. Yeah. Real slow. So it's... I haven't taken one out. I don't think I've ever flown one. Is it, is it more kind of like a helicopter, but just a lot more... Full? It's like if a helicopter and a plane had a baby. Uh, okay. I, I, it's like a hybrid between the two. It's extremely easy to fly. Uh, it's, it's a lot faster than it seems. It's just parking and taking it out of that. It, it, that's not even hard. It's just you have to go it's slow just, with it. Yeah. I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it around. It zooms. Yeah, she's quick. Um, but it's it's very easy. Um, and uh, you're a good worker. And we don't let all employees fly the blimp. Just uh, just ones that have shown like hard work and care for AirX. I know you've only been with us for a little bit, but uh, I think you'd be fine on the blimp team. Oh, I appreciate that. Is the uh, flyby waiver, would it just be the same with the skydiving or? I think we have a special it... one, but as I think the, Air, the general AirX one is fine. As long as we have something in writing saying like, I am okay and with flying in the blimp with you guys, and if you get hurt, you know, we're not going to see ARX type of deal, you know? Yeah, I was just looking at the pens, and I didn't see <clears throat> one for... liability one for that. Might be in documents. I don't know. I mean, the, the normal liability one is fine. Just, uh, it's real fun, it's real easy, it's real chill, and just as long as your friends don't sue us for getting hurt, that's fine with us. General if they get one, hurt. If they the get flight hurt. training, or the skydiving one? <clears throat> Skydiving, I assume. Yeah. Um, could be skydiving. Scott, yeah, skydiving would be fine. Technically speaking, if shit happens, it would turn into skydiving. <laughs> Technically speaking, there should be a blimp one. Maybe not. I don't know, but yeah, as long as you have them sign either one of those, because both of those state, if I get hurt, it's not Eric's fault. I know what I'm signing up for, basically, you know? Yep. Yeah, I was just asking because I wanted to take it out already, but I mean, we don't have a contract right now, right? Mm, no, I guess not. Or not a contract. We don't have a uh, waiver advertisement going right now. Oh, an advertisement? No, we were waiting because we were supposed to do one for CGI, and then it never got back to us. So we're like, fuck it, we're going in next in line. But uh, this is going to be pretty constant. It's going to be an every week thing. Every two weeks, it switches. Um. Okay, We've so already... it's not like different advertisements at the same time. It's one. No, it's one advertisement for, for two yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah. And then the next one goes. And the next one goes, and yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> but yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Um, Who will do? Uh, I mean, Hal's done this, and Richard has flown it, so. Yeah, I mean, you can uh, ask them too, and if you wanted to uh, take it out and. Like just kind of like take it out to practice getting it out of the, uh, the garage and then right fly now. it around the airfield and park it. That's that's fine with me. But, yeah, uh, I just finished my third helicopter training. Perfect. Yeah, take out the blimp and uh, test it out just uh, around Eric's property. We don't want to be flying it around the city with other advertisements or screwing around with it or anything. But uh, oh yeah, harvest it. Very serious thing. Uh, yeah, dude, just let me know if you have any questions or let Richard know or Hal or something. I know they're awake more around this time than I am, but uh, it should be all good. Or just ask and blimpin', you know. And I'm sure tons of people would be happy to uh, help out. Yeah. Well, thanks again, Bryce, for the opportunity. I hope I can uh, help out even more in the future. Heck yeah, Tanner. Keep it up, dude. You're killing it. Have a good one. Okay. Thank you. See you. Good guy. Good guy. Sorry, the math of how much stuff I needed took forever. You wanna you wanna climb on my umbrella? Ow, dick! What? Where's Cr okay? Wait, hold on. Get away from here, cause I'm just gonna keep climbing up there. Oh fuck! Oh god! <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> oh, it doesn't matter if you get a running start. Or not. By the way, this can kill you. Fuck! That was such funny timing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to go to the hospital for <laughs> this. Okay. I'm gonna need to go to the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital. Can I get a clip of that? Hobbital. It's really funny. Hospital. Uh, where'd Scruffy run off to? He had to go defend his honor or something. I don't know. What? Yeah, he said something about Shelly and defending his honor. And I don't know. Yeah, he's a good dude. Just, you know, kills people sometimes. It's okay. Yeah, don't we all? <sighs> so what made you want to become a cop, Richard? I was actually telling Scruffy about it. It was out of pettiness. Oh, my God. Pettiness? <laughs> I was also got a fat fucking dumper. Dude. Anyway. Huge. There's a gas leak. <laughs> anyway, um, so it all happened when Scruffy shot me in the parking lot one day because I was I was telling him that somebody was fucking his wife. Fuck. So he, so he shot me in the burger shop parking lot, Fuck. and then out of pure pettiness, I put it in an application <laughs> to the PD. And then the next day, I forgot about it. <laughs> oh, my God. And then five... And then you got months, hired. And then five to six months later, they were like, hey, we're interested in hiring you. And I was like, why? I mean, hell yeah. Yeah. And it's like a, not really an opportunity that a lot of people yeah. get. I've heard, it's, there you go. I've heard it's easier to get an opportunity like this now because... Uh, the amount of people in the city, but like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Figured I might as well explore it and see if I like it. Yeah, dude. Fuck it. Try it out. Yeah. Everybody's been nice about it. Um, some former friends have decided that it's not cool, but that's fine. Dude, some people in the city just hate you if you're a cop. And, yeah. like, immediately the fact that they know you're a cop, they just immediately disregard everything about you. So I wouldn't take that too seriously. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't take it seriously at all. Well, I don't want to kill you or hate you because you're a cop. I think, you know, follow your dreams, dude. Also, hell of a close strings. Oh, thanks. I, um, I worked out. I oh, bet I could beat you in a mile run right now. By the way, this can't... Phone call. Phone call. <laughs> Hello. Hey there, Big Shoots. How you doing? This isn't Big Shoots. This is Bryce. Oh, hey, Bryce. Um... You wanted to talk to me? Yeah. I'm, I just want to talk with you and Nancy. Um, yeah, I'm with her now. Want to meet me in Humane Labs? Skip. That's a, that was a joke. Okay. That's a joke. <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. Woo! Man. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look, I'm trying to lighten the mood. I know you're nervous. I was just I'm trying not to nervous. The mood. That was just a <laughs> hell of a... It was a hell of a... hell of a joke. And it was just like, oh, okay, damn. Want to meet me in the Vinewood Hills dock? Uh, sure. The one that's in the, in the like the, the dam. Little dam. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'll be there faster than you can say. Hello, my name is Colin McKinley, and I wish Bryce Miller was my son. You know, in Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> if I die, it was that black fam. Okay. I believe it. So you got a you got a dam to be to. Yeah, in a minute. Can kill you. Fuck. I. By the way, this can kill you. 
You doing okay, Fuck. buddy? Yeah, I'll be fine. Is that a local or is that a person? Hmm. I'll be okay, you know, I'll be okay. You know, something just tells me that's a person. I don't know what it is. I think it's their tenacity. And kill you. Fuck! You know, if I was sitting around for an hour and a half and I had a van, I'd probably do something just like that. And kill you. Fuck! I think they're ramming into your truck. You chill. Jesus. The fucking local. Richard, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not taking you to pillbox. Unfortunately, you have to go. Yeah, I do. I do. There's some crazy shit going on right now that unfortunately I have to uh, uh, pay attention to and um, take care of. But uh, right. are you are you well, just, right, out just, soon? Right, just Yeah, probably soon. So just write all the stuff that we talked about, like in your phone, just in case you're a little forgetful. Fuck! Why would I be forgetful? I don't know. You're going to a dam, right? Mm hmm. I don't know. Accidents happen. Oh, you think I'm gonna get like ocean dumped or something? I think you're gonna get dam dumped. Dam dumped? All right. Well, if, if anything happens, it was James Randall. James Randall. Why? Why is James Randall calling you to? It was. It was, it was a joke. Oh. It was jalapeno. We could use this. Okay. All right. I believe it. All right, Bryce. Well, you have a good one. Uh, I'll catch you in Scruffy later. We're just, we're just. Uh, we needed to grab one. Not to die. Do you need a gun? No, I'm, I'm good, dude. I right. catch you later then. I appreciate you though, dude. Okay. Whoa! What's, wait, 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 wait. Dude, you see that thing over there? Uh, what thing? That thing over there. Fuck. By the way, this can kill you. Fuck. Such a funny clip. All right, let's stop being an oil baron. So this is just a rental that we had to grab because we gave our m thing of transportation to Kiki so she could get home. Dude, Wave, I'm so sorry that you had to wait for that. There's so much crazy shit going on with Bryce right now. You're gonna make me dizzy. Hey, Bryce. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? You wanna you wanna do an interview about oil? Um, I can't right now. I have to pump a bunch and then I have to fucking head over to this meeting thing right now. Alright. Let's see if my yield is finished. I'll make sure we do that. This is fun chariot mass. Alright, I'll leave that on. We'll chill soon, my guy, maybe in the Wild West. Yeah, I, I I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's not fun, but these were conversations that needed to be had. But I love Richard, dude. <clears throat> Bryce.
Bryce is debating telling Colin still, regardless of Nancy's wishes. But at the same time, she, he's going to know. He's going to know. I mean, he has to know who he is, right? If it's a club matter. I'm trying to remember if Colin knows if we know about the highwayman already. forget I think he knows yes 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 he does because we had this conversation with uh with him about um about uh Seymour Yeah, he wouldn't want Bryce knowing club information. That's the thing. <clears throat> Bryce has got to figure out a way to phrase things so we're telling Colin everything without telling him too much. And Nancy's there too. Well, Nancy's worried that Bryce is going to get hurt for saying shit. Which is honestly fair because that would... But I mean, at the same time, let's say worst case scenario, Bryce is just incredibly honest with Colin. And worst case scenario, Colin takes that horribly and BBMC has to deal with Bryce. That is spicy. That puts Cleo in an awful position. And Bryce might be dead, who knows? Colin's also probably Colin is arguably the most understanding BBMC member though at least in Bryce's eyes Just Colin and I? Oh shit. <laughs> oh god, Nancy's there too. Oh fuck. Oh god. Nancy, you were a ghost for a second. I was like, oh okay, it's just Colin and I. Uh, Someone called yeah. it. See? <clears throat> Hello, son. Hello, Bryce. Oh what? He said he wished that he was I was his dad. <laughs> That's well weird. I said That's I said I'll be there faster than you can say, hey, Bryce, I wish you were my son in, in Portuguese. And I didn't say any of it in Portuguese, so you're right. Yeah, I did. I did get here faster than he could have yeah, said that. True, true, true. So. Hey, Colin, what does yellow mean? Sorry, what? What does yellow mean? Slow down at, at an intersection. <laughs> no, your rings. Oh. Let me look. Are you wearing a mood ring? 
Kind of. Oh, nervous, mixed emotions, unsettled. Uh oh. All right. Cool. Cool. Hey, Bryce. Wait, how uh -oh. are you? Uh oh. Well, it says cool. That's <clears throat> it's because no. I'm here. <laughs> I'm gonna be in my head for a second, but feel free. It also to means start I'm, I'm actually part of the Vagos. You could tell. This is actually how Vagos fucking go to war. I could actually Rachel, shoot someone right now, but like, I'm actually repping yellow. There you go. Can you all know, tell by my one yellow ring? It's enough, dude. I remember when fucking. Eastside ballers would be like, yo, why are you wearing this? Like a, just a tiny bit of purple all the way up in harmony. You false flagging? You'd be like, ah, oh, no Tyrone. Just it's a like yellow purple. world dog. PTSD. You guys weren't around for that, huh? Um, uh, maybe not. Colin, how long have you been in the city? <laughs> Um, like since the new economy came out. Yes. You're okay. A little bit, a little like bit after. A little bit halfway, after. Halfway, halfway through March, because mine was right after. You. Okay. Yeah. You guys. <laughs> you guys miss some stuff. <laughs> Gotta be there. You guys miss some stuff. Miss some shit. Jesus. us. You're lucky. Um. <clears throat> so, a. How's it going? Good. I like coming down to this of. spot, actually. Come down this spot a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Is this where you come to ocean dump people? No. Also not an ocean. No. Nope. Yeah, it would be like it's a lake. Lake dump. That's where I've taken a lake dump people. before. Lake Arrowhead. You took a shit in it. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> how's uh? How's your guys' day going? You know. Uh, started off pretty good, not gonna lie, but, uh, seems to have taken a bit of a turn. Because I want to talk, or? No, unrelated. What's up? What do you want to talk about? Uh, well, I mean, I think you know what I probably wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah, I do, but I just want to hear it from you. All right. Um, well, where do And I before, see? before you go ahead with any of it, I'm not about to go put a bullet in your fucking head, Bryce. Oh, I didn't think that. And I'm glad that that's not the case either. I was telling... I was just telling people earlier that it's like, I'm glad that, you know, I, well, it's not like this is hashtag Team Bryce or hashtag Team Cleo kind of thing, you know? Obviously, we still give a fuck about each other regardless of the state of things going on. Um, I more so just kind of wanted to talk to you to kind of ease my mind about something. Um, it, not that it's really my place. Okay, look, I know, I know Cleo better than anyone in the city, right? <clears throat> mm -hmm. I've been with Cleo when she first moved into the city and her moral compass was the other way and she would get mad at me for jaywalking. And I've seen everything that's happened, you know? <clears throat> and I've seen her do some crazy shit and get lost in the moment and just do some, some real wild shit and then immediately afterwards break down and being like, I don't want to be this type of person. Why did I do that? And, um... <clears throat> Cleo is a very all-or-nothing person. As, uh, I'm sure you know by now. And, uh... When she can't deal with things... She... Has distractions. Whether that be in the form of people... Or events. Such as you, me, Nancy... Uh, KFC... Uh... And now, Pez Speedwagon. Which, you know, is, 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 is what it is. And while sometimes these distractions are temporary and she's always moving to the next thing, uh, she puts all, all of herself into these things. Um, I don't think she's... I mean, fuck if I know. I don't know. She's uh, she said some stuff to me, but I feel like she was just trying to say some stuff to be petty and like, just like, show that her and Pez have been hanging out a lot lately. But um, <clears throat> I know this is probably weird for you because he's one of your boys, and she's your daughter and all that. And it's 
I don't really know where that whole these worlds can't collide thing is even exists anymore. Fuck if I know. Um, but uh, I guess what I'm trying to get at is I feel like Cleo puts a lot of her faith into people that don't value who she is as a person and are only using her for their own selfish tendencies. Um, and I feel like she likes hanging out with Pez and some of those guys because when she says crazy shit like, uh, yo, I'm going to go get an AK and gun down every single cop and uh, throw a grenade and then I'm going to have a banana sp smoothie. Pez and those guys are like, well, hell yeah. You know, whereas I feel like if she were to tell me that, I'd be like, well, hold on. Like, let's not, you know, go guns blaze and let's, let's stop and think about this and think before we act kind of thing. So I feel like she's able to be her chaotic side, if you will. But like I said, every time I've seen Cleo in her chaotic side, she always, 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 always regrets it and freaks out and has a breakdown. And uh, I know it's not really my place or business anymore, considering all things, you know, that happened. Uh, we had a very serious talk last night where a lot of uh, a lot of things were said that probably should have been said months ago from both parties and uh, both said some stuff that was pretty harsh and true and real and uh, some stuff that we probably both regret. But um, my, my whole point here is I just wanted to ask you because you know this better than anyone. I don't think she's romantically interested in, in Pez. Maybe she is. If she is, that's pretty fast, but you know, whatever. I think she's using him as a uh, distraction and as someone that she can be herself without people quote unquote judging her. But uh, I don't want to say is Pez good for her, but I mean, what are, you, what are your thoughts on all of that? I'm curious. That was a lot. Sorry, I know. Uh, I'm thinking. It's all good, Bryce. I think... There's a big difference between what I can do and what he can do. In what I way? I don't ever want to put her in harm's way. That's why I don't want to put an AK in her hand. I don't want to do any of that <laughs> because that's putting someone I care about in harm's way. And she's a very erratic person. And I feel like, mm -hmm. I feel like she's falling into something I don't want her to fall into, but I can't stop it. I made a promise. Do I think Pez is good for her? No. No, I don't. Not in the slightest. <laughs> uh, tell me, tell me about Pez. All I know is that he looks like if uh, if Sean White, Bane, and Ronald McDonald had a three-way. Well, I thought he looked like if. Someone kind of looked like a had like a bird face, like a like a sharp mm -hmm. bird face, mm -hmm. and then caved that in with a flat shovel. Mm -hmm. That's what I think he sort of looks like, okay. but like with a bald chin as well. Ooh. Well, sorry. Can you? What was the question again? I got distracted. What, you, what are you? The, what are your thoughts on him? What am I? By all means, tell me if I'm like dipping my toes in too deep. I don't want to get into. Well, you know, I'd rather I'd rather hear what you, I'd rather hear what you think of Pez. I know nothing about him besides the fact that he uh, seems to be into Cleo. Is the highwayman? Is 
Yeah, don't play coy. <laughs> a couple, uh, like like a week or two ago, right? Cleo hits me up, and she goes, "She's weird. She's acting weird." And uh, she goes, "I need to tell you something." After you know, I I talk to her, saying, uh, you know, trying to figure out what's wrong. And she goes, "Bryce." The highwayman said he's in love with me. And I said, uh, I was, was very confused because it went from this man's trying to manipulate me to do something I don't want to do to uh, this dude's in love with me. And um, <clears throat> she told me some other stuff that hinted towards that he was a member of the club and that he was present during the whole Humane Labs thing. And uh, it became a thought in my mind when all of a sudden Pez and Cleo start hanging out out of nowhere together all the time. He's, she's, she's driving his car. She's making promises to you about not wanting to fuck him. She's uh, scuba diving trips with him uh, all very soon after, you know, which it, it is what it is. But again, I don't think she works romantically into him. Maybe that's just something I'm telling myself. I think she's using him as a distraction because Cleo can never be alone. She, Because uh, when she is alone, she has time to think about what's causing her pain and sad and everything. Checks out. <clears throat> I told her yesterday <laughs> that <laughs> you're never ever really going to be comfortable on others until you're comfortable being alone. And I think that's one of her biggest problems. Like, she can't have dead air. Yeah, I, I agree. <clears throat> well, I want to ask Bryce, what, what do you want out of this conversation? I mean, look, there's not like, you know, it's not like we can really do anything. I guess my conversation with you was uh, I had hopes that I would gain like a sense of closure that Either she would be okay or that something would be done about it. But again, this is one of those many numerous Bryce. impossible situations that Cleo Shaw keeps putting us into. I'm a realist. I, <coughs> I can try my hardest when it comes to a lot of things in this city, but I, I can't say she's not going to get into <coughs> trouble. I can't say I'm not going to get into trouble. I can't say I'm going to keep Nancy out of trouble. I'll do my best, Bryce. I mean, I guess my only hope is that she realizes that... I, I feel like he's the dude straight up just using her... Based on the things she said and the way that she described them. I just hope she, If he is using her... I hope she realizes it. That's my, that's my one hope. I don't want you or expect you to go in, you know... This highway ends here. That's my daughter. You know, that's uh, it's unrealistic. I don't expect, you know, anyone to leave the club. I don't expect some some crazy scenario out of it. I just I just want her to be okay. That's, that's Oh, I can't promise me. it, but I'll try my best. Yeah. And I know when it comes to that stuff, she listens to you a hell of a lot more than me. So, plus she doesn't really want to talk to me right now so but I uh, just wanted to talk to you about that ask where your head was at what you thought about it and it just kind of explain my I side of things before I know Cleo can say things in a certain narrative that benefits her more than the other 
I uh Part of me will always want to hear two sides of a story. I don't I don't act without that. I've been put into situations where I've had to not hear both sides of the story and just work off that and usually it backfires. <clears throat> and I respect the fact that you knowing talking about this would have put you at risk. Just to make sure Cleo's okay, and I respect that. Oh, well, I respect you, and I respect Nancy, and I think we all have the same goals, at least when it comes to Cleo. And even though, you know, we may not be together, I still give a fuck about her, and obviously I still care about her. Yeah, and it shows, I know. Do my best, Bryce. <coughs> think you can fish here? Uh, I think you can do anything that you put your mind to. Put a gill net in here. I don't think you can put your... Well, not in this city. There's limitations. <laughs> my question is... Whose storage is this? No idea. As I open it every time know. I'm down here. Me too. It's empty. I've been coming down here for months. It's always empty. <coughs> what are you done today, by the way, Bryce? How are you? Uh, you know, I'm doing okay. I've been super fucking bummed recently, not gonna lie. Uh, because Why is I mean, that? Well, well, yeah, I mean, ooh. Well, I mean, I mean, the clean and I have been, you know, broken up for a while, right? But it's not like we ever had any distance between each other. I mean, we lived for each other, for God's sakes. And uh, Cleo was always adamant after our breakup about, you know, Wanting to get back together, and I would always say stuff like, well, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, and then stuff would happen, and people would come after us, and then, you know, there would be lies and secrets and meltdowns, and everything would be okay, and the next day, oh, look, another serial killer, or I stabbed a guy, and, and I got to the point where I just, gen I felt more like a babysitter than a, a boyfriend, and I tried explaining this to her once. <coughs> a couple times actually and she uh would interrupt me and change the narrative. But one time I was I was trying to explain it to her and she took a phone call into it and she said, Is this important? And the person on the phone I assume said no and she went, No. Okay, what's up? And proceeded to have a conversation and so I didn't really want to say anything after that. Um and so she's tired of waiting, understandably. She goes, I want an answer right now. And I go, I, 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 I my thoughts and feelings haven't changed. And I, I, I don't know. I like, I, I don't, I don't think that's the best idea. And, you know, and she's like, well, I'm going to make the decision right now. And I don't think we should be together anymore. And I say, I, uh, well, I agree that we should, we should stay apart. And, uh, she, uh, freaked out, ran away. Couple days go by, not really much communication, besides, you know, here and there. Uh, and yesterday she calls me and she tells me that I need to work on myself and stop babysitting people and that I need to go to therapy for, for my issues and stuff. And so I say some stuff that I probably shouldn't say, you know, I say a lot of stuff that's been built up and things that have been on my mind and, and, and getting off my chest and I'm extremely brutally honest with her and she doesn't like that and she's interrupting me and so we hang up and it goes to a text messaging battle or at least you know we're getting everything out there no interruptions 
That's there, you know. You can't. I mean, sure, you could delete them, but I mean, like, they're there. She's. She's not really. I'm trying to explain my thoughts and feelings. And uh, how every time I share my thoughts and feelings, it's like interrupted or changed against me or not really considered. And she's telling me stuff like, go fuck myself and I'm the. Uh, I'm the I'm the problem and it's my fault and I'm like yeah I fucked up absolutely but uh I mean there was there was fuck ups from both of us too but just because I fucked up last that means it's sticking there you know and uh there was a lot of things said a lot of honest truths a lot of things we both said that we probably didn't mean she talked about how she was suffering and uh it just kind of ended in a petty off and she said the last thing she said was I'm done having this conversation you can't be petty like me i have a birthday party to go to and i said something along the lines of hope there's carrot cake and pez gets a new bike and uh we haven't talked since but you know seen each other we keep bumping into each other. It's like it's like it's like we're magnets or something. I don't know. But uh, I haven't really talked since. So I think it was a good talk. I think we both got off things that we needed to say a long time ago. But uh, it was a brutal talk, and I don't think we'll be speaking anytime soon. But that's okay because we all said what we needed to say, and I'm getting my space, and she's getting her space, and. We'll figure it out. Well, she also told me oh. she can take constructive criticism, which I thought was funny. That's, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, hopefully, <coughs> I know it sucks to have your your heart broken, but mm -hmm. nothing wrong with it. taking time to heal, Bryce. Yeah, no, I think this is for the best, all things considered. I really do. Well, hey, I hope you're better for it, brother. I just hope she gets the help that she needs. Yeah, and you know, if you ever need someone to talk to, you can call me, all right? Oh, I know. I appreciate that, too. I'm not calling you son. I don't want you to call me son. That's super weird. I already have a son. Okay. That and it would make the whole you and her thing kind of... Then they, like, if people found out you were my son, and then they were like, wait, isn't, wasn't Bryce fucking doing, and then they'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to be your kid. No offense. Why, oh, I'm a great dad. I, I'm, uh, technically, Melbert Rickenbacker is my dad, but I'm pretty sure he's dead, mm -hmm. so. Yep. And Trish Bags is my mom. What? I'm Trish Bags. Your mom's a vending machine. Yeah, it's great. Congrats. Yeah, Christmas was really exciting. She would dress up as a vending machine, and I would just hit buttons, and I'd get nothing every year. But you know, it was still exciting because that chance of you know what's it I, ever, I, pu I put fifty bucks in it. I got a sapphire. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. I got some mistletoe, an expired coupon, a bottle of water. Mm. <coughs> Can't remember. Say, say like an things. Australian. Huh? They bottle of water, but like an Australian. Water. They say it. Uh, water. Funny. Bo bottle of water. Bottle of water. <laughs> Another funny word is gelato. Gelato. It's they it's. It. Uh, they're all over the place. Yeah, true. They basically speak up like a weird made-up English. Yep. Can you say "Oh Henry"? <clears throat> oh Henry. Uh huh. Why? Why? Very specific. It's just I don't know. It was just a just randomly pulled that out of my brain. Yeah, it's so weird. That's like, crazy. So, so I was gonna say, oh Henry. <laughs> oh Henry. Oh Henry. I'm gonna uh, give you guys some space or something. Or what's the... No, we're chilling. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, well, all things considered, it's nice to know that you guys are kind of on the same 
pages mean, you know, again, I don't really, I don't want it, nor do I expect to be like fucking Twilight fandoms, you know, hashtag Team Bryce, hashtag Team Leo, but Nancy did but say did she'd buy the, the hoodie and sweats for me, so. Yeah. Yeah, but I said I would buy her stuff too, so. Yeah. It'd be like a I mean, Team I mean, Cleo beanie. Or no. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, if Team this is Twilight. Track suit. If this is Twilight, I'd be Team Charlie every fucking day of the week. Dude, Team Jasper. All the way. No, Charlie. Charlie. Team Charlie, Charlie, baby. Was Charlie God yeah, damn. Team Charlie. Dad. Team Charlie. Yeah, oh, the dad. Shee! The dad he was, with the mustache. He was washing what, dishes. Yeah, what was so every scene? hot. What was the beer he'd be drinking? Lucky's or Red? What does he call them? Uh, oh fuck, I can't remember. Lucky's, I think. Maybe that's why I like you, because you look like... Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, they were oh, they man. were called Reds, and they would, he would call it Vitamin R. That's right. What a crazy guy. Oh, wait. That's because, uh, uh, Ra Rainier's. Rainier's. Oh, Reds. No, 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 I, I, I like... Out of the movie, there's a uh, tall boys in a Pacific Northwest called Rainiers or Ranier's, and they have a red label, and everybody calls it Vitamin R. I think it's a take on that. It's a very, very similar can. Wait a minute, are you only into me because I look like Charlie from Twilight? She said that. I said that's. I said that. No, oh, call in. <laughs> oh, wet denim. It's a good band name. Wet denim. Wet I got to make a very quick phone call. Go, go. Yeah, you're fine. There's not really much any. Uh, I want to say more in it either. So. You weasel! What the fuck? What? I was not. What? <laughs> did you... I did. Yes. Oh my god, I was, tr I was and like... And here's why, here's why. Okay. I didn't expect him to do that. Mm. But I needed to gauge his reaction of how he was going to deal with it coming from me rather than coming from you out of the blue with no prior knowledge of it. The thing is, is that there was prior knowledge of it. He knows that I know not, about the, uh, the highway Yeah, ride. not to the extent that you did, I think. I think he knew everything except for the fact that I knew that he was in love with her. That's but still regardless. a pretty big yeah, thing. No, yeah, um, no. But I, I told him, <clears throat> prefacing with, like, you n basically don't hurt Bryce. Yeah. I was... I I know it's a weasel move, but I was... No, it's it's. I was doing it in order to protect you, just in case. I'm I'm teasing. I was just like, I was like, well, Nancy. Not, I really wanted to tell him, and I was like, well, Nancy said not to, so I'm not going to. I, I don't know. know anything. And the and thing he's is, like, boom, truth bomb. I t I texted him <laughs> and said, is it okay if I tell him that he can talk about it? And then he said that and texted me back and said, no, it's all good. It's like you shit, you little shit. <laughs> You know what he said to but, me on the phone what? when he said to meet what? up? He said, let's meet up at oh, Humane Labs. Yeah, for I talk. know. I was sitting beside him. <laughs> He's an asshole. He is. Yeah. He is. Um, yeah, I, I just wanted to make sure that nothing was going to happen to you, Bryce. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to... I'm not going to because I think it would backfire horribly. But I'm, I kind of want Cleo to know that I know. Didn't she tell you? She never told me who the highwayman was. I figured that you shit out my own. just together. Yeah. I mean, Colin just confirmed it, so. Um. <clears throat> yeah. I kind of want her to let her, to let her know that I know. I think that would go very, very, barely, very badly. Yeah, I agree. That's why I'm not going to do it. But maybe if she knew that 
people she cared about and people's opinions she respected, even if she doesn't respect mine anymore, maybe. New? No. No. No? Because she found out she found out that I knew about it and she did not have a good reaction to it. That you knew that Pez was the Highway Man? I found out from him directly, too. And she did not have a good response to it. What was her so. response to it? I think it was a feeling of betrayal. That she wasn't the only one that knew? Not sure. I'm not sure. Just, it... it, it Interesting. It... I think, as well, if she ever finds out, she's going to think that I told you or Colin told you, and that would probably end up with one of us dead. And then probably you dead. So this is one of those secrets that you take with you. You don't tell anybody. Mm. I would I would for sure die. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I already said I'm not going to do it. I know. I heard, heard, act, I'm saying, like, I'm acting this way because of the way that she responded. I definitely feel like it's because more people than just her knew. She seems kind of childish, so I don't know. They was kind of childish sometimes. Yeah, I know. She is. She is. She is. She is. She is. Excuse me. Are you good. Yeah, I just bless you. It was just a no, bless you. I'm sorry. That was just it's a very guttural sneeze. Yeah, the acoustics in this dam are crazy. Oh, Cleo Shaw. What are we gonna do with you? At this point, I don't think there is anything to do. You can only help someone so much, but uh, you know they have to want to help themselves too. I think that's pretty much where um, Colin and I are at right now. It's just sad because this has happened before, you know, where everyone's kind of left her alone. Not alone, you know, but left her to kind of figure out shit on her own, and she took that as everyone abandoning her and. Kind of saying, Fuck this time Leo. she's doing it to herself, though, because I'm both of us, Colin and I, we're trying to be involved. We're trying to show support. We're trying to be there for her, and the only person she wants to see right now is Pez. He's uh, he's a very manipulating person. I feel like he's just telling her all the right things that she wants to hear. And, uh, I feel like someone just needs to tell her that she's, she's changed and she's changing or something. I don't even care if I'm that person and she never fucking talks to me again. She just needs to hear it. Because otherwise she's going to end up dead. Yeah. And I don't want you to end up dead. And I don't want yeah, or Colin you or I to end up dead. In the words of Melbert Rickenbacker, dying is cringe. Isn't it crazy mm -hmm. that she always finds to get us in these situations? It's honestly impressive at this point. It really is. It really is. Yep. <clears throat> what? What's impressive? That Cleo <laughs> always ends up to get herself in these situations, or us. Oh, it's it's shocking. Um, we were just talking about how the only person she wants to see and hang out with her right now is is uh, is Pez, and how uh, how he's probably just telling her all the right things, things that she wants to hear. Well, apparently Cleo wants to speak to me now. Mm. Oh, great! Good luck, bro. You guys, uh, Nancy answered this, but have you noticed that she's incredibly more violent? 
lately. He's always sort of had that. Way more than usual. Oh, Maybe more so. <laughs> Every morning that I speak to her, the first thing she says is, I stabbed a guy today. That's definitely, yeah. I'm going to argue with that. Yep. All right. Well, I'll let you get over to uh, serious talk number eight. And, oh, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've got a penciled in here, an appointment. There you go. You guys, I'll be around for, you know, probably the rest of, I assume, maybe then some. So if you guys want to do anything or you need anything, you know. Who knows, maybe I could, ta I could take you guys skydiving for free, you know, something fun. Hell yeah, I'm down with that. That does sound Ace fun. jumping or something. Fuck Motorcycles yeah. off Mount Chiliad, backflip into Fuck parachute. Yes. Hell yeah. If, wi if wingsuits didn't cost an arm and a leg, I would... Uh, that's fine. I'm finishing up this oil run right now so I can buy a fucking wingsuit. I also okay. want to schedule off topic, Erex and Cerberus meeting. Yes. Okay. You want Snow to be there? Oh yeah. Okay. We'll figure it out. We'll plan something. Snow. Okay. Uh Trooper Snow. He's a co owner of Erex. Oh mm -hmm. Had a meeting with him today, sold him wingsuits. For P D. I sold six to LSPD, seven to STSO, two as a test to the troopers. Um, and then they're coming back for more. Good and then money. I got to talk to PBSO and see if they want some. Good money, good money. Oh, yeah. I've already had repeat customers, and I haven't even been selling them for 24 hours. You're crazy. I imagine the crimes are being committed those things. Oh, I'm pretty sure Chain Gang is doing a massive job with them today. Because mm. they were... Very can't wait excited. for them to be Said, illegal. We'll need these for tonight. <laughs> no, they yeah, can't wait. can't wait for them to literally a new case all be written because of those things. Well, the thing is, we're selling them to the cops and we're selling them to the crims, so it's like I know, I know, no, 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 it's a completely legal item. Yeah. I'm just waiting for, you know, a, the charge for them, for them to be permitted. Mm hmm. Permitted. So make the cash while you can. Yeah, might as well, right? We'll talk though. We'll talk. We'll plan. Uh, Nancy, did you want to come with me to what I'm doing since Colin's going off to serious talk, or did you want to go with Is Colin? Is it a one-on-one -on -one with Cleo? Oh, uh, I mean, she says we need to talk. I mean, I'd like you there, but it's really up to oh, you. Oh, yeah, no, then you go, Nance. And then, uh, if you're not welcome, you I can just okay, uh, swoop you up around the corner or something. Okay. I, uh, I appreciate you guys meeting with me. And, uh, no problem. I'll uh, I'll see you guys later, yeah. Okay. See you, man. All right. Love you, Brace. Love you too. Oh, that was so funny. What do you know about Pez? I know I <laughs> nothing. So you don't know he's a highwayman? <laughs> Bamboozled. I'm so happy we talked about that though, because that would have bugged me, honestly. I wanted Bryce to talk to him about it so bad. Really good talk. Really good talk. The thing is, though, it's like these talks are good, but like. I don't know if anything's going to come from them. Like, if anything, they're just... They're just talks that make Bryce feel better. I'd also like to see, um... Bryce's, uh... Bryce telling Cleo that he knows and seeing Cleo's reaction.
Bryce just needs a Kiki talk and he'll be right as rain. I mean, honestly, that talk with Tessa was like exactly what Bryce needed. Yeah, Rocky called. Hey, sorry, I was in a meeting, dude. No, it's okay, no worries. Everything good? Yeah, everything's fine. What's up? Um, are, are you free? Uh, in a, in a, I'm just back at the oil fields, just working. But I mean, I can, I can do whatever. Why? What's up? Just pumping. Uh, I'm pumping. Well, I'm running up to Zancudo to do a, um, to grab a gold crate. But then I want to talk to you about something. Okay, this sounds serious. It is a little serious. Is it about Cleo? It's about everything. Uh, okay. Do you want to come back to the oil fields? Um, is that okay? You, you yeah, no. A little... No, I just, I just, I just, I just wasn't expecting this. That's all. That's all. I can, uh, it, I can definitely talk about it. I want to talk about it. So just, uh, would you just rather, call me. would you rather wait? No, I would not rather wait. Okay. I'll it's call you that, when I'm done here. It, it's just that I talked to that? you about it. And then I just got done talking to Nancy and Colin about it. And now you have more stuff to tell me. So it's just kind of a, it's just kind of a funny thing, really. Of course. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll, uh, I'll hit you up right when I'm done here. I'll just come over to the oil fields. Is that where you'll be? Yep. That's where right, I'll, I'll see you there. be. All right, I'll be here for probably like 10 or 15 minutes max. Then I'll head over. All right. Sounds good, dude. All right. See you soon, bud. Bye. Jesus. It Let never... You ends. Up, Scruffy Doodle. Yeah, what are you doing? Um, I'm finishing. I just got out of a meeting. <laughs> I'm finishing my oil shit. So I'm at the oil fields. And then I have another person that needs to talk to me coming in like 20. Shit's wild and bro. Shit's wild and my life's on fire again. How about yours? Yeah, my life's on fire too. I'll be at the pumps. All right, I'm. See, uh, I'll see you at the neighborhood, man. I'm see you on our block. All right, I'm just letting you know that Rocky's coming back up to talk to me again. It's probably gonna be another long talk. But that was happening in twenty. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, see you soon, I'm coming now. world's on fire how about yours why am I sneezing so much this sucks I don't think I've ever heard uh, Rocky so uh, upsetty a broken home no parents I heard his real name was Clarence Um, what's, what's, what's good, dude? Yo, not much. Been having a weird day. Yeah? I mean, you did go on a date yeah. with your sister. That's your fault. That's, a, that's you about my, as you weird as it my gets. Life weird, and I'm going to start meddling with your life now. Sorry. No, my uh, life's, my life's already fucking weird. Um, <clears throat> so I've got like, 15% on that. That's Actually, great. here, come with me. Come with me. I love oil. I'm going to distill this shit while it's pumping. And then I'm going to okay. distill it even more while it's pumping. I'm about to pump 2,000 gallons, bro. And then I'm going to deliver this. I'm going to deliver this. So there's a thousand eight hundred gallons of gasoline going over there. And uh, let me just make sure I have enough after that is done. My world's on fire. How about yours? 
What's going on, man? What's not going on? I don't, I don't know. Is it Cleo? Huh? Yeah. Is it Cleo? Uh. Yeah, it's, it's Cleo related. Just crazy shit. Dude, she's always getting into crazy shit. It's crazy. Come, come, come. Um, but I don't know what Rocky wants to talk to me about. He sounded pretty upset. He's spaghetti. So I guess we'll see what kind of how he's got his marinara sauce. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't. I don't know what Rocky could possibly be upset about. Oh, okay. Does it, does it involve me? Why do you mean? Do you, do you know? Are you just saying, do you know what I mean? Because do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Oh, okay. No, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what I don't know what his problems are. Those are his niche issues. Niche. Me, I don't have any issues. I'm not running from my problems. All right, dude. I like to think that we're all running from our problems. And uh... I am sprinting, full sprint. That's why I'm not running. I'm out of breath, actually. It's going to catch up to me soon. You can, you know, you can tell me anything, bro, right? I won't judge you. I don't even know what there's to say. Okay. Well, I mean, if that ever came up, you know, you, you ever needed a rant or if you were like, oh shit, this wild shit's happening. And I'm like, boom, let's go skydiving off of Mount Chiliad. Distraction. I don't know. This, this girl Barbara's insane, but not always. So that's okay. crazy. You having lady troubles? Yeah, I mean, always. Jesus. It's the only troubles you can have when you're not a gangbanger, really. Yeah, I mean, there's. Valentina, Wait. there's Shelly, there's this... Shelly's not girl. a real problem. There's Aurora. Even, I married I my dad. There's She's this, just our friend. Yeah. I mean, she sent you more A's than she sent me. I don't even have her number saved. I'm going to keep it real with you. I have to save it today. She called me and I said, who is this? Damn. <laughs> that's, that's rough. I just want to put Aurora real. So I thought I saved it, but I saved someone else. That's all right, whatever. Yeah, I don't. I feel like I've been gaslit and like each other. I can't even tell, man. I'm so fragile. Honestly, what dude, happened? you I used to be take hard. some time for yourself. And, uh, it used to be hard, Bryce. I've killed people, man. Whoa. Dude, I bet you're still hard, okay? Like Gucci said, man, I'm a real killer, but I'm a real person. Damn, that's as real as it gets, bro. I, I mean, I've I've killed people too, Scruff. Why is life like this, man? I don't know. City's fucked, and everyone's a psycho, and they want to gun you down in the face if you say hello to them incorrectly. Has it always been like this? No. Yeah. Kind of, though, on a smaller scale. I feel like the city's gone more and more corrupt by the day, and everyone's just fucking going through it and violent and just losing it. Holy Charles was here. He'd know what to say. He'd make a song that would unite us all together. He'd use like, my meme sound like my Sprunk commercials out, in, out on the, uh, you know, everywhere yeah, it may maybe be. You need, maybe we need another Sprunk commercial. That might solve our problems. I think it'd be good. Cleo beat Barbara's ass upon, upon meeting her and said she didn't approve. Oh. Well, it's a good thing that her opinion doesn't matter of who you date. Neither of my other dads approved. Why? What's wrong with Barbara? I don't know. I said I don't care. I'm going I'm going to Bryce's. He, he, he'll let me hang out with Barbara. And then you adopted her. So that's also you told weird. me to adopt her, dude. I unadopted no, her. You I... saw that. You guys were siblings for like ten minutes tops. Yeah, and it made things interesting. And then you unadopted her. No, we didn't kill Linguini's cousin. We just warned him. But it made things weird too. The world's on fire. How about you? How about yours? yours? Did you Everyone think the uh, the payphone bit was funny? Yeah, I did. Did you like how I always answer unknown numbers that way? You know, just in case, because some dude was a... 
I had a num number changer. the other day called me and say Shelly's kidnapped and I had to go there. She was going to die and I went there and they weren't there. I was so fucking pissed. Damn. What a tease. For real. The world's on fire. Why is that song it's stuck in my head, dude? Howdy. Howdy. How y'all do? Hey. hey. Looking pretty comfortable there. Yeah, dude, we're just chilling while I have like 2,000 gallons of, uh, of fucking gasoline going through her. Holy moly. Oh. Man. What if Gary's around? I won't call him. So I can't tell if you like Gary or not. Yeah. We'll go back. Who the hell is Gary? Everybody keeps talking about it. Can you give me Barbara's number? No. I just want to confirm that she's not my daughter. Give me Barbara's number. Well, why do you not want to hurt your daughter all of a sudden? What's going on with that? Because you're uncomfortable with it, and I want to make it clear that... Like you're trying to make a move. I don't give a fuck about Barbara. Give me, give me Barbara's number. I'm going to set it... I'm just going to remind her that, like, you know... That it was just a meme. Speaking of Barbara. She did. Eleanor West just tweeted, stop calling me Barbara. Hello? Barbara, I just wanted to let you know again that you were, once again, you're not my daughter. Okay, we're just. Oh, we're just I was trying to get your that. number. Okay, you're not my daughter. Okay, I'm. I'm I, Wait, why not? Because it was meme, and I'm. It never actually adopted you, and if I ever did, this is me disowning you, and you and Scruffy totally aren't oh. siblings. Oh, wait, so I'm not your daughter anymore? Oh, uh, no. Well, you kind of just can't do that, so that sucks for you. Okay, well. Watch yeah. me, because I'll go to the fucking store for cigarettes and not come back. I shouldn't have called her. Now, Why? She, has my, now she has my number. Yo, she's kind of crazy. She, I, I just said uh, I'm okay. disowning you, and she said you can't disown me. I'm, I'm not letting you. God, this is like figure all over again. Figure. You got the nines. Yeah, he did. What for? I don't remember. Serial assaults and murders. Weird. She just texted me saying, love you, dad. All right, here we go, bro. 2,000 gallons. Now we wait. Really appreciate you, bro. She said, you can't disown me. I am a part of you. <laughs> She's holding on to my seed. What? She's she what? Two of them. 
She's holding on to your seed? Yeah, I think they're both females. Alright. God. I gave it to her in the coat closet of uh, Wu Cheng. Okay. Smoke a weed. Next thing you know, I just gave her, you know, gave her the seed. I don't want to hear this. Especially What's not from my car? son. She's hot. I'm sure some fathers would be like super fucking proud. She's Why like, oh, well, good. I disowned her for you, so go for it. Thanks, man. That This is a dynamic. Yeah. God, I shouldn't have fucking texted her. Oh, God. It's fine. She would have got my number anyways. Come, 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 come. Yep. Scruffy, how did you go from, I can't, I can't hug girls, I'll get them pregnant, to, I gave her my seed in the closet. What do you mean? It wasn't sexual at all. Just broke a pot. One thing led to the next. I thought she was gay, so I gave, gave her the seed. I want to hear this. You brought it back up. You brought it up. I literally didn't. You brought it up. I want to wait till that's done. Hey, Scruff, give me, uh, give me a minute, yeah? We use Rush from over here. Shit, I'll be right back. <laughs> Is Roman rule. And I know that one thing is true. I'll follow you into the dark.
What's good? <clears throat> I already lost my first dad. I'm not losing you. We're sorry. The number you have reached has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel this is an error, please check the number and dial again. Fucking got her. Fucking got her. Scruffy. Doodle. Not like a toast for strudel. My only other friend that, you know, I had a lot of friends that don't do crime. Bryce does never do crime. I, I had a lot of friends that, yeah. you know, when I got yeah, my expungement, buddy. it just like wouldn't be a problem. The way I, I see thought it about is I'm it, just getting I was just more of the whole time, but I was in hiding. Just in denial I think I'm just going to stop doing like dumb petty shit and then just focus on real, expungement. really big stuff that would um either make me rich and help move stuff around or put me in jail for a long time and make me lose all my money like i'm not saying i won't sell guns or something again one day or something silly i don't know yeah like i don't know maybe i'll shoot get someone again one day yeah why not right but i just thought about it and i was like wow i really okay. want to try to force myself into just really being what i've thrived at you know i've always done good at burger shot i got a salary yeah there. i got a lot going for me if i just would stay away from crime you're a business clown there's nothing wrong with yeah. that sometimes it's boring but that's Right, but you know, at some point, that's, that's just it's life. true. It's very be. true. The only thing that wasn't boring for me was robbing twenty four sevens. I like robbing houses me. and racing. You can still do that. That's still fun. See, that's the one thing I'd wanna fuck. I do like that. All right, uh, gotta rice. We gotta chat. Yeah, okay. All right, guys. Love Scruff, I'm gonna be awake for a while, so I'll just call you after. Yeah. Are you, how long's a while? Um, I'll I'll definitely be awake till Susu, and, and I might even be around for like another hour or two after. Doing head wow, nods though. Yeah. Well, hopefully Aurora's around so we can catch slider to hell. I don't think she that will be, fun. but fingers crossed. I married my dad. <laughs> Appreciate you, Scruff. Up, All right, shall we get to our spot? Do you want to, that same spot, or that you want to do it here? Come here, cinematic spot. Not there because the, the pump's too loud. Or actually, you know what? Let's go up here because this is gonna be done in just a minute. can go up here because this is going to be done in like five minutes. We just got to deal with the... Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um. <clears throat> I've never heard you so upset, so I'm kind of curious what this is about. I'm not upset. I'm um, just disappointed. I just Worried. disappointed. No, I just... I'm getting over it, man. What? I'm I'm uh, a, I'm a, did Cleo call you? No. Oh. She hasn't, actually. What happened? Um. I don't know anyone anything. But you've always been straight up with me. You, you're a good person. You, uh. You, um. I see a lot of overlap between us. The shit we take, the way we act, the way we feel, we should treat our friends, and we do, despite how it sometimes blows up in our faces. And um, <clears throat> I just want you to have as many pieces as you can to protect yourself. Okay. Um, so I want to share some information with you that I have that I'm sure you'll be well aware of if came back to me 
or even maybe you probably knowing, it could end really bad for both of us. Okay. And I didn't get this from Cleo. What do you know Cleo. about the highwayman? Uh, I'm just gonna stop you right there and just, I'm aware. How aware? I'm, I'm very aware. You know who it is? Yep. Okay. How long have you known? Uh, well, I've known about him for a while. Right. And I've known more about him due to Cleo uh, as of more recently. Um, and, uh, well, now you can see why my, uh, concerns have been, why I've been talking with people and concerned and I'm not incredibly happy that she's surrounding herself with the company that she is. Yeah. Um, I don't know how I you know, I don't know if you've you figured it out but uh yeah i'm aware and i'm unhappy about it and uh she's totally being manipulated and uh she doesn't want to see it um yo can i can i just do like a real talk this never leaves this moment real just do what with you for a minute yeah, dude real talk um I put together a lot of shit over a while. Stuff I heard. Uh, things I knew. And then I walked into Hayes one day. And when looking for Mick, the highwayman had been involved. And um, Thomas Dwayne didn't know who it was. And I wasn't trying to go down that route that much. Mm. But uh, Thomas was asking and going, oh, this highwayman. And then... Uh, you know Galactic, right? Yeah. Galactic was like, oh, the Highwayman, I've heard of him. And within about 15 seconds, just dumped every piece of information. <laughs> just like loudly in Haze. Just nice. very loudly in Haze. And I was like, um, hey, this is not the place you want to be sharing that information this loudly uh, of all places. He's like, oh, no, it's fine. I've heard it. And I was like, dude, you don't want to be out. Okay. <clears throat> um but it was like months of me putting pieces together and then seconds of someone just <laughs> confirming it all in the most casual way possible. So the information is out there is what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, it's not. Cleo you know. doesn't know that I. She's she's told me from the things that she told me, I, I was able to gather who the person was and I had it confirmed from another source okay. but I don't think that she knows that I know um and uh I know she knows that other people know and yeah. she reacted poorly as if like a you mean other people know a secret too saying it's not just me that's what I assume yeah it, how to be I don't know why else she would be upset that other people know you know but, um, I think yeah, as I'm, much as she I'm feels, aware. um, hurt by the club and abandoned by them, even though she's not <clears throat> theirs to worry about, um, there tends to be this need to want to keep their secrets and keep them happy because of, you know, Colin, mm -hmm. I get that, but I just couldn't have, um, you know. You mentioning that, I just couldn't have that be something that just lingers without you knowing. Oh, I was, I appreciate you telling me. I actually got the confirmation I needed shortly before you, you know, you and I met up and talked. So, funny timing. Okay, good. Okay, then. Well, then yeah, I don't want to, um. I appreciate you, Rocky. You, know. you too, Bryce. We should, um. We should hang out more. I agree. I'd uh, be interested in hanging out with you, you know? We could hang out. I'd be okay with that. Yeah. You should uh, you should pay for flight lessons and get some pilot's licenses. Sometime um, 
I was about to draw, I was about to just push you off the side of this, but I don't have time to take care of. But we, I have things to do in this next hour. <laughs> so many serious talks yeah. tonight. I, I'm really I'm really busy in city though. We should hang out outside of town sometime. Uh, brother, consider how. Oh, I mean, I think I'm tied down to where I'm at for the next couple days at least, but uh, I'm very, I'm very interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had some family that was visiting me out of town, and so that's tied me up for a while, but now it's, you know. Hell we'll, yeah. We'll figure it out, dude. We'll figure it out. But uh, you have a good one, bro. I love you too. You too. Um, oh, wow. No, love you too. Oh, wow. You got me. Fucking got you. <laughs> you really are stressed, aren't you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you killed. <laughs> uh, oh my god, it doesn't end. Fuck. 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 Okay, I'm not prepared for this. I didn't want. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to hang up. I wanted to answer, but. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. The number you are trying to reach is no longer in service. If you'd like to redial, please do so now. I was gonna answer. I was getting music ready for the uh, the this music. God, it's so loud. There it is, chat. My first barrel. Yeah. You wanna come with me to sell my first barrel? Yeah, where you at? Oil field. Nice. Right, Dude, I think these people are talking about me at Burger Shot. I was eavesdropping hard. Oh, damn. You just keep going from Burger Shot to fucking... I have nothing else going on in my life. It's pretty boring. Dude. Come here. Man. Hell yeah, Bumble. I heard those barrels were bulletproof. About to sell some oil, Bryce. Trying to, yeah. I've got a suggestion uh, for that if you want to get rid of it. Uh, no zero energy down in Strawberry. They they buy in bulk. If you have Marty Banks's number, give him a call. I just have one barrel, so. And he'll still buy it. Do you have uh, Marty's number? No, I do not. I'll give you. Hang on. Dummy must gasoline. Um, see, the thing is, though, they may only buy for, I think, maybe 6 or 5.5 pair, if that's okay for you. Mm, does anyone buy for, like, 7 or 8? <laughs> I don't think so. I, I think pretty much every gas station gets it for less now. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. It's still a good profit, though, trust me. Um, Marty Bags' number, are we the off for you? It's 415-972-1011.
Now, even when their gas station's full, he buys it in bulk, so, you know, he's worth calling. Alright. Yeah, yeah. If you don't find anyone else that is, you know, save it as a last resort. Hello? Stop, dude. How's it going? This is Bryce Miller. Uh, are you still uh, buying gasoline for your gas station, my dude? Uh, how much you got? I just got one barrel, 5,000 gallons. Um, if you can sell for 5.5 .5 per gallon, then yeah, I'll buy it all. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, can you uh, bring it down to uh, Strawberry Ave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, I'll be here. Sounds good, dude. See you soon. See you soon. Dude, gas prices have already dropped so low. First day they were eight dollars. Hey man, what's up? Oh, hey, you cool? I'm actually the like. Is good. <laughs> is that good? No, but it's whatever. Some people are selling it for eight. Seven grade four out of how many? Oh fuck! All that work. That's what I'm saying, Mercedes. Yeah. So we're gonna sell this shit. Dude, this shit's not worth it. Dude, up, Normandy. Dude said he was gonna buy it for 5.5 per gallon. Who is it? Marty Banks. I'm gonna sell this shit. I'm gonna be real. Not offending me. I mean, I kind of like it's. I kind of like it. It's relaxing. It's kind of fun. But I mean, like from a profit thing, it's not worth. Well, there's literally more profit probably in growing vegetables. Mm, yeah, there's just literally no profit from. Uh... Which is a bummer, dude. You have a contract with Leslie? I never signed it. He never sent me a contract. All that worked for like 27,500. Uh, anyways, Barbara called me and I went, The number you are trying to reach has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you believe this is wrong, please redial and try again. Did she fishing. say anything? She said, Oh my god, he blocked me! Oh, and she just tweeted about me. Dude, there's literally more money in fishing than there is oil business. Like, one day of fi one fishing tournament is more money than there is in a week of oil. What the fuck? Fuck this. That's a bummer. Kind of a bummer. I wonder if it's the gas things. The gas stations could make it so much more worth it. They really could. Stop yeah, it. Right. Thanks. Oh, are you guys selling gas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, across uh, the street, across the street. 
Do I just get robbed? <laughs> I'd laugh. Oh, that'd be funny as fuck. Or 100% getting robbed, Scruff. <laughs> Hi. Ah, oh, this is a great guy. How you doing, Martin? Hey, Martin. Oh, sh oh. I'm a scammer. I'm not a great guy. <laughs> now watch as I run in here. I know. When I heard five, when I heard 5.5, I was kind of glad I didn't send that contract. Chill. I'll do six if it's you. I didn't know. Yeah. Okay, okay. Say less. Yeah. Scruffy getting me more money. I'll be real with these people. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it for six, you know, a little bit more money. Oof. <sighs> Is nobody buying right now? Uh, yes. I mean, you were the, I was, someone told me to call you about it, so. I think people aren't buying the way I, because like, everyone's been selling to me recently. Bro, I have 40,000 gallons in there. Yeah, you're chilling. You're chilling because the city's going to run out of fucking gasoline soon and, and you guys are going to be yeah, the I only one that actually have it. probably get you a bulk it. sale really cheap, Marty. I'm going to be honest. Really? Yeah, I got, I know, a, a pump grind. I, I can talk to you about this tomorrow. Uh, okay. If you want that, if you're still buying. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm always buying. There won't be a time where I'm not. My okay. bad. So, so how does this next part yeah. work then? Like, what do we, uh, I'll give you the gas. APM, I pay you. All right, bet. Yeah. That, that oil, there's 5,000 gallons in that thing. I just store it until I need it later, and then I pay you now. I keep the barrel, by the way. I'll pay you 500 bucks for it. Sounds good to me. Uh, is there any team at the gas station? Yeah. I bet, dude. Bingo. What's your state ID? Uh, 1109. Low as hell, boy. Mm -hmm. Could have been 1111, but my wishes came true, dude. Boom. You got it? I got it, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. I mean, no, I'm always buying them. I'm, I'm basically always around. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good, dude. You're doing well, Mr. Martin. Appreciate it. Yeah. How are you doing? Uh, Kind of bored lately, but like, I'm good, you know? Okay. I mean, 30K. Same. I'm a little bored, I feel like you good. did the other week kind of deal where you're like, I don't have to do it. Yeah. But I'll I figure have, it out. That's the city, dude. Do, but like, it's like, yeah. That's just how the city is. You always have highs and lows. Around, you know, it's a, it's a, it's yeah. a, a give and take. You know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, you guys stay safe, okay? All right, you too. All right, brother. you too. Bye, Martin. Bye. Oh, by the way, Scruffy, Scruffy. Yeah. Uh, construction is uh started officially on like the actual store, and it'll be open hopefully by the end of this month. Oh, you still like, want open, me to work open. there? You know, so yeah, if you want to, yeah. I still yeah. want to be a part of it if I can. Yeah, I would yeah. love to. Uh, Cause we'll, uh, we'll talk about yeah. it as it gets like closer, you know, and I have like actual, you know, pictures yeah, of how it'll. Yeah, because Michelle, I just want to push Burger Shot as a business. I would love to actually like put, be able to help push a business further. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like Burger Shot's just going to stay where it is. It's pretty ELO locked. So uh, uh, it's frustrating. It's a shame. It's a shame. It could be, it could be so beautiful. Yeah. I don't know, okay. maybe you were right the other day, what you said. You'll own Burger Shot. I literally will own Burger Shot one day. Watch. You will? Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I will make it my life destiny. Uh, yeah, you can be CEO. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Marty. I love Burger Shot. All right. I'm officially an oil baron. If I have anything to say about it. I'm officially an oil baron, Scruff. Yeah, you can say it. Do you feel better about yourself? So, yeah, I do. In your, in your body. <laughs> now I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna sell my rig because fuck, <laughs> that was so much work for thirty grand. <laughs> right on. That was so much work for thirty grand. How much work? Like, do you start all today? I mean, I've just been doing little by little. I mean, today I did like 2,000 gallons, right? And I was like, I mean, look, if I if I grinded that my entire day, you know, I could probably 
You're you make a killing, but I could make a killing, but like I, I feel I, like if I grinded it one week out of a month, it might be worth it. But I don't know if I, I'm debating it, dude. I, I just like me. I have a lot of people riding on me to do this, so I kind of feel bad for them. Mm. But if I don't do it, what, what well, I mean, it's a gamble. Like we all took a gamble. I just don't know. I just don't know what I'm gonna do next with my life. You know, that's the city, though, dude. You know, it's like yeah. There's, there's lows. I just, just, just kind of wait till I have. And that's fine. I'm not trying to bitch about it. I'm just saying, like, I'd like to have something lined up. I feel it, dude. I feel it. I feel like this city's in a weird spot right now, too, where a lot of people are being like, I don't know what to do with my time. Yeah, I try to I try to do things, though. I mean, you know me. I keep things going. I try you to be dramatic. It, you keep it on, dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just it's too hard not to stir the pot sometimes. I'm picking up what you're dropping down, dude. I'm scooping what you're pooping. I be pooping, man. Big poops. Ghost poops, man. Hold on. I want to see what, uh... Wow, I don't see any construction workers around. I wonder if they left some shit. <laughs> you think they... You think they left some stuff? I... Got Robert a hunch. tweeted, Dad left for SIGs again. Hope he comes back soon. I need some food. Only going to one spot, and you already know. <laughs> don't retweet it. We're going to the burger. To the burger. I picked my burgers. Yeah, but we were lazy with it, honestly. Like, we were lazy. Like, if I... How long were we up there? We were up there for, like, two hours. I married my dad. Two hours for 2,000 gallons. That'd be like... That's like... It's like six hours of work. You think you could send uh, me that? Yeah, I could send that to you. Yeah, can you send me that? It's like six hours. Okay, so let's 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 do this. Ooh, what cop is this? I don't know. I spent. Let's see. I spent like thirteen k on materials to keep that thing running. And I, I still have extra gasoline left, right? There's overflow. But for 13k and six hours of work to make a 30k profit, I mean, it's a profit, but like, uh, I don't know, dude. Hey, how's it going, dude? 13k only today? No, I, I, that's, that's from all of them. Good to hear, dude. Good to hear. Can I get a money shot combo, please? Sure, sure. Would you like to upgrade your fifty dollars more for a dessert and toy? Because you know what they say: without some sweetness in your life, you're just a bitter man. And I'm sure you don't want to be a bitter man when you're so stylish. Yeah, no, I don't. I'm I'm good with just my combo, bro. But I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. And so, uh, just to double check, you wanted just a uh, the money shot combo, yes? Yes, please. Okay, okay. So I'll charge you right. Just pay right there and you'll be good to go. Boom. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I don't know. We sold a barrel though. There you go. That's pretty cool. That was pretty fun. Enjoy it. Thank Stay you, safe. dude. Thank you, thank and you. Be you healthy. Too. No, you. Bye -bye. Yes, for you. Honestly, if it was more of a profit, I would do it more. I mean, it was a risk that we, it was a gamble that we did it in the first place, you know? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, sounds accurate. Fries taste better outside, don't you think? Yeah, they do. Hey, my right. girl over there on the phone is trying to be my my kid, and I don't want her to be my kid. And oh, I said no, and she said, you can't disown me. I'm not huh. going anywhere. We're attached. So she's like low-key, high-key crazy. Oh, okay. Hmm. So, you're you're a surrogate parent, but you don't want to be. No, I'm not not a parent at all in any way, shape, or form. Hmm. Well, you know, saying that you're not a parent and that not you a don't parent. want your kid, I'm you know, that's parent. sort of checking all the boxes for somebody. I'm gonna, that I'm gonna leave this conversation. Not a not a dad. Worth a shot. I mean, it was new and exciting. 
if I grinded it, I could make a lot of money, but I'm not going to grind it because I want a life that's not grinding. Call me. You better hit me up with good news. It's really important. Um, what? Do you have a minute? <laughs> Fucking do. Yeah, I do. I'm sorry. Um, your daughter, Barbara, is wondering why you... There's nine, joint. her. There's nine joints in the glove box. Thank you. Hear me no. out. Where are you? Listen, tell I, that you're getting that, food. Where are you getting food from? That woman is not my daughter. Okay, Scruffy is like my son in like a ha ha joking meme way. She was like, "Can I be your kid?" And I was like, "Sure, whatever." And then she was like, Scruffy was like, "Wait, no, we just went on a date. We can't do that." She was like, "Step bro," and then Scruffy freaked out. And so I was like, "Okay, you're an adopted. I'm, I'm disowning you." And she said, "You can't do that. We're already we're already joined at the hip." And I Are said, you at Burger Rock Shot? Rocky, I don't want this woman to be my kid. She's fucking crazy. I, I don't care for her. That's ableist. I'm going to leave her on the steps of a fire station. In fact, I'm going to do that right it, now. <laughs> I'm going I'm okay. to do, I'm yeah, gonna do that. I'm going to do that. Come to Burger Shot. Come to Burger I'm Shot. At Burger again. Shot. I'm in the blue bison. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, Brace. Hey. Hey. Hey, Rocky, Scruffy, kiddo, get in. Oh, what? Rocky. Hi there. Hold on. Let me put my... Hi, Dad. Hi, hi. What Bye the hell is going on here? Hello. Bye, Dad. Bye, Scruffy. No, no. Hello, how much are the Where are we going? Hey, Rocky. Hi there. Grill. Hey, kiddos. Uh, How's it going? <gasps> How you doing, Bryce. Barbara? Hey. You doing? You doing good? Yeah, I was hoping that we could talk. Okay, what's what's going on? Um, I still want you to be my dad. Okay, what about what I want? Well, what do you want? I like, well, like I feel like I like adopted you, quote unquote, as like a joke, and then you and Scruffy were like went on a date, so you guys can't like you know that. And I just—I I mean, we established that he was I my never, step bro. Never seriously wanted Where are you to. Where you going? To, don't worry about it. Um, okay, you didn't take it seriously, but I took it seriously. So. Okay. Well, this Where is. Where do we go from here? So like, I'm. I like. How do I say this nicely? I like don't want you. <laughs> I. Wow. I couldn't. I'm sorry. I. My my brain normally blocks out trauma. What did you say? I'm sorry. Oh, wow, your brain normally blocks out trauma. Yeah. Okay, give me a sec. Huh? Your brain. It's so what? Like anything that bad happens to you, you just immediately black it out. What do you mean? Yeah. What's going on here? Usually that happens from years of abuse. Oh my God. Who? who what? What years of abuse? Uh. Don't say it like that. I'd say from years one to twelve. All right. What? Do you want to talk about it? Do you want to unpack no. that? I can't remember it. You can't remember it, but there's no, years of No, just like I abuse. can't remember what you just said. Okay. Yeah. Um, can you read? Yeah. Okay. Uh. So if I wrote down on a piece of paper, I'm disowning you. What would you What would you say? Um, I would say I can't read. So, regardless of what I say to or block do, the trauma, yeah. to block you're, just, the trauma. you're yeah. just not gonna Rocky ever gets leave. it. Rocky gets it. I get it. Yeah. Rocky, Rocky, I swear to God, you should know, said, this Rocky is the last thing it. I fucking need right now. <laughs> hmm. You don't need a loving and supportive child in your life right now. How how are you How are you supportive? I will be there for you. I will give you money. Oh. I will give you money right now. Okay. Oh. You already spend, like, most of your time basically taking care of children in this city. I, Bryce. You're not wrong. I know. I know you're I'm not, not wrong. You're not, you're not wrong. Thanks for the $69, Barbara. I, I appreciate that. You want more? Uh, you know what? That's okay. If I okay. send you more, will you, will you love me more? My goodness. You don't have... God, this is bringing back memories from childhood. 
Um, I, I'm good. I'm good. Wow, look at this fire department. Hey, what's that one like stereotype? I think. Okay, you don't stop sending me money. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want your money. I don't want your money. What are you like a sugar daughter or something? What is this? I there's the sugar daughters are very popular <laughs> these days. They're very. I don't know hey. if Papa Pez or Papa Chip would act like this. But, okay, well, Papa Pez and Papa Chip, Papa suck. Okay, so stop sending me more money. I'm mo sending you more money. Barbara, you don't, stop sending me money, okay? Just because we're at the fire department, and there's like a Where notorious we, stereotype about people you dropping don't want kids off. Of my money? At the, if you don't want your money and you don't have anywhere to send it to, you can, you can send it to me. Wow. That's Rocky. Guys. Will you re, will you re accept me as yeah. your what, what as the, your daughter? Okay. So much fun so, stuff. So why do you why do you even want me as like a daughter? Cuz I don't have a dad. Okay. Why yeah. you don't even know me? You don't want me as a dad. I'm a shit Yeah, but dad. you're the first person that's ever claimed me as a daughter. Well, it was like a joke. I didn't think but that I you would I Fatherhood's I not a joke, Bryce. Yes. Yeah, oh so my god, Rocky, joke. please. <laughs> How is Rocky so helpful? He is so destructive. It's not a and joke. Any any man can be a father, but it takes a real man to be a dad. I guess I'm not a real man then, because I fucking hate kids. Well, I'm like, I'm not a kid. I'm an okay. adult, yeah. so I'm like your adult daughter. All right. Yeah, so you don't have to be her dad. Any how, man can be a dad, but it takes a real man to be a father. How old are you? Um, 23. Okay, so I'm... Okay. How old are you? I'm 25. Oh, okay, see, that means, you know, it's not that... No, yeah, no, I mean, sure, people can adopt other things. Okay, so, like, I, like, okay, I just... There's a lot going on. There is a lot going on. There's a I, lot I going on. You know, I mean, this, this relationship doesn't have to be what you think it is. It, it could just be, you know, dad and daughter. What I did you think that I thought of it? Well, I know, like, that's what I thought you thought of it, but I... <laughs> What did you think? What, what? Which way did you think I thought of this relationship? Well, like, I, oh, what did you I, think of it, Bryce? I didn't think of it. Oh, yeah. How did you think of it? I want to hear it from her first because there's a lot of assuming wait. going on right now. Wait. What, what, what did you, what did, what did you think this was? What? Well, you know, oh, you know what happens when people make then people assume, right? Oh my God! Just let her talk. <laughs> well, I, I thought it was, you know, I thought it was that. It was I feel what? Like you think it's more? No, I, I don't. I just see it as You've someone. Seen one Damn, what too the hell is wrong with you, on the Bryce? Internet. What are you talking about? How am I getting gaslit into this? I go on a date on a girl. Oh you my, know, my god! Do you adopt her? Do I fulfill some kind of weird fantasy? That's oh fucked. my god! That's uh, fucked. Dad. I feel I, hurt. Don't don't call me dad. I'm not your dad. Peasant peasant ship would never do this. To I don't me. give a they, fuck they about They just beat her ass. Okay. At least they just beat her ass. I mean, you're you're beating my heart up back here. It was like a joke thing. That I like, quote unquote, adopted you. I didn't think mm -hmm. you would think it was serious if you were like, "Can you be my dad too?" And I was like, "Sure," you know. Yeah, you said sure. So now and that lasted like... like five minutes, and then I was like, "Just kidding! I'm disowning you and going to the store and getting cigarettes and never coming back ever again." Well, well there's it, no it, cigarettes. It made so... me think. I was like, "I want someone." You know, after you said yes, I was like, "Oh, that's great." I mean, I you know, if I ever get married, I'll have someone to walk me down the aisle, and mm. if I ever have relationship issues i'll have someone there to talk to you about mm. yeah and there's um you know i mean the adoption paperwork is in the glove box i don't I'm the child this. rental I'm papers grabbing i'm grabbing it yeah I don't, these, should, are, these I mean. are rental papers to the fucking bison no this are rental papers to a child you Rocky, rented a how can you be so helpful yeah, and so insightful rented. yet such a shithead at the same time um I'm a therapist. I think he knows how great I am, and he sees potential. Oh my god! And you adopting me? I yes. I and you know you can't spell potential without a ten, and Barbara's a ten. Well, uh, Rocky. Okay, how does this conversation Aww. keep going back to Barbara's looks? Okay, I didn't say looks. Don't make it weird with your daughter. Oh my god! She's yeah. just a ten as a person. She's more than just looks. Wait, Dad. So you don't think I'm a ten? Yeah, she's she's she is a ten. Lloyd looks, but she's more than just I, looks, I, Mr. I don't, Thunk. I don't think anything of you, Mr. Thunk. That's oh. a terrible thing to say to your daughter. Anyway, do not Mr. call me Mr. Thunk. Thunk. 
I would. I, I do not want to be Mr. Thunk. Bryce, I'm going to move to the Billy. What? I swear. How is this, Scruffy? You know I'm not, like, actually your dad, right? What? You're disowning me, too? Oh, I'll kill you, Bryce. Oh, oh, Bryce, oh, Barbara will confront you. I'll just Jesus fucking kill fucking you. Christ. I'm, I'm crazy. I, uh, yeah, you're both oh. crazy. I guess it runs in the family. Why are you making this hard for yourself? What, what's so What's so hard about you owning two children? I just don't want to be. I yeah, don't, I you don't have the rental you. papers right there. Who's yeah. gonna get me unstuck if you disown her? I'm kind of confused oh. here. <laughs> there's, there's a lot we gotta talk about. Wait, hold on. Pause. Wait, what? I'm, talk, I'm just talking. We're just talking about details here. Oh. You know what? I, I, okay. I there's there's probably no harm. Sure, I'm your dad. Fucking whatever. Everyone happy? Oh yeah. Yeah. So you are my make dad? sure. Make sure when you back out, you don't back out super fast into that gas station. That's all I want to make sure. Yeah, back out really slowly. Explore it. Thanks for the tour, Mr. Thunk. Don't, I swear to God, don't call me wait, Mr. Thunk. Wait, it's, mis it's Mr. Doodle, if anything. Wait, what was your last name? Miller. So, uh, wait, am I Barbara Miller now? No, you're just Barbara Thunk. And, you know, you don't even have to tell people. You know, it could just be like... A little, a little father daughter secret, and you can still oh, give so me I'm money. I'm the daughter on the low. What does that even mean? I think I've mean? seen videos about this. I don't, you keep oh, talking. Really? Fantasies, Bryce. Look, I don't want you to be my daughter, but I feel like you're gonna freak out and just call me dad anyways. So fuck it, you know. So um, she's a daughter on the low. So you're trying to. It's a DL, as they call it, I guess. I, I, daughter it's on the a, low. It's an I. Okay, I'm just gonna be real. So, I, I don't care about you. Down low, daughter. I just, I don't. Sounds like Down, the name of a movie. Download daughter. <laughs> Download daughter. Why, why are you guys making this a weird thing? <laughs> I, I thought it was weird when you told your daughter that you don't care about her to her face, but I guess I made it weird <laughs> when I did wordplay. Sorry. Sorry to make well, it weird. Not, it's not his daughter. He says. Oh, he said I was his daughter. You know what? He yeah, said but I was then his he said he doesn't daughter, care about you. And then he you know said he didn't care about me. I, t I figured I'm, it was just something he was. I'll tell you doing. what. I'll tell you what. I'm sorry. Why don't I make it up to you? And why don't there, there's there's some nice you know like cots back here, and there's some nice like TV rooms. I'll go get some like snacks and popcorn, and we could have a movie night, huh? With the whole family, would that be nice? Yeah. All yeah. Right, why okay. Why don't you Why don't you hop out, Barbara, and I'll I'll go get that. And I'll be right back. Okay. But I don't want to get out. I yeah, thought you said, said gonna... you were gonna get out. No, I gotta drive to the store, Barbara. Oh, I'll come. You said you're gonna grab a bunch of things. I feel like you'll need help carrying it. Yeah. Do we all stay if it's a real uh, I, I would help carry it, but I have some therapy sessions tomorrow, and I need to rest my hands because I need to point to people to blame them. Oh, how convenient, mm -hmm. Rocky. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd help carry things. I need to rest my fingers. I just feel like tomorrow. I just yeah, really. Yeah, I'll help carry things. I just I can do it all in one trip. Okay. You shouldn't have to though. I get it's okay. I. J I'll come. That's, that's, I, that's Be okay. careful what you say to that sentence. Mm -hmm. Rocky, get out of the car. <gasps> All right, I don't want to be in a car where someone doesn't consent to me being oh, in it. Oh, my God. Wow. You such a, okay. All right, so I'll, Sorry, uh, Rocky. I'll be right back. Your dad's, your dad's do so I, do, do I get out of the car? I'm just, I don't. Yeah, I, so I think you should get out, too. Okay. I'll be Why right back, to you guys. Up. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go to the store. But they don't even sell cigarettes. I swear to fucking God. I married my dad. Talking about that's a sub sound from now on, Goblin. <sighs> Hello, why are you the way that you are? 
Fair question. You and, you and I both know this is the last thing I need or want. Also, funny enough, this girl kicked Cleo's ass earlier. Or Cleo beat her ass earlier, actually. They had a fight. Great. <laughs> so is, I can't wait for... It... You know what? I'm <laughs> taking a jump. I'm taking a jump. It... I'm taking a jump. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Anyways, GG's. Bryce never returned to the store that day or back to his family because he died right there on those steps near the Vespucci canals. Oh, this is such bad timing. I can't answer. I can't answer. I tried to accept the call and it wouldn't let me. to see what it says. Funniest part is that the car is on top of Jeffy's roof. <laughs> I see you and put them all on your contact list. God, there's not enough time to ice you. I just need EMS to get here quickly.
You mess. You mess. Bryce Miller, Bryce Miller, Bryce Miller. Yamas. Damn, I want to know what the tweets say. Fuck is the EMS? <laughs> Imagine not knowing what the tweets say. Cafe. Cafe. Jeffy, wake up. Cafe. Zapping. Cafe. Oh, your gunshots. Please. The man landmarks close. I've been so descriptive. Here. You're so close. Hello? I hear someone talking. Above the staircase. The staircase. Oh, okay. Oh, God. There was a car accident. I went flying out of my oh. car. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I took so long. I was trying to find, find the place. That's okay. <laughs> Uh, you were sent flying from your car? Yeah, I had a car accident. I went out of my car and ended up over here. Oh, okay. 
Well, let me start this IV on you. It might hurt a bit. Okay. On three. One, two, three. Boop! Okay. Let me clean up your wounds. Do you, uh, do you feel any of your limbs? Are you able to move any of yeah, them? Yeah, I feel, I feel all of them. I can wiggle my fingers and toes and stuff. Oh. Okay, that's good. That's good. Well, let me just clean off this b blood off of you. Um... And place the C college. Just in case. Boop. Let me wrap these up. I don't have any saline on me, sadly, so I can't clean them up. The that's doctor okay. will have to do it for you. That's okay, that's fine. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really hope that we have enough time to read our tweets. And make a spicy okay, phone call back. Favorite hospital. Thank you. No problem, no problem. She's doing her thing. She's she's doing well. Bad timing for us to take a shitty jump. How's your day, sir, other than being one guy out of a car? Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah, my day is, there's a lot that's happened. It's, uh, I told you everything, you wouldn't believe me. You know, one of those days. Okay. How about, how about you? Oh, it's been very unavent. The most eventful thing was stealing shoes from a patient. Pretty cool. Would you... Never mind. Would I what? Never mind. Well, I've only been around for like 30 minutes, so that's pretty cool. Okay, let's take you to the doctor. Okay. Let's talk about or Nancy. That's fine, Nancy's nice. I like Nancy. She's got a nice new blouse on today too. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well Thank have you. fun looking at her blouse. Well, I mean I'm Okay. Okay. Thank you. Leave the area. All right. <laughs> what did Rocky say? Bryce is the kind of guy who would always come back for his family and friend. And Cleo retweeted it saying, <laughs> Oh, God. I'm, I'm leaving. I was just getting medical. Yeah, man. <coughs> rough thank you I appreciate you oh okay what bye hold on Mike block uh -huh. I mean Mike's block on there Watch 
I'm gonna get the fuck out of here because this is gonna end. Though. Hey, I can't, I can't talk right now. Well, what were you calling for? I was, I'm wasted. I can't talk, I can't talk, I just, I just got really bad news, so I just, I can't talk right now. Hope you're okay. Godspeed. I'm so mad at you, but goodbye. know what you want to talk about
sniffing in the corner, sniffing. Sniffing in the corner. I will sniff again the corner. Elmer's glow. Elmer's glow. Yeah. Sniffing in the corner. I was sniffing in the corner. Elmer's glow. Non toxic. I was sniffing in the corner. Elmer's glow. Non toxic. Sniffing in the corner, non toxic Elmer's glow. Sniffing, sniffing, I was sniffing. I was sniffing. Oh god, I love it so much. I sniff it till I cry because I was sniffing in the corner. Lifetime guarantee. Thank you for that brand new gifted tier one sub to Luna. I appreciate you. I also hear Ice King when he does this. All right, we're going to keep going. We're getting back into the server. The drama continues. And now Bryce has a daughter? Who knows, dude? I don't, even, I don't even fucking know. Tonight's been great, though. I'll be right back, okay? All I know is Los Santos sits in silence. Maybe it's the lack of music that sparks the violence. Real talk, I ain't fucking shit, and neither are you, bitch. So take your opinions and die in a ditch. This is a persona going insane at the age of corona. Maybe I'm crumbling, but I keep on walking even if I'm tumbling. I grab onto something and keep moving, stumbling. Never said I was rap god, but I ain't fucking mumbling. Riding and shit with shit, thinking my shit's hot. A thought in deep thoughts, trying to pretend that she's not lost. Giving up on art and picking up the cross. Should have learned from Alabaster, putting yourself second paves the way to disaster. Faster than Renzi bullet chasing tail, bitches be fickle, they want you to fail. So celebrate like a nail when it hits the ground, cause envy is a light sleeper. Gripping up on me like the Grim Reaper. Every time you help someone up, they sweep kick ya. So celebrate like a nail when it hits the ground, cause envy is a light sleeper. Gripping up on me like the Grim Reaper. Every time you help someone up, they sweep kick ya. Envy is a light sleeper. My demeanor is meaner, and I ain't met a single hoe that I would have called a keeper. I sound like a rap god, but I'm the rap demon slaying everyone who tried to drag me down for self esteem. And I'm making this music just so life is extra meaning. Took a lot of L's as a kid, now I am always winning. Some said I was stupid, now they study in my lyrics, said that I couldn't do shit. Now I'm stealing all the women. Shout out to the people that believe since day one. Shout out to the people that decide to stay long. Shout out to the people that before burn the PD hit said, what? One day you be famous I do this for music I don't need your bends I'm keeping it old school Cause fuck all these trends Don't care about the shooters You have in your ends Leave his blood in the water I love how it blends When I'm attacking You better defend I do not give a fuck If you're taking offense I'm your worst nightmare I'm here for your head I came straight out of hell Me and Satan are friends Make one diss on you It'll ruin your life Gonna see for your wedding And I'm stealing your wife Well you know what they say The killers come out at night and everyone is fucking quiet now the zoom on the mic so celebrate like a nail when it hits the ground cause envy is a light sleeper gripping up on me like the grim reaper every time you help someone up they sweep kick ya 
so celebrate like a nail when it hits the ground cause Zambi is a light sleeper gripping up on me like the grim reaper every time you help someone up they sweep kick ya My name is Lorenzo Rosario. All right. We're loading in. <sighs> I hydrated. I stretched. I did the things. I did the stuff. Did the stuff and the things and the stuff and the things as well. Pizza Pizza Docs, you're right. You're needed. anyone asked about the document yet? I don't think anyone's been inside the house besides Bryce. Pizza, Pizza Airlines document. I've got you, oh, oh, and you've got me, baby, can't you see, you're the meat for me, no chicken, no pork, all I need is beef, my baby beef, what do you mean to me, my baby beef, My baby, baby, my baby, beef. Mm. 
I unironically like that song a lot. There was another one about pigs in the pen, right? What was the other one about the pigs in the pig pen? My name is James, and some call me Rambo. Kicked out of Valentine over a little scandal. Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. How about you? How about you? My name is James, and some call me Randall. My name is James, there ain't a whole lot I can't handle. Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. <laughs> I want a whole James album, honestly, at this point. My name is James, and I get a little beefy <laughs> my name is james and i get a little beefy god it's so why do i like it so much Can you pick us up at the fire department? It's getting cold. I'm just grabbing some. <laughs> I'm just grabbing some cigs, man. Dude, still awake? This car's gonna hit me. <clears throat> Where'd she go to sleep? Hello, Bryce. I'm surprised you're awake, but maybe I'm just never awake at this time, so I don't know. Or are you degenerate um, now? I. The, uh, the, uh, there's just some things I needed to attend to, so. Oh, okay. I'm not uh, normally awake at this time, but sometimes. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm 
towing a car right now. Okay. Um, you just sounded like you were in distress. How did uh, how did no, everything no, go? Uh, what? Um, can I call you back? Sorry, I'm about <laughs> to back into a gas station. And I really don't want to explode. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. My baby beef. My baby beef. Sure, James Randall and Abner uh, Abner song. What's up, John Michael? How's it going? Awful. I got Scruffy. He's my friend, and I love him till the very end. James is scary. Yes, he is. And I almost was wicked. Yes, I was. Is this the pig pen one? You're not careful. We'll be here all night. In the pig pen. In the pig pen. In the pig pen. In the pig pen. Me and my boys in the pig pen. Where was he getting this music? In the pig pen. In the pig pen. Hanging up with my boys in the pig pen. If we're not careful, we'll be here all night in the pig pen. God. Okay. Where's he? Where's he getting this music? My baby beef. That's okay. That was that was. I got my got my full of uh my full of James Randall music. Good news, I'm pregnant again. <gasps> oh my goodness. His brain is readjusting to the LA smog. It's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He'll be just fine. Good morning to everyone but my dad. If the universe wants me to have a boyfriend, then ten it is. Good morning to everyone but my dad. I'm not your dad. Oh, I fucking hate kids. In the pig pan. God damn it. In the pig pan. Don't K me. Getting down in the pig pen. Hello, Doc. Hey, Barbara. How's it going, kiddo? Good. Oh, I like when you call me that. Why do you sound kind of sad? Uh, no reason. Oh, is something bothering you? No, 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 no. Everything's magical. So, uh, how was your how was your trip to the field trip to the uh, the fire station? Oh, it was fun. Yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah, but um, you never you never returned. Yeah, I was busy. Doing, doing what? Well, I thought you said you were going to go get party supplies. Yeah, I was going to go party supplies, and I had a car accident, and I had to go to the hospital. And... 
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. And then oh, just, good. you know, good. just time just kind of... Just kind of lost time. Uh, yeah. Do you, have, do, you have, do you have fun with Scruffy and, and, and Uncle Rocky? Yeah. Oh, he's my uncle? Yes. If I'm oh, getting so roped into this, then... Yes, Rocky and I are brothers. He's your uncle, okay? Oh. That's kind of weird. Rocky's going to get wrapped. Why is this kind of weird? Because what I think Rocky wants to have sex with me. Okay, maybe... <laughs> Maybe he's. What did he? What did? What did he say? What do you mean? What? Did, okay, maybe Rocky's not your uncle. I, none of this is. None of this is real. You can give. I mean, you don't want to sleep with me, so you can still be my dad. I, I, I don't. No offense. Yeah. No, that's okay. So you can still be my dad. Okay. Thank. I thank you. I guess. I don't know. I yeah. don't really know how to what to say to that. But, uh, Uncle Rocky doesn't have to be Uncle Rocky. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry that your family members keep trying to sleep with you. It's um, okay. It runs in the God, family, I, I never, guess. I never, yeah, I guess it, well, it doesn't <laughs> run in the family, because I know. Um, it's only a matter of time. No, I don't think so. Do you have a, do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no. Like a wife or anything? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Actually just okay. got out of a relationship. Not interested, really, so... Well, I, I wasn't asking for me to be interested. I was asking to see if I had a mom. But, I, I mean, you know, <laughs> your phone, I guess. So, uh, proud of you, I guess. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not used to this. I don't know what to say. Proud of you? Yeah, sure. What can I do to make you proud? Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, you subtweeted me. That was pretty cool. Uh, you gave me are you money. like are you like one of those dads that like you have to do a lot to impress or is it like nothing to impress? You know what I mean? Uh no, you don't really have to do anything. Uh not okay. a lot of people don't really people don't really do things for me in the city. Just, oh, uh, nice. you know, stay out of trouble. Don't stab any uh any, any crazy people. Um but he, that that sounded so sad. People don't normally do things for me. I mean well, I and mean, then, uh, you know, just, uh, just keep it up, and, uh, I promise I won't try and buy your affection with, with, uh, materialistic things. Oh, is that your love language? What, 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 what is this? Who sent you, huh? What's going on here? <laughs> what do you mean? What's, 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 what's happening here, huh? Did Rocky you put you up to this? About? Is this some kind of weird therapist thing? No, but that's what a love language like. So if you like to buy, you know, someone a lot of materialistic things, that's. I don't. Language. I don't know if that's a love language. I think that's just it like is. I don't it's have called, time for you, so I'm buying you shit kind of thing. It's called gift giving. Well, I, I do like to. I do like to buy things for people when I'm sad, but this is not. Yeah, that's because that's those, your love language. I don't want to hear this right now, especially not from <laughs> my fake daughter. That's not a daughter. What do you mean? Have you not heard that before? I have heard it, Barbara, but I don't. This is not a conversation that I would like to have right now. I mean, you know, love language isn't just something that you do on your partner. It's, it's everybody. It's your love language. It's how you, you know. Is Rocky still at the fire department? No. Why is he tweeting like he is? Uh, I, I don't know. He, he might be. Uh,. You did leave him there, so... I, I left all of you there, and I wasn't planning on coming back, but for some reason here, I am calling you, so there you have it. Yeah, well, if you ever need cigarettes, you let me know. I'll pick them up for you, okay, I don't Dad? smoke, actually, so... Oh, you drink? Yes, I smoke weed, too. I don't smoke cigarettes. Oh, if you ever need, you know... I probably shouldn't say this. If you ever need, uh, you know... If you ever need weed, I got you, Dad. Why shouldn't you say that? I don't know. You're fucking 23. <laughs> what do you? I, mean, I, don't, I don't give a fuck what you do. You can. I mean, just just, just stay out of trouble. You know. Fuck. If I if I used to say that to my dad before, you know, my 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 pre dad before uh, he left. Pre dad. Me, I mean, he's still my your pre dad. Friend. Yeah. He's he would tell dad. me he's gonna put soap in my mouth. I I, I I don't care. You know, as long as you're staying safe. I don't even know you. Why am I saying this? <laughs> <laughs> Look, just don't do anything that's going to bring stress to my life. Please, can you do that for me? Okay. Because everyone yeah. keeps bringing stress to my life. You know, uh, gift giving is both of our love languages. So I'll send you money, Dad. All right. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Yep. You're yeah. <laughs> homework or something. I don't fucking know. Goodbye. Jesus Christ, what made it with my life? I 
you love Rocky. She sent me a thousand more dollars. Oh my god. Bryce, are you grabbing cigarettes and milk? I know you're not the fucking fire department. What do you mean? I, I know you're not the fire department. How do you know that? Because I was there. Oh, you were? Yeah, I was there what and you mean, weren't you, there. What, what do you mean, Bryce? What do you mean you were there? I literally just drove over there and you weren't there. So thanks for wasting my time. I was I was inside. I was. No, I, I looked I, everywhere. I screamed for your name. Did you look everywhere? We yes. were inside. We're, no, and but, I just got off the phone with Barbara. Okay. No, I'm, you I'm know with what? Barbara. She's right actually here. a pretty good kiddo, if I do say so myself. She is a good kiddo. Why? So I told her right? that you were her uncle, and she said, "This is weird because he tried to sleep with me." Wait, when? When did I? When? When was I your uncle, and when did I try to sleep with? That's him? your question. That's your question. When were you her uncle? <laughs> yeah. Wait. When was I her uncle, and when did I try to sleep? When, when did this happen? I don't fucking know. At the fire department, I guess. I wasn't there. Oh, at the fire department? No, I, 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 uh, to be, to be fair, I, uh, <laughs> pretended I was gonna kiss her and then I blew up a gas station and then I, I cut her you open. You pretended you were gonna kiss her and you blew up a I gas station. I said, do you want to kiss? And then I, and as the gas station blew up. And then when she said, do you want to kiss? I cut her with a, with a, with a shank. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah. that is, I don't even. Great, now she's calling me Uncle Rocky. Way to go, Bryce. <laughs> Well, I mean, whose fault is that, huh, dude? Now you're making this thing. I'm definitely going to go through it no matter what. Weird. Oh, God. Thanks a lot, Bryce. This is your fault. You dragged me into this I wasn't shit, playing so I'm dragging you into Bryce. this. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah. I know you're not. You never are. Never are. Never is. Jesus fucking Never have Christ. been. I swear. Hey. hey. What? There's going to be a prom coming up soon. I don't want to go with you. You can, you can go with your niece if you want. I, no, you don't have to go with me. I just want i just want to say that you always deserve a plus one. Thanks. Thanks, Bye, Rock. Bryce. I'll Thanks, talk to you Rocky. in a few minutes. Yep. Bye. What do you mean a few minutes? Jesus Christ. I swear. And there's some little slack layer too, so that's funny. That's funny. No shot. That's. <laughs> no, no. I see people standing up there too. That's. Oh my god. Bryce is a stalker. That does look really creepy. I was just, I was, <laughs> I was just gonna drive there, be dramatic for a minute or two. What the fuck, dude? Scruffy. Dude, what's up? Uh, I think I've accepted Barbara as my daughter, and I was driving to a spot, and I accidentally bumped into Cleo again. Um, so, and then apparently Rocky is Barbara's uncle, and also asked her if she wanted to, she asked him if he wanted to kiss before he stabbed her and pushed her into a gas tank. I don't know, so there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, she's crazy. Yeah, she's actually psycho, but she keeps sending me money, so she's she's fine in my books. She sent me like four yeah. grand so far, dude. 
I think I'll call her board, but I don't know. I don't suspect longevity out of that. Yeah. Yeah, she's good to potster with. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. How is your night at the, the fire station, uh, pal? I Sorry, I forgot to... Uh, she uh, stabbed me and asked if I wanted to kiss. She stabbed you and she asked you if she wanted to kiss? Yeah. Why is she stabbing all of her... I'm going to call you back. Did you stab your brother and ask if he wanted to kiss? I, uh, um... And your uncle? Uh... Not cool. Uh, Not cool. It's well, super no, fucking weird. Okay. Stop okay, watching Game of Thrones. They... Get your shit together. Keep it out of the family. I definitely... What the fuck? What the fuck? Also, you you're grounded. No kissing I'm your grounded. brother for a week. What? Yep. Hey, don't worry. I handled it. She's uh, she's grounded, and she she can't she can't kiss her family members for a week. So she's. But I'm that, dating this girl, Bryce. That'll teach her. You're dating each other now. We went on a date today. No one tells saying? me shit, dude. No one tells me you anything. You literally adopted her because we were on a date to piss me off. That doesn't mean you sure. guys are dating. That just means you went on a fucking date. I don't know. Dating, she wants to go dating on Dating to me feels, to like, go... feels like you're like boyfriend, she girlfriend. She wanted to go on another. Jesus Christ. But I think it's just a stir. This is this is just a stir? Is she I'm just down a, to these. Is she just yeah, a, I'm down like a, to stir. Are you just using her to make Shelly jealous? Kind of fucked, bro. Use her, use her to make who jealous? Shelly. That's insane. Okay, I'm just gonna assume. I wouldn't this. go on a date with a girl to make anyone jealous. That's just stupid. Okay. Okay. All right, Scruff. Okay. All right. She's hot. Are you down bad, Scruffy? She's hot. Yes, but she's crazy. Okay, and the craziness outweighs the hotness. Okay. And she's her she's her sister apparently now. Well, you you're not my dad anymore. I'm out of the family. Oh my god, this gas station doesn't have any gasoline. I'm freaking out. You're not my dad anymore. You're leaving the family? Yes, because you adopted this girl that I was trying to use for days. I literally tried to unadopt her and she's stuck on like a fucking leech. I don't know what to say. This is weird. <laughs> this is weird. This is weird. You put me in an Aurora dynamic where I'm like, what is that? I date married with this my family dad. Member? Yeah, this is odd, man. Shut the fuck up, Bryce. Yeah. <laughs> it's my own fault. I deserve that. Um, listen, I. Okay. I could have been happy with this crazy chick, Bryce. You ruined this for me. I didn't ruin shit for you. This crazy chick's gonna kill you, dude. She already stabbed you. So. Aren't you like find a nice it. like burger flipping clown that like is a big fan of Her late name was 90s? Valentina and she left me. Valentina's not a clown. Valentina's a deer. She would do a clown face sometimes. Yeah. It's really hot. Okay, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to know. Listen, buddy, I... It's not even a real adoption, so she's not even really your sister. Maybe I'll just die alone, Brad. Why are you going to die alone? No one's making you die alone. Where are you getting this information from? My heart. Oh, my God. Scruffy, grow up. What? Grow up, Scruffy. I am grown. I was in the Clown Wars. I know you were in the Clown Wars. You talk about it every time we hang out. Not every time. Oh my god. Listen, I have no intention of splitting you and your sister, not sister up, okay? 
That sounds incredibly weird out of context, but listen, I... Yeah, I'm gonna be hanging out at the, with my bill at Bong Fathers for more. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, I'm sure that's gonna go well. I'm sure that's no. gonna go well. I don't think it'll go too well. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it'll go too well. She's either. in a race. She's in a racer gang. They don't have time for you. Yeah, but they wouldn't put me in this weird dynamic. No, they definitely would. They'd put you in a weirder dynamic. Possibly. I don't know them enough. I don't know them at all. your dad I'm calling my sister I don't call her hot oh my god I don't care And I've got you, oh, oh, and you've got me. Baby, can't you see? You're the meat for me. No chicken, no pork. All I need what? is... What? Do you think I'm ugly? What? what? My baby Do I think you're ugly? Yes. No, I don't what think you're ugly. Because why are you getting mad that my brother's calling me... <laughs> Oh my god, it's because you can't even say it with a straight fucking face. What do you yes I can. No, you're not. You're cracking yes, up I the can. second you fucking no, say it. This shit's weird. We're not the Lannisters, we're Millers. You're not even a Miller. I don't not even your dad. No, what? what? This is a fake adoption. This isn't legal. Oh, no, you are my dad. Oh my god. Figuratively, you know, spiritually, sure. Literally, yes. no. He's not your brother. You, you guys can do whatever the fuck you want together, okay? Why are you why do you get mad when he calls me hot? Oh my god, I don't get mad. I get mad when you stab him. Oh wait, so what do you mean by grounded? Like what am I not able to do? Jesus Christ. I I, I don't know. What do you like? Um Don't say your brother. Uh <laughs> I like uh fuck I'm I uh, I don't know what to say. Um what do you mean you don't know what to say? Just tell me one thing you like. I don't I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't know. What did you say? I don't know how to answer. What do you mean you don't know how to answer? It's a simple question. What do you like? Hiking, video games, a TV show maybe? I don't know. Um, pawn stars. I like pawn stars. Okay. Oh, I like Kratos too. All right, great. I these aren't really things I can ground you. I, I guess I. Uh, you're not even fucking grounded. You're 25. You can do whatever the fuck you want. But I kind of like being grounded. I've never been grounded before. Okay. Um. I, uh. You have to work three shifts at Burger Shop with your brother this week. Okay. They won't let me work at Burger Shop. Tell them Bryce Miller's making you do it. Yeah, they won't let me because I tried to sell them human meat. What the fuck did you get human meat from? Um, friend. It... Oh God! You know I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. You're just disappointed. Yep. Oh, okay. Um. You gotta, you gotta stop killing people and trying to sell human meat to uh to to other people. So uh, double double grounded. Yep. Grounded. Okay, this is what you're here for. You're here to teach me. To teach and... you. Why, why yeah, the fuck does anyone teacher. have to teach you not to kill people in in in? Because I never learned. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. So you're killing, you're doing killing, killing is bad. Don't kill. Right. Okay. Only kill if you have to. Okay. Okay. Self defense. That's good. Yeah. Self defense. So if anyone comes up to me and and like hits on me, can I do I have the right? What? No. Like if anyone like is 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 actively trying to hurt you or someone you care about, you know, go for it. If someone's coming at you and your brother with a gun, feel free to fire back. 
Okay. Okay. Someone's coming at you, you know, with a gun. You're, you know, you can, you can, you can, you can, you know what? We're going to meet up with you. I'm going to, I'm going to meet up with you. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. <clears throat> this is a shit show. And you already know that I'm going to get in the middle of all this and then we're going to get a phone call from Colin or Nancy or Clam. Yes, hello, other I bestie. Need, I need you. Where are you? <gasps> On Discovery, he just ran over a lady. Where? Where? Let me guess. Burger shot. We're actually at the apartment. He just picked up Barbara. <gasps> Barbara! Perfect. I so much okay. about you. Oh, my have God. You, have you heard a lot about Barbara? How have you heard a lot I about have. Barbara? I've heard a lot about because Scruffy talks about her all the time. Listen, we need a fucking Hi. family. Everybody get out of the car and get in the black and colored Audi. Okay. Bye. Okay. Yeah. Where are, where are you? The uh, uh, apartment's uh, back parking lot that's across the yep. street from our garage. Isn't it cute? Oh my god. Oh my god! Alright, everybody get out of the car and get into this car. Let me park this fucking time. So he says. He tried to blame me for it, but we both knew we were there, and he's the one that wanted to adopt Jeez. her. Yeah. Barbara is his daughter, and he thinks she's hot. Yeah. Yup. You see the issues? You see the issues? Mm -hmm. okay. And she asked if he wanted this. to kiss, and he stabbed. She stabbed him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, did, okay. I, I feel like. Okay. I feel well like I've just. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing some Ooh. stuff. That was so that fucking You can't just hit people because so they're bald. Oh, that's so you can actually. Bald people are terrible, and they deserve to be hit. It's like the Teletubby son. All right, listen. I just want you guys to understand that this is not a legally a binding adoption, and if Wait, anything what? is like a like a like a figurative thing, like it's not it's not real. It was it all started out as a meme, but now you guys are taking okay. it really serious. Wait, who are your kids, Bryce? I'm confused. I, okay, Scruffy was my kid for a football game, mm -hmm. and the the lore okay. just kind of stuck. Okay. So, uh, Barbara asked if if I could if she, if if no, I could be you her asked dad. her. Yeah, you asked you her. Asked we me. were both. I don't there. think I asked you that. A hundred percent did. I don't think I asked you that. Okay. I think Barbara well, asked. Both I think I probably it. asked them that. Regardless, in this imaginary world that they've made for themselves, mm -hmm. I apparently am their a real real dad. Real. Okay. You know, not real. a real. Yeah. Not you know. There, 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 there's not no, clickbait. Again, there's this no, is real. Not clickbait. Gone wrong. Um, there's I no mean, does that mean contract. they're siblings? Because it, it, it might guy. actually be gone wrong if they're they siblings. Are, it is now. gone wrong because apparently they're siblings. And then I told them one too many shows. I, I told them that Rocky was their uncle, and then she got all weird because she was Rocky? like, Rocky tried to sleep with me, and then it was just what? I don't know. It's it's it's. He so what? We need, to, we need to have a family intervention. I think okay, we do. I'm confused as to why I'm here because, because as far as I know, I, I haven't been adopted shit. by anybody. This is your shit too. I'll I'm, adopt you. Getting an... Oh my god. Yeah, you could be my stepson. God. What do you? Yeah. If you're down for that. Yeah, I mean, okay. I never had a sister, so that'd That's, be pretty wait, cool. Wait, if you're adopting her, that'll make you her mother. Oh my god. Barbara. No, I said she's Rocky, my where the fuck are you? <laughs> um, wait, so does that mean Bryce is my dad too? Oh my yeah. god, you're at the casino? Great. If you're Perfect. into him, we uh, could be like... I'm See, that has that really bad implications you? because he thinks uh, that if I'm you're married into my him, dad, we could go on double so dates. this like you... a whole thing. Who's your dad? Barbara, that, Barbara, that's a genius idea, actually. Sorry, Rocky, yeah. there's a lot of voices dad, going on right now. He, are you... He's making are you, what are you doing at the casino? What are you I'm driving away from it right now. Why? What's happening? Oh my god, it was foreshadowing. I will go back. I'll be back in this timeline. Barbara, you're so smart. Okay. I know. Bryce. Thanks. Yes. Question. Answer. Bryce, we just what if we kissed the under the full moon? I swear to fucking God, Rocky. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. I... 
Wait, Again. crack the code, Bryce. Who you is need Rocky? to be Aurora's dad so that y'all can date and we can double date. Yeah. Okay, I me and Barbara, I'm you and Aurora. I'm not interested in any of that. And then she'll that. marry her dad. I really just want. I'm not to interested get, like, in any of that. And buy clothes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> look, this like is what's this is what's gonna happen. This is this is what's gonna happen. Okay, Rocky the therapist is gonna come back from his trip to the store. Oh my god, this sounds uh -huh. familiar. And he's going to oh, talk no. about all of this with everyone. Okay. Oh, can we go to his right. uh? Can we go to his his place? Can we go to his what? His place, his, uh, his office? Sure. Okay. I just nice want to reiterate, right? Mm -hmm. We're not actually related. Why do you keep saying it like that? Because we're not. You're actually going to hurt my feelings. I, oh my god, don't be rude, right? You're, oh you're, you're kind of ruining my, uh, you know. Yeah, you're kind of fucking up what we got going on here. I, I, I don't, I don't care. Well, Bryce, it seems like you've gotten yourself into quite the situation. I don't even want to fucking hear it, Aurora. And I can't I help but think that this is some sort of karmic balance that the universe is dishing out. And, um, I can't help but find, like, this pleasure in watching it happen. I like that word. Shut the fuck yeah. up, Bryce. I married my dad. Okay. So, do you want my help or not? Because it kind of seemed like you wanted my help at first in like solving well, all I mean, this. If you want to gaslight you're, like, me, this is listen. Gaslight you? Are you fucking kidding me? Guys, I didn't want to say anything, but Aurora's your mom. There, secrets out. I said it. I said it. Oh, you're my mom. I don't know what's happening right now. But Guys, you told me you weren't dating anybody. I, I know. I wanted to keep it a secret. I wanted to surprise you for your 24th birthday. Wait, so birthday. you're all dating? I wanted to surprise you for your 24th <laughs> birthday. But uh, but there you have it. Aurora's your mom. Is Aren't there you dating? No, we're No. What? No, we're not. It's, but it's, you're married? It's, oh. It's one of those... Only married for the kids, not actually together things. But we're emotionally go. divorced. So surprise. you're only married okay. for us because Barbara and I... Aurora, can you uh can you come over here, mother of mm -hmm. children? Yeah, that's right. You're you're writing the shit now too, okay. huh? Okay. Huh? You want to be literally? Petty? You're writing the okay. shit too with I me, huh? I just woke up to buy clothes. I was okay. like, mm, I'm gonna wake up and buy some cute outfits. Nope, and now, now you're in the shit. what is what it? How? Why? Now you're in the shit. I didn't. Now I you're literally in the shit. was just like, mm, I'm gonna go shopping, and now you're now like, you're actually, shit. here's some family drama that you're somehow involved in. Are you are you changing because I called you Beetlejuice today? No, I love this outfit. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Rocky, you did this, huh. and now you need to undo this. Rocky, oh, what God, the dude, fuck? Dad's here. You did this, what, and you need to happen? undo this. I'm you somehow this? involved in this now. You so this, if you, you did this, you need this. to fix it. <clears throat> Did what? You know what you did, motherfucker. All of this. I will not give you flight wait, lessons wait, how, ever. How, how are you involved? What do you mean? I involved in myself. Has his hand stuck in the handle. Uh, can, can you guys help? You you no, help your, your job, you help your brother. Actually, yeah. Okay. Help your help your brother. Wait, so how how, how are you involved now? I involved her because she was being petty. <laughs> how are you being petty? Ow! Yeah, what's good, Aurora? Dumbass. <laughs> Fucking not my mom. What's good? <laughs> he's just he's just acting out. He's just acting out. Ha have purpose. we have we even met before? I'm sorry. I was, I was I'll the last. Stab, I will stab my child, and I will uh, not feel any remorse like about like it. Like mother, like daughter. Mom, do you need help? I yeah. Think I think she's stuck, Barbara. Um, wait. This is yeah, Aurora on the ground. Uh huh. I what happened before, before? Have we? You might have heard we her as the girl that married her dad. We haven't met. <clears throat> okay, I'm I'm Rocky no. Thompson. It's very nice to meet Sorry, you. This uh, is Aurora. She's not. The I'm gonna be. Writer. I'm gonna be really honest right now. Mom, um, Colin, your you name is the most beautiful name I've ever heard. Oh, oh my God, God. Rocky, Thank can you, you not hit on everyone for like You're two seconds on my mom. and just fix the name of my daughter out of town? You fucking asshole. You minus to, one. You need to, <sighs> minus one for you, Bryce. Ow. Why me? You did this to your kids. You did this to your kids. <laughs> this to your this kids. house is a fucking prison. 
No, ow, oh, sorry. I'm so sorry, Rory. He keeps, he keeps pushing into you. I'm so sorry. Get <laughs> off my mom, you fuck! <laughs> no, look out! <laughs> sorry, it was worth it to get him. We had to get him down. Uh. Yeah, Scruffy on top. Scruffy on top, what's good? There's still one more up. There's still one more up. Scruffy on top. Oh my god. Oh shit, he's still up. Oh shit, he's still- This guy's a boss, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what kind of raid boss are you, bro? What kind of raid boss yeah. are you? Fuck <laughs> me. Like sucker punches. Oh, it's the bald man, he's back. Don't worry guys, you missed his route. You didn't see shit. I'm a shadow raid legend. You guys are fucking, you know what? Your mother and I are getting a divorce. We're getting divorced because of you guys. Oh, please. <laughs> Dad, I'm... We're getting divorced and it's your fault. Uh, uh. EMS is like, what the fuck did we just show him? <laughs> Look at this massacre I did. Help the blonde woman with her beautiful name. Uh, uh, the fuck? You good? No, I'm dying. <laughs> hey, she got a... Her, her kid punched her. Oh, I guess. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. ma'am. Hi. Yeah. You get punchies? Yeah. People keep punching me. Do I have a punch? Rocky, me? you need to un you need to undo this. No. I don't think no, I not at all. Rocky? It's it, it's cuz it's cuz Bryce kept hiding hiding behind you high. Sorry, Bryce was being a coward. How am I being a coward? You you were hiding, you were hiding by her so people how, would hit her instead of how you. How am I being a coward? You need to undo this. I don't need this. Undo what? They started this started one. This. When, at the, they started this at the fucking oil field. It had nothing to do with me. Oh, okay. Have, we, have, we, have, we, been okay, have listen, we been bad, Bryce? Listen, I'll, Thank give, you. I'll tell you what. I'll Thank tell you what. You. Any blurry vision? I will be your guys' dad. No. As long as you guys aren't related. And you guys Still can do whatever the fuck you want. Still a lot of family drama. Got Danny. I, uh, okay. Ooh, Rocky's your uh, uncle. You so you, and she's so your, you she's your auntie. Hatred. Aurora's your auntie. Okay? Uh, no, I'm not related to any of you guys. Auntie Aurora yeah. and Uncle Rocky. Because that okay. means we're brothers. You're making me your brother? Right. Yep. You feel like you can get on your feet? Brother from another yeah, mother. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's give it a shot, all right? Grandma okay. told But you're not related know. to your kids? I feel like I'm getting kicked out of the family. It used to just be you and me, bro. I'm not kicking you out of the family. How do you think I'm kicking you out of the family in any way, shape, or form? I feel okay. I feel like I want to I don't know. What do you think, sis? Brother. Are you I kicking him so out of the sorry. family, Dad? No, I'm. Should I just go hang out with Papa Pez and? I'm gonna be and, honest. Uh, what the fuck is real? They don't give a fuck about you. Okay, no, thank all. you. They, I they appreciate They told you. me to get off Twitter. They care. Um, you kind of have, a, I guess, a kickable torso accidentally in that last. But it wasn't yeah, meant to be. it's okay. You invited me to have it's a like beach the 15th day. time Scruffy signs no. out. Okay. Scruffy, I have a band aid. Aurora hit me and started all you, this. You were speaking, and Scruffy loves to silence women. You got, you got a he does. beast there. Yeah. Uh -huh. That is. I can be not deep. True, and I will not that's be your, uh, is that your, your angry voice? Hey, that's my, that's nice my concerned band father and there for you. Um, no, I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you. Dad. Are they chewable? Well, I guess it was an honor um, being part of the family. I mean, look, Scruffy, they genuinely don't care about you, and they're not going to make time for you and hang out with you like I do. I'll find it. I'll find another dad. Oh, wow. I, I guess, I, I guess I'm like good. You want to find guess. another dad? Yeah. You know, it's yeah I think I'm good. Maybe. Thank you. Go find another right. dad then, dude. Thank you so much. I feel like that's I what you want. Coming out. I don't want you it. Go find another dad. Wow. But you're literally telling me to go find another dad. I'm, so. telling, I'm just telling you to do what you want to do, okay? Well, that's what you want, that's what you're telling me to do, so I'll do what you want to do. Okay, you guys can both be All in the right. family, but you're not related, actually, which means... She's hot, Bryce. I don't care. She's my sister. She's not. Oh. She's, you don't think your daughter's hot? Come on, man. Yeah, you that's don't think unfair. I'm hot? What the hell? Be nice to your daughter. I married my dad. We know. Why me? Why are you attacking me? I've been standing here fucking silently and you attack me. Because it leaves off the pressure of me. Okay, I'm done now. Hi. I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm done with it. Mm -hmm. I'm done so with wait, it. Wait, are wow. you calling me ugly though? Be honest. That's crazy. Okay, that everyone here Bryce found is a way to silence women by person. speaking person for them. Jesus yeah, fucking Christ, yeah. Rocky. You shut up. You shut up. You beautiful man, you. Everyone here is, is, is attractive. Me too. 
and is great I'm person. a criminal. Okay. What did I you say? Okay. You silenced me because I'm a queer minnow. I didn't say I'm not <laughs> silencing you. Yeah, I know, because you don't like that I you don't like that I do crime or that I'm queer. You said that. I, wow, I, I you just invented that. It's the year twenty twenty two. Oh my god. I, I, I said it with his eyes. Like he said it with his no, eyes. I didn't get canceled. For this. I didn't get canceled. Eyes very loud. I didn't get canceled oh for that one fucking. sprunk commercial where I stopped the two countries at war with the diet sprunk. I a whole PR tour for we had a, we did a whole PR tour for that to stop that. I am not getting canceled for this. Yeah, we already did a canceled price. Wait, which country? Which country was that? Remember that? Remember that? All of your remember that Kendall Jenner it. commercial where she brought up? No, Pepsi? which countries did you do? Did your yeah. spark one. Which oh my god, this is actually chaos because <laughs> Cleo's calling now. <laughs> oh. Hello. Making me a favor. Yeah. What's, what, 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 what's up? Can you not come back to my spot? I didn't think you were there. Why did you come then? I didn't think you were staying there anymore. Why would you come here? One in the quiet spot. Out of all the spots, this one. I, I, I literally just didn't think you were gonna be there anymore. I won't. I won't go there anymore. Okay. Yeah, but why this? Because I wanted to. It's as, it's as easy as that. Who's gonna hang up first? <laughs> I've got I've got twenty one and a half hours left. I'm not I'm not hanging. <laughs> I didn't kill him. I just scared him away for <laughs> Did you hear the boat earlier? You have fun. How was your day? It was. It was pretty wild. You want to tell me about it? Just, uh, just... Lots of... Lots of talking and... Lots of work. Lots of... Very weird... New friends. Some that want me to become their dad. Oh, God. Yeah, I miss you too.
Wanted to take Steven's car. He's so powerful. It's the middle of the ocean with your boat, and I was like, I don't want to do anything that's illegal. Yeah, I, I remember when you got mad at me for jaywalking. Remember what I told you? One of the first things I told you when I met you? How some people will just shoot you or stab you because you say hello to them wrong? And how there's two types of people? Some that stop and think. And some that immediately act on actions without thinking. worried about you. And uh, I'm worried about those that you've been surrounding yourself with. They've been good to me. Are you saying that to me or to you? To me. What truth? That sometimes defeat is the only way that you can move forward even though something isn't your fault. Just appreciate what you have before it's gone. Even if it hurts. Like a burden to my own dad. Look, I should be calling him. I've been talking with Colin. I've been talking with Nancy. We've been talking every single day. They care about you. They really care about you. More than you know. More than more than you'd probably won't like to admit. You think you're a burden to all these people, but you're not. Okay. They're worried about you too. I'm being honest. It's so fine. you're not, and uh, that's okay. And I would call, call him, and talk to him after this. No. Whatever you want to do. It's okay to not be okay, you know. I'm fine. And. It's okay I'm to fine. I'm fine. be alone and be by yourself for a while. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I gotta go. I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. I, look. You stay safe, yeah? I know you, Cleo. You, you take it easy. I'm fine. Bryce, you take it easy. Oof. Yeah, sorry. Serious phone call. You know the drill. I had to walk away. Hmm? All good. 
Is it? Uh, where did... What's her face go? She <laughs> her face? was dehydrating to death. So I think she went inside to get She went in to grab a, a drink, yeah. Code red? Yep. Can I chat with you for a second? You called me fucking... She was crying, saying that, yeah, you know, she feels like a burden. And she, like, missed me and stuff, and she was saying, like, how she's fine, and she's not good. She was deflecting some stuff. Saying you know, she's fine in what way? I was just like, but I'm fine, you know, and it's like, it's okay to not be okay, and, you know, it's okay to be a... Yeah. alone and by herself she says that a lot no i know i know she doesn't mean it you know, I, know I mean you know i'm not t you know i know you know you know i know you <laughs> yeah she's uh she was um, she was deflecting some stuff i feel so frustrated yeah no me too i don't know how to help her i genuinely don't i just you know i think we have um very very similar situations we're stuck in where there's like um friend and then another official role you know yeah um, and yours was partner and mine was therapist and those are some heavy roles to be for someone who's going through what she's going through mm -hmm. um because it comes with all sorts of feelings of obligation and feelings of responsibility and failure and all that like mm -hmm. legit like so almost i think i'm sorry if this you know this stuff over here that we're doing has been annoying to you at all, but it's like legit what I needed this past fucking week. No, I mean this is this is silly. This is great. Yeah, all right, good, good. You're Uncle I was like, Rocky, whether you like it or fucking not. All right, yeah, that's fine. Uh, they're that's gonna fine. go gamble. Because that so. means because that means that means you see me as a brother. You're you're my brother from another therapeutic, uh, situational mother. Okay. Does this mean I should go get matching sunglasses to you downstairs? Yes. Let's go. And then I need to... I'm going to say bye to everyone, and then I need to dip. I have to make a drive. Why? 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 Were you, um... I just got to go... I got to, uh... I got to take care of some stuff at home. I mean, regarding the call? Nope. Oh, okay. Out of the city. Right. Gotcha. Yeah, I got, I'm gonna have to end up to this. You step out of city. Cause uh, <laughs> Glover and I gotta go pick up Glover's uh sister from the airport. Okay. I just want to say before we go down there. Yeah. If I head pop, don't wait for me. Okay. <laughs> hey, all seriousness aside, it's always fun fucking around with you, bro. You too, man. I can't wait to um really cause a mess of some things in a good Jesus way. Christ, you already have. Guys. Listen, Hi. kiddos. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. This guy's got the world at his fingertips. Look at hey, him. look at you two. Huh? So, so, so yeah. young and full of life and We're energy bonding. and hope and sexual tension. She's so hot. Yep, there it is. I, uh... It's crazy. Listen, Papa's gotta, gotta go. Papa's gotta go home and yeah, do some you work. Go. Okay. But uh, you better not lose all your money on Bye, the casino. Bye, Bryce. Bye, uh, Bryce. The first thing you should do is you You're should take all of, of your family. money. I get it. I swear to God. If once you, some, leave, you know, once one kid wasn't enough. Scruffy, if you leave this family, I will kill you. Wait, so are you leaving us, Dad? Maybe I'll leave and... Am I not? I'm for the night. Oh, you're going to sleep? Yeah. Oh, okay. I gotta take a certain stuff at the house. Okay. You kids be good though, okay. Alright, see ya dude. Fucking fucking weirdos. Where's where's Barbara? She's uh, uh right here. I can't see her. What? Nice sunglasses. You can't though. see Barbara? No, I can't see Barbara. So it's who okay. are you talking to when you said you kids? Oh not Bar sorry. I'm I've been away for so long. Uh not Barbara. In the, she's in the in the in the changing room. I wanna okay. hit the wheel. I'm gonna go All do right. that. I'll see you guys later, okay? <laughs> 
before you go? Look. I'm, I'm already luck, going. So. I'm already going. Yeah, chat. I'm going to dip. I'm going to load back in and say bye to everyone. Then I got to dip because I got to make a drive. Um, and then I'll still, I'll still see you guys in the morning though. 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, role play's been like really, today was like really serious, but like also really SBS. Like there were so many serious talks today. Love Bryce's new friends. They're great. What is happening? All those people are like really silly too. Even if the whole like <laughs> brother sister relationship thing is weird, it's still super fucking funny. SBS family is great. <clears throat> and it's like a good break from like serious role play. Because I love serious role play, but dude, does it drain me? Oh my god. Serious, like, hour-long talk with, like, heavy dialogue. I'm so drained at the end. Not in, like, a negative way, but, like, it's just, like, a tired thing. Um, I hope Barbara and Aurora stick around Bryce. Oh, they will. 100%. I mean, they're fun people to hang out with. And, uh, and Rocky and, Rocky and Scruffy are obviously, you know, I, I don't think it's any secret that I enjoy role-playing with them. Um, why is this so slow? What's happening? Rocky lives like IRL. He lives like right by me. Um, I've been meaning to go out and like get some food with him or something. Between meeting Barbara and Aurora the last few days, it's been so good. It really has. Rob a bank with him, Pog. We'll do an IRL bank robbing stream. It'll be good. But it's 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 fun to meet new people that are like passionate about SBS like Civ roleplay and just or just like Civ roleplay in general. Even if Barbara's like a psycho and stabs people and Aurora's like down to stabs. You know, they're both psychos now that I think about it and say it out loud. I don't know if I should say Civ, but <laughs> It's fun to meet people that are just down to just do, like, silly stuff and dialogue role play and not just, like, I don't know, want to grind or anything, you know? I like that. I feel like Bryce has a lot of, a lot of friends like that right now with, like, Nancy and Colin and Scruffy and Giles and, and Aurora and Barbara and Rocky and... Jeffy and Sabbath, even though Bunny sucks. And Seymour and, and, and everybody else, you know. And Tessa and Kiki. How could I forget? I'm forgetting a lot of other people, you know, like Steven and Shirley and, and other people. There's just so many. There's so many, like, new, amazing friends. And this is taking forever. And uh, I don't think... I'm going to wait, to be honest. So, fuck, my car's still there. Why is this being weird? Hold on. My car. Colin, too, which I didn't expect. Yeah, no. I'm glad though, because I love role playing with Custard. Custard's great. Why is the server being so weird? My shit's gonna get towed. Oh my god. This is being awful timing. FTO shift was too good. Yeah, I want to FTO him again. Come on, 5M, no pixel. I gotta go, dude. 
Hey McLovin, if you're watching stream, what uh, what time do you want to head out, or is it like an end and leave kind of thing? I don't think you're watching the stream. Twelve twenty? Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'll be done by then. Twelve thirty latest. We'll be done by then. I feel like by the time that I, th I think we'll be great. Why is why is this being so weird? It's like freezing on the launcher and everything. And my bitrate's all weird too. This is so random. Internet things? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I just get. I I, I don't know. If I close out of some shit. Huh? Huh? Please. Ah. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. I think it's only you. Yeah, I, I, I genuinely don't know why this is happening. It's frustrating. But it is what it is. Worst comes to worst. Uh, the uh, car gets towed, and we pay five hundred bucks to get it out of impound. You know. I don't know why I would get towed though. Oh well. Uh they can be told, you know, what happened. Super weird. All right. Well, I guess I'll just start closing out stream right now then because I got to get going. Um, thank you guys for such a great stream. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you for all the love, the follows, the subs, the bits. In and out of the pig pen. And uh, I appreciate you guys very much. I'm going to pause the timer. At 2105. I'm not just kidding. It's going to be 0458.
And uh, we will continue this again at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And with that, I will see you guys soon. I hope you have a great rest of your night. And here is the outro song. It looks like it's about that time. Thank you for the bits, subs, tips, and Twitch primes. We had a lot of laughs. Look at all the fun we had. Don't be sad. Forget about that. And even though we're about to end the stream, there's six words, three things I want to say before I leave. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We gotta play the outro song and then I will be leaving. This has been the LGX chat. I'm not trying to flex, but Every single day you make my week I'm saying it with my chest Chat you are the best Tomorrow we will do the same